<sighs> From the Lodge Mahal in beautiful Austin, Texas, welcome to the Lodge live stream. Sit back, grab a beverage of your choice. We're going to be here a while. This is the Art of Poker, poker tournament. We got so much to tell you about this fantastic tournament. 81 players remain out of 483 entries, an all-time record for the Art of Poker, a monthly happening here at the Lodge. Robert. Wakes up with the jiggities. We'll tell you all about it. As we mentioned, a all-time record, $100,400 in the prize pool. Up top, hey guys. somebody tonight is going to walk away with a pretty big hey, sandwich. Hey, <laughs> 21,600. We're going to go around the table here. Marco is in seat one. We've seen him before on the live stream. Emil is in seat two. Andrew's in seat three. Robert is in seat four, a lodge regular. And Rosa, in, who has lodge member number four. There's close to 30,000 members. She's member number four right there. Jordan, who we've seen him a lot before. Jim is in seat seven. And Ron right there is in seat eight. This is not the final table. This is a feature table as 81 players still remain in this tournament. Anastasia in the box. Is Emil bet 6,000? With top pair, and there's the raise from Andrew, a self-described poker enthusiast is Andrew, not a pro. And he actually told me, I'm not very good, but he's good enough to be in the final 80. 6,000. 6,000. <clears throat> First lost hand on the stream, right? Hmm. I just don't and you're really thinking about. There he goes. Toss it in. James on chain says, says final table. Might want to change the title. Actually, no, James, because it is going to be the final table at some point during this stream. We promise you. Everybody's sitting there like, I know. There's Safi, the game host today. Hey, I want to give a special shout out to Blue Man Group Joe. You remember Blue Man Group Joe is a Lodge stream regular. He won a World Series of Poker bracelet in the $600 tournament event number 81 for over $400,000. We gave him the nickname, Blue Man Group Joe. Hello, Blue Man Group Joe. Congratulations. I want to see that bracelet. Marco's going to go all in with his ace nine for about 37,000. Blinds are 2,000, 4,000 with a 4,000 big blind ante. 10,000 chips are going in the middle from your stack every orbit right now. And Ronald with 10 8 suited Let's go. and a chance to knock out Marco. Marco playing for his tournament life. Anastasia will give us the flop. Marco hits his ace. That's less good. 
Got some outs here. Eight or a ten for Ron. Does not come. Four hearts do. Nobody with a heart. As Poobah enters chat and automatically goes straight to the new pictures. Check out the new pictures on the wall, folks. to the obvious. We got rid of the fuzzy chips that everybody loves so much. And we went straight to Austin, Texas, somewhere, I think, in the 50s or 60s, judging by the cars that are driving up and down Congress Avenue. Eight, ten of hearts. Look at that. That's a great shot. There's Rosa. Member number four here at the Lodge. I want to give a special shout-out to everyone working here at the Lodge today. It was packed. Poobah, Joe Strazera, the general manager, and Anthony Chester, another record-breaking tournament. It just gets keep getting better and better here at the Lodge. All in for Robert with his big, slick suited. And Rosa's going to... Say, there goes my chips. Marco, who just was all in and got the double up, now with the Jack-10 suited, for a, this would be for his tournament life. Could he double up two hands in a row? He decides to fold. Yes, it was packed today here at the lodge. I think one of the reasons is it is about 108 degrees outside in Austin. And the lodge, a very cool 73 degrees. That and great poker. Yeah, the heat wave going on this week is absolutely crazy. Be careful out there. Great time to come inside and play poker. This is the feature table of the Art of Poker. We will be playing all the way through to a final table. It will be a while because of the 483 entries there's 81 still, as we're going to see a heads up. Rosa with the crabs. Got shot for Ron as Rosa checks. Rosa wearing her Texas Longhorn shirt. Shout out to all the fans watching Rosa, everybody who's been to the lodge before. Rosa, a very, very great person. Lots of fun to be around and enjoys playing poker. We'll hear her laugh for sure at some point, hopefully. Just got players just got back from a 30 minute dinner break. They're a little quiet. Maybe they're getting over what they just had to eat. Robert on the button is going to make it 9,000 with his Queen Jack. Rosa with the same hand, Queen Jack offsuit, as I see Clayton, the tallest dealer in the country, is in chat. We're going to go three ways to a flop. Seven high. Kind of a jump ball here. Who wants it? Jordan fires it out with the king high. He's going to take down that pot. We'll have a group of three dealers today. Anna, Miranda, and Anastasia, I believe, are the three that are slated here. And you see the tournament clock back there. 20 minutes remain in this level, 2,000, 4,000, 4,000. 
We had a play Next blinds, yeah. it goes to 366. Yeah. Uh, $600 uh, buying one yeah, or something in a bracelet. Coming right up. I think his name's Joe. Skull Mike, by the way, back from his honeymoon, two weeks of bliss with his new bride, Nina. He's back, got landed at 1 a.m. this morning and came to play this tournament. Still in, by the way. Could it be possible to see Skull Mike make a final table? Hours getting back from his honeymoon? Good thing you can count. <laughs> she couldn't before this, she can now. Oh, okay. She's, she's learning. Go ahead. <laughs> Tournament poker. Riveting. Just riveting. It is. <laughs> All clubs in this flop. Both players with a club in their hand. James with the higher one, also with a pair. Gut shot. Straight possibility for, for Ron. I know Rosa. I know of Rosa. <laughs> Everybody knows Rosa. And if they don't, they will. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Art of Poker has played once a month here at the Lodge, and the previous high record was 464 entries. We crushed it by 19 entries. And for the first time ever, over 100,000 in the prize pool for this monthly tourney. You bluff? I'm going to see it on the stream later anyway. Sorry? I said, are you bluffing? Uh, I'm going to see it on the stream in a little while anyway. So you'll have to wait until you see the stream. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I'm just checking. <laughs> just checking. He wants prior information. Robert in seat anyway. four next to Rosa wearing a bunch of lodge gear. He, he knows that you run good when you wear lodge gear. If you want some, there's a link that I just popped into. I don't even know what I have, but I just feel like you're up to something. I mean, maybe I am, maybe I am not. Uh, I'm well, he's at chat. 15. <laughs> It's yours. Just an ace. Just, Just an, an ace. ace. Is that what an ace looks like? You haven't seen one in a while, Rosa? That's unfortunate. Kylie, we miss you. There's the lodge cam. Look at the lodge, folks. Come on now. That's just incredible. Four great picks, studio, tournament. There you see Skull Mike there, the bottom right in his white hoodie. Skull Mike, and of course the main room, packed with smiling faces. Love that shot. I had the lamb with a salad. It's delicious. I had the uh, big slick for Emil in seat two. It was very good. Going against Ron over there in seat eight. Two pair for Ron. I had baklava. Did you? Oh yes, I love that. If your hands get all sticky, yeah, I know. Have to go wash them. Very tempting big slick here. With the ace of diamonds, but lets it down, lets it go. At least an at least an eight. At the very minimum, I had an eight. Uh, Lone Wolf. The lodge is not in Dallas, Texas. The lodge is in Austin, Texas, about 200 miles from Dallas. I know. I'm blown away. One-eyed Jack. What is so cringy? 
People who say cringe are cringe. Maybe if I talk to it, it'll grow. What you want to do is flop. You have to take a little more 836 yes. already watching. Yes. We're going to be here for hours and hours, folks. Sit back and have some fun with us. Even better if they flop Paris and you have cards. That would be so helpful. Over Paris. It would Thank be so helpful. <laughs> No gracias. Why are you so happy over there, Sappy? <laughs> you just look so happy. <laughs> Andrew and Robert will go heads up. Robert hits a, his queen. You have something else inside there then. I like. It's all the dirty pictures inside. Right. right. It just looks like. Very, very intellectual. Yeah. Uh, you know, the sun has given me all these extra dots. You can play tic tac toe on my arm. <laughs> Wesley says, my disabled brother Brett and I are watching from Nevada. Can't wait to visit the lodge. Wesley, make sure when you come to look for Slick Rick. Love to say hello. We love to meet folks who travel here because of this stream to the lodge. Guarantee you're going to have some fun. It's as good or better than everybody tells you. Plenty of tables. Right now it's just packed. Cash tables, tournament tables. We do four tournaments every single day. For more information, go to the website, lodgepokerclub.com, or Poker Atlas. Down, download the app. <sighs> Riveting. Eight deuce. Eight dewey. But they were suited. Yeah, they were suited. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have change? You certainly may. For the folks asking how much the buy-in it was, it was $250 to buy into the Art of Poker each month. There you see a great... Now there's 74 people left. We had 81 when we w w went on air, so seven people in about 17 minutes have gone and left the building. You know, this is my big blind. You know that. That's mine. You do know that. I can't call this. <laughs> <laughs> Language on the stream. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Folks, you're not going to want to miss this. The next big event coming to the lodge just a few weeks away. The Mega Monster 1 million guarantee. It's a $400 buy-in. 24 day one flights. 24 of them. A couple each day. From August 3rd through about the 13th, then it'll go down to day two and three. So we're guaranteeing a quarter million to the winner. One million guarantee. The Mega Monster, there's Brad Owen. Ace Queen for Marco, who doubled up on an earlier hand. Raises to 9,000. Rosa with just 26,000 chips is in that position where she's going to have to push. She gets a hand. Top pair for Jordan. Marco's going to lay it down. We'll go on to the next one. See Stephen Reisman in chat. Good to see you. 
here with us and uh, appreciate everybody else. It's been a pretty incredible month of poker, not only for the Lodge, but of course for the whole poker community with the World Series the last several weeks. Shout out once again to our, the Lodge's own Blue Man Group Joe, who's appeared probably 30 times on a Lodge live stream. Won a bracelet for 401000 this week. Good job, Joe. Blue Man Group Joe. Ace 10 for Marco here. Just makes the call for about 20% of his stack. Sorry, he raised to 10,000. My bad. James is going to make the call on the big blind. Top, top for Marco. Imagine he's going to shove here. The silence is killing me. <laughs> he decides not to, just 15,000. We'll take it down. He just had about 46,000 chips, decides to bet a third of his stack and takes it down. Unknown musician did Doug Polk cash in the World Series main event? Yes, he did. That's where you got to keep me. Congratulations, Doug. We'll keep you around. Oh, okay, thanks. At least for a Don't hand. Don't be after my big brain. At least for a hand or two. Also finished second in the Heads Up World Series of Poker tournament. To pair for Robert. Should be enough to take it down, and it is. You have B anything? Big Cat says, I've been watching the WSFP, yeah, but for today, this will work. Yeah, a lot of people have. Congratulations to the coverage. Great coverage. Sounds like a bluff. Poker Go and all like the great commentators and production folks. They've done a great job, as usual. Those bitches? It's been fun to watch. <laughs> Was playing in here at the lodge, and we had it on. And uh, saw that. Kings versus Queens versus Jack's hand, where the Jack turned on the river. That was a fun one. Jordan, I'll get in with Queens against you. Cool. What happened to Queens right now? I know. I mean, we're all relatively short here. It's like. The ladies for Robert the table's telling there. you that new hat he bought I today. No chips on the stage. I know. Did you see that? It's a run good hat. That's what I'm saying. It's like. Yeah. And from being the first table all day, we still have no chips. Yeah, and one, two, three, three of us are still from the original uh -huh. table, yet none of us have chips. I moved into it pretty early. Robert's going to take it down. I see Hiker Till Heaven out there. How you doing? A thousand folks already watching. Hey, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, we ask you please do so. We got 133,000 subscribers. Started the year with about 80,000. Against me. Yeah. 
you went. You so halfway half through the year? With you. Okay. And, of course, everything. Added about 50,000 oh, new subscribers. We appreciate each and every one what of them. Else? I mean, no. you're two outer. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Can you change for this, please? Uh, for those of you really worried about the title and the fact that you think we're lying to you, we promise there will be a final table during this stream. If you want to come back, feel free to do so, but we're going to have a lot of fun along the way to give you as much coverage as possible. If we just did the final table, we would be streaming maybe around midnight. So we decided to give you more. Poker. How about that? <clears throat> These are pretty pictures. I never saw them before. I was going to say, they changed those out, right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, they just changed those out. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Because I was in here. I don't know, a month or two yeah, they ago. were chips before, right? Yeah, chip. I yeah. think they look a yeah. lot better with the scenes from Austin. But that must have been old. Do you see the yeah, cars, how yeah, old they old, are? Yeah, old time Austin. Yeah. Nice. I wasn't here around that time. Yeah, but you still remember those cars. Upgrading. Oh, of course. Upgrading the studio. That's Rosa, do you have the whole fam watching you tonight, or what? Oh, yes. Millions. <laughs> millions, huh? Millions. The millions. whole, the whole Lodge family. Streams blowing up with Rosa. Oh, fans. yes. Oh, a, lot of, a lot of Rosa fans. A lot of Rosa fans. I bet there are. I bet there are. I'm afraid the Steelers think blind. I can't be, wait to try. Yeah. What are you doing? Andrew with a ton of chips. Going to come along with a couple Broadway cards. I was at a table, and I was asking all these young kids, I go, do you know what 8-millimeter film is? They all looked at me like I was the strangest person in the world, like they never heard of it. And I go, did you ever hear of cassettes? <laughs> I, <heard laughs> and I knew that I, then I knew that I was old <laughs> when they had no clue what that was. <laughs> cassettes. I remember the gray track. Well, you know, we... We put some of the eight millimeters into the cassettes at that time, but now the cassettes are no good because I don't have a cassette player either. I don't even have a DVD player in my house. Huh? I don't even have a DVD player. There's your chip counts. Most people don't. Yeah. You stream everything. Andrew. Yeah. The chip leader, 167,000. Rosa, well, with just the, six big blinds at 26,000, she's going to have to decide and they want to get paid for the streaming and what to do as the blinds are going to really tear into her stack. Other people's faces, and it's their writing and stuff. They want to get paid for that. And I don't blame them. <clears throat> <laughs> you a few? Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Marco's going to raise 10,000. Marco came to this feature table, stream table. It's one of the short stacks. Got a quick double up and is starting to yeah. add on. <laughs> to his stack. Is Cody out there? Yes. You could, hear, you could hear him. Great overhead shot of the studio under the lights. I love Cody. Oh, he's great. We're on four times a week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Usually come on at 3 p.m. Central. Unless we have a special That's event, a guy? like oh, today. Oh, it's a nice person. Great guy. Really. Yeah, little, You're right. A little much. A little we will not have a stream tomorrow <laughs> because we anticipate <laughs> this is going to go quite long. So we're going to take the day off tomorrow. No stream on Sunday. No shame in folding. I know there's no shame in folding, Rosa. No, him that time. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? <laughs> Clock. 
countdown is saying the blinds are going up, and Rosa is going to make this call just with 12,000 chips. Ronald with the ace of spades in his hand is going to put Rosa all in. If she calls, just with 12,000 chips, she says, I want another chance. Are you sure? I had an I ace too, but I, had a, I only had a, so a you small spade. So you would rather have all my chips or something? I couldn't call. Well, I'll take them over. There you see the I'll prize pool. I'm going to fight you the end. 54th place gets you the min cash, $452. So they're still 16 away from the bubble. Rosa from Chicago, married to Bob. They are unreal. tremendous part of the lodge and their history. Good fold. They are the first family of the lodge. We love them. Big slick for James. Raises the thirteen thousand. Robert on the button decides he wants to come along with some Broadway cards. Robert continues his run good with his hat as he flops trips versus the big slick from James. James continues to fire. What's Robert going to do here? He's going to push it. James for the remainder of his chips and his tournament life. James will let it go. Hiker Till Heaven asks, is Waco Scrub still in? As far as I know, he is. Waco Scrub, a tournament crusher. Seen on many streams recently here at the Lodge. I might take a loan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they'll let you do that Oh, that's too bad. We could start a new trip. We're playing cash, man. A new trip. cards I've ever had. <laughs> Terrible. Here we go. Rose is all in for her tournament life and her 9,000 with ace queen suited. Bad karma. <laughs> Ron with ace nine. I don't, I don't think there's a world where I can fold for this amount. 9,000? Yes. Chance for Rosa to double up here. Ace queen. Way out in front of Ron. And I need one of those. They're suited. <laughs> Seems, seems fair. Don't need one of those. Are you kidding me? A nine right in the window. Yeah, backdoor spades. Let's Put go. Spade. Put a spade on there. Give her a spade. Backdoor, backdoor spades. Lots of outs here. A spade <laughs> or a queen. Spades. Nope. And Rosa. Thank you for 
nothing. It's going to be eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> She's cold. It's a good plan with you. She is cold. Take it's care, Rosa. capital B. <laughs> Take care, Rosa. Good luck, guys. Can they send somebody else in? Yes. We'll wave goodbye to Rosa. <laughs> you hear her cry off the camera. Oh, she's a trip. She's she's funny. For a five. Yeah. Folks, uh, you know, this is a feature table. I, I want to just say this uh, for those of you saying bad players. Lodge is open 24 hours and seven days a week. If you want to win some easy money off what you're saying are bad players, we are open for business. Hundreds and hundreds of people walk through our doors every single day. So that's incentive for you, if you really think that, to get to the lodge. I couldn't even see the cards as they came out. I just knew from her reaction that, that it had to be bad for her and good for her. It was right, the nine was right in the window. I couldn't see it. Aces for Andrew makes it 18,000. Here we go. The snowman for Robert on hand number 25. There's an eight for Robert, the run good hat. Everybody's running to their computer to buy a hat in our online store because Robert's in fuego right now. Andrew with the ace of hearts and the aces. Nowhere, he's going nowhere here. I'm all in. He goes all in and a quick call from Robert. Wow. Huge pot. Biggest pot we've seen. Chip leader. I'm ready. Incoming. Black ace is what Andrew needs. Does not come. And Andrew, ace is cracked at the feature table. And he's, I believe, Andrew is eliminated. The snowmen in the heat wave of Austin, Texas, about 105 out today. And the snowmen prevail. Good game, game sir. Good game, man. Good game. And yet another player leaves a tournament. It's a good time to run good. Saying I had aces. And here's what happened. Thirteen hundred. Watching from around the world. Let's do a little roll call. Let us know where you're watching from. From around the world. We'll try to give you a shout out at some point. We need two players to come over to the studio table. Ronald with a six suited. Uh, Ronald, three bets. Robert says, I just got these chips. I will fold. So we've got. Elisa from Canterbury, Australia. Aaron from Morocco. Danny checking in from Denver. Bo DK from Denmark. Bogdan from Romania. Dwayne from Ecuador. We got him from all over the world. Bravo Hotel from Austin, Texas. Albert from Beantown. I'll be there in about a week and a half. 
Lean Cuisine, everywhere is Ohio. Kirkland, Washington, Amsterdam, Portugal. Big Cat from Wisconsin. Thank you all for tuning in. We appreciate it. So my, my girlfriend was going to come <laughs> visit me. <laughs> it's the first time to see this, and I get drawn to one seat that comes in here. <laughs> She's like on her way. She can watch you on the YouTubes. I know, instead, right? <laughs> Actually more entertaining. She sees your cards. No, she would like that if she weren't five minutes away. <laughs> I'll just pop cool. out there. The bad thing is she's going to have to wait 25 more minutes to see you. Oh, did you? Yeah. The break's in an hour and ten. I'll have to explain to her what the hell's going on. Oh, and you got your phone taken away from you, yeah, obviously. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she has funny. no idea. She doesn't know this place at all. I told her exactly where to go. She was going to be confused anyway. And now I tell her that I'm in a secluded area. She's going to be like, what the hell? Pair for Jordan here. Four goes, yeah, she can see you. She can totally see you through the glass. <laughs> like... Will they not let her come in? No, I don't think so. They may do that for you. There's an extra chair back there. So it's not a big deal. Then she could, yeah, that would be good. I mean, just wander. <laughs> Seat five. I gotta hang out. Complaining. Pick up dinner. Right, about she being on the feature that. table. Invited his girlfriend to come watch him play here at the lodge and. Got sent to the feature table. First world problems. <clears throat> Link Cuisine, when is Brad due back at the lodge? I would imagine sometime August or September. Don't know for sure. Certainly for the Mayhem series, which we'll tell you about after this hand. Jordan, who's played on our stream very recently, deep into one of our tournaments, the 100K, he was at the final table. He made a huge bluff that did not go through. We were talking about that earlier. Heads up, Jordan and Ron. Jordan hits... Five on the river. See if Ron fires out here. Twenty-five. Little aggression with eight high. Jordan lays it down. Good bet there by Ron. So the Mayhem series coming up. We told you about the Mega Monster as Anastasia will be leaving us and Miranda will be taking the box. Over 1.5 million in guarantees. We do this Mayhem series twice a year, spring and the fall. How about the fall Mayhem 16 events? September 5th through the 18th, 1.5 million in guarantees get to the lodge. Check out the website for all the information and tournaments. I believe there's a tag team tournament. Of course, there's a main event. I think a $1,200 buy-in main event. 
For more information, check out our website or Poker Atlas. So you got in August, get to the lodge for the Mega Monster. One million guarantee, yeah, and then in yeah, September, yeah, I tried Fall Mayhem the series. He had the one card that he needed to have. Didn't want to call my bullshit. That'll do it. All in. Seven. All in moment for James for his remaining 30,000 chips. And a new player in seat three. Joe? George says, I can't even call. And James will take the Annie's. They were streaming the day one of it, too, if it makes you feel any better. And I, I bubbled on stream. <laughs> 1,200 of that event? watching this tournament. This is a once-a-month happening. It's called the Art of Poker. It is the largest Art of Poker in the history of the Lodge. Lodge is five years old. And the $100,000 prize pool today, the largest Art of Poker ever here at the Lodge. There's the snowman again. Coming on here. Emil goes all in for his 31,000. Although, I did just hit a royal. Two card royal. Pretty crazy. Uh, I can't. Can't. Wanu. Wanu. Can't. Full. Lines 3,000, 6,000, 6,000. We'll show you the chip values here after this hand so you can keep track at home. Right now, there's just two chip colors on the table. Yellow are 1,000. Orange are 5,000. Big slick for Robert. Raised to 16,000. Ronald just likes to play hands. He's in the big blind. 10,000 more for him to call. He's already got 12,000 in there. So he makes the call. Heads up. Top, top for Robert. Is good. There's the chips. You see there's only two right now in play. Ultimately, we will see other chips. The next chip that we brought into play will be the baby blue $25,000 chip. 25,000 chip, not dollars, 25,000 chip. And the red will be brought in ultimately. 100,000. Our car, thank you for tuning in. It's our pleasure. Get a lot of positive feedback over putting tournament streams on. We, we primarily are a cash live stream. Getting a lot of positive feedback when we run these tournaments. Heads up. Brendan hits his queen, as does Ron. Here we go. Fireworks possible. Neither player with a diamond in their hand. Eight. 
Ace might slow things down. Saw her walk in. <laughs> Ronald showing a lot of aggression. As far as I know, Ted Gomez, Skull Mike is still in it. I imagine when he gets knocked out, if he gets knocked out, let's just put it that way, if he gets knocked out, he'll bring, bring his salty attitude in to sit right next to me, I imagine. I miss Skull Mike. It's been a couple weeks. Eight Tim the Gem, I doubt that. <laughs> Tim the Gem, always with a good comment. Says, you could play Old Maid on this stream and most of us would watch. <laughs> I don't think that's true, but appreciate the comment. Quiet without Rosa in here. You know, she was the life of the party. <laughs> she was. There you see a great shot of our studio. Uh, see that? That bad dude. Over. Second shelf. That's the 100,000 subscriber player. YouTube button we got when we reached 100,000 subscribers back in February. Does anybody at this table have a two or three digit lodge poker number? Yes. Yes? Yes. 990. 990, okay. She's number four. She's number four. <laughs> Who's number four? Rosa. 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 Oh. She, 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 she was number one. You know Rosa. Oh, well, Rosa, like. Lover was a call. partial owner of the yeah. place. Yeah, yeah the, the Rosa. <laughs> that Rosa. Everybody knows Rosa. Yours has to be pretty low. Right? Ronald with 6-7 suited. Seven, eight. Yeah, it's pretty low. Mm -hmm. I'm a little higher. Players are talking about player numbers. It's, believe it or not, those players love having low, low lodge member numbers. If you're under a thousand. On your membership number, it means you've been around a long time here at the lodge. Pair and a spade draw for Ron. Jordan and Ron are two of the most aggressive players at the table for sure. And Jordan with his crabs. Raises the 45K. Ronald's got a flush draw, middle pair. All in for Ron. 
Jordan says, I was just kidding. Saving a little face here. Not a chance Jordan is calling here. But wants Ron to think he's got something good to justify his initial raise. Bruce Small says, Hollywood helps balance your range. I don't know about that. I think this is a little bit longer. There's no way he's calling this. Not a chance. Toss the cards into the muck. Oh. He makes the call. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So much for <laughs> Slick Rick. Ooh. How do you make that call? Oh, wow. Am I missing something here? Jordan must have thought he had a couple Broadway cards. Four. He's got some outs now. Ten. A three or a four. There you go, Ronnie. And Jordan. Makes a call that he's going to be thinking about on his way home tonight as he drives down I-35. The only thing I can think of. No bluffy bluffy. Is he's putting them on some Broadway cards. A couple overs. Maybe the flush draw. It's one thing to Bet all in, a whole other thing to call all in with pocket threes. Non believer. Mm -hmm. You would believe me, right? I mean, depends on what I had. Probably would need a little bit more than threes to be the non believe. I, right. Not and Jordan, yes, let me just say this <laughs> Jordan is a great player. Probably. We've seen him at the final table of some recent tournaments, so we know he is a great tournament player. I've. Very interested to know his thought process. I have to ask him next time I see him. There was no way. I just thought there's no way he's calling that. And then he flipped the chip in. Shows how much I know, folks. All in for James with King seven. At least I got the ace of heart. Robert with ace nine. A couple hearts though for James Whoa. as Robert hits his ace. Have a little fun here. <laughs> How about Lots of outs for James to double up. That's not one of them. That's what you need for the sweaty river. There's the ten. There you go. And Robert. It's going to add to his chip stacks, and we're going to say goodbye to James. A lot of luck on that one. I'm taking a lot of outs with love. Yeah. Poker. Fourteen hundred and growing, watching 
this stream. It could go a long time well into the evening. We may be, even have breakfast at the Lodge Mahal before it's all said and done. You never know with these things. Did I miss a straight versus a pair? My apologies, folks. Are you certain on the account? I've only done 400 live streams. I'm still learning the game. But I love y'all. Mistakes happen, folks. I'm the first to admit it. I will make a mistake. There you see the blind levels, 488, 28 minutes to go in this. Our next break is in about an hour. There you see the prize pool. 54th place gets the min cash of 462, 452. <laughs> Thank you all for catching my mistake. I was so, I was still thinking of hand number 34, the Jordan versus Ron hand. Buy in today was $250, 483 folks entries today, 100,000 in the prize pool, the largest art of poker in the history of the Lodge Mahal. We do this once a month, the art of poker. That's a good question, but I did not. I don't know. I don't have any allegiance to the Robbie, so I guess I guess you can just have it. <laughs> You're a dominator. <laughs> Folks, if you want to play on the Lodge live stream when it's not tournament time and it's just cash. Get in touch with Skull Mike. A couple ways you can do it. Go to lodgepokerclub.com slash livestream. Fill out the questionnaire there. Or contact Skull Mike directly on his Instagram or Twitter at Skull Mike Poker. We are looking for players in August. Does he have chips? Play Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mostly we do cash streams. But if you want to play, get in touch with Skull Mike. He Puts all the lineups together. Nice. Promise you'll have a ton of fun. A lot of people come in and tell us they just flew in just to play on the stream. We get that a lot. And we love when that happens. Brendan with Big Slick makes it 16,000. Open ender for Marco. Mm -hmm. 
Marco hits his eight. Still with the open ender. Gonna fire out fifteen thousand into forty four thousand. See what Marco does here. Jack may slow him down a little bit. He does check. Got some showdown value there. What does Brendan do here with the big slick? He's going to fire. And I believe he's going to bet enough. Yes, he does. To put Marco for his tournament life. Marco started this feature table as one of the short stacks, got the double up, and it's been chipping up since we've been on the air. Makes this call. He'll get the full double. Quiet table. Tough decisions when it's for your tournament life. Minutes away from the bubble. Asking for one more minute. He is in the blender here with this decision. Lays it down, Brendan. Makes a nice play there. Like I said, when it's that decision puts you for your tournament life, Tough to pull the trigger there. Way to use the bubble. The there you see the chip oh, counts the as Marco oh. and James oh. and Amo oh. all under 10 big blinds. <laughs> so look for a push from each of them. You either had a hand or you didn't. <laughs> Just a few big blinds picking up ace queen. This is about as good as you can get here at this point. I don't know what you could be waiting for with under 10 blinds. It's got about six big blinds.
Puts it all in. All in for 45K. Emil 6-3 is going to go in the muck in the big blind. I say that. I'm going to stop saying that because the last time I thought it was an easy decision, it wasn't. You're good. There's the call. Robert, who's been knocking people out left and right, wearing the Run Good Lodge hat, would not surprise me if he hit a 10 in the window. Good luck. Robert looking for a 10 ball. Oh, yeah. Switch outs. Or now he picked up a bunch more outs with the clubs, and there's the club. There it is. Runner, runner, clubs, and Robert eliminates another one. Good game, guys. I'm telling you. Good game. I think the hat was a little over 20 bucks. It was. Never easy. Mm -hmm. The run good today is priceless for Robert in seat four. That's like the same way I bubbled. On the stream the other stream. <laughs> As Marco will exit the studio. It's like a four flush or something. Um, oh, I, I open jammed it and ran lemonade Played a little one two yesterday out at the lodge, main room. I rediscovered what it's like to win. It's fun. Okay, thanks so much. Seat four raised to 20. The Lizard of Lodge. <laughs> Always watching. All in for Brendan with Big Slick suited. Brendan's going to take that one down. Hand number 42. How many hands do you think we'll play today before it's all said and done? What would your guess be? Because we'll be here until it's over. Too many to call with my hand. Couldn't have been too bad. I was hoping one of the short Depends on what you had. It's king. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. I really don't, don't like it. I don't like it. I like it. New players come to the table. You don't like it, Rahul in seat six folds his dirty diaper. Poobah's guessing 226 total hands before it's all said and done. There's Anthony Chester in the blue shirt. The tournament director extraordinaire. Old. Joe is going to go all in with his king six and take it down. Elisa says, don't know, slick, but I'm here till the end. That's the attitude I like. Two more. Seems like we're doing all the work. They're yeah. not doing anything out there. Yeah. What are we like that? Four people? Cinnabon texted me yesterday. Had a tough stream. They didn't like you on the way in. On Thursday. <laughs> wow. Um, do I do they gave me a bad, you mean they gave me a bad thing? As Bo There's made Cinnabon rethink poker, catching a three on the river okay. for the You're wheel to beat Cinnabon in about a $20,000 pot that will be seen on a clip coming soon YouTube. to the Lodge live stream channel. Me undies. Seven, four. Nope. Free advertising for me undies. Eight, four. Two, four. Um, oh, 
pulled it out of turn. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't see. It. That's one number one. <laughs> one of my first ones. What a time to pick at the, at the, uh, yeah. at the feature table. Looked over, did see You're just joining us. 1,500 now watching. This is the feature table of the Art of Poker tournament. We will, I think we're down to close. To the min cash level, which I believe is 54 people. So let's see as we get closer to it. But we'll play all the way down to the final table and crown a champion. Winner today is going to walk home with a big sandwich. 21,600 for his efforts. Not a bad day's work. As Nicholas, a new player. King nine suited. It's going to make it 17,000 coming out fire. And you see Nicholas has a bunch of chips with him. Those baby blue chips are 25,000. First time we've seen those in the studio tonight. It's on me. Yeah. Oh. Um. Rahul. Yawning. Sorry, we're keeping you up, Rahul. We're hand for hand now. There's Skull Mike, folks. Look at the second table on the right in the white hoodie. Skull Mike looks like he has a ton of chips. Looks like he's got close to, what is that, maybe 300,000 chips? There's Anthony Chester. Those are the remainder. Like Folks, I believe like a, we're going to be at hand to hand for hand right now. So we may be on the money bubble right here. Thank you. So what that means is every table, when they're instructed yeah. to, will deal one hand and stop. As we're approaching the money bubble, 54th place gets... $452 for their efforts today. That's just outside the stream room. Those are the remaining players. Do you see anybody you know? See that gray door right there on the side? That's the stream studio. So we are on hand for hand. That's what we are right now. Money. So as soon as every table it went down to has finished their hand, I don't wanna, Anthony will instruct I don't wanna every give everybody to. <laughs> be fine if it went back up. No, I'm not We're right. in the money. Okay. Have okay. Done. So yeah. they just made the money. Everybody now is in the money. No more hand for hand. Uh, Fifty-four players yeah. remain. We started the stream yeah. with eighty-one. Yep. So 27 players have been knocked out. Since we've started the stream today. SV Thora, no, Jungle Man is not here. And now like 15 people will go. Like and Miranda in the box. I guess we're waiting instructions as the play is paused. You were like massive chip leader on your table. Mm. Kind of. Decent. As we wait seven seven for that, yeah. let's tell you once again about the Mega Monster Tournament. There's Skull Mike. Let's get a shot of him. Fresh back from his honeymoon. As salty as ever. We got more tips now on the table than we did earlier. Look at that wedding ring. We started, man. We didn't have any big, hardly any big stacks. Great shot of Skull Mike. But as we mentioned, the Mega Monster coming up just in a few weeks, August 3rd through the 14th. The great thing about this one, we're guaranteeing a million, and we're guaranteeing first place will win a minimum of a quarter million dollars. It's a $400 buy-in, folks. You got a chance to win a quarter million. Anthony giving instructions. We 
You're usually happy when it's like 60, 65. Mm -hmm. we'll try to listen in when Anthony makes the announcement in the stream room. Let's listen in. All right, here we go. Back in play, folks. All in moment for Emil with Ace Force suited. Can take you on? <laughs> Brandon with suited Broadway cards asked for a count. 31,000 is the count. Brandon makes the call on the button. Let's see what Rahul has. Some Broadway cards and a bunch of chips. Seems like a fair fight. Amo looking to double up or go home. Brennan looking for a nine jack or queen. Nine jack or queen for Brendan. Does not come and Amo will more than double up. Yeah, we're not feeling good over here, but all the dudes are like, please. <laughs> How long is the delay? That's what I told my fans. I was telling myself. Thank you. Time is it up right now? Do I have actual watch? That's nine. It's. No, it's eight. 37, 838, something like that. I guess that's when it pays to have a real watch. It's when they pick their cell phone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 16,000. Some of us feel naked without a phone. Yeah. Brendan. I'm away by watch. I've been wearing a watch. Very aggressive. Putting his chips to work is Ron, the other aggressive player at the table, with more chips, some Broadway cards. It's going to make the raise. 50,000. And Brendan does not want to mess with somebody who has more chips than he has. On that particular hand. Gretzky hand for Brandon this time. Makes it 16,000. All in moment for James with just 29,000 chips on the button. He said, anytime I see an ace, I'm going to push it. I don't have many big blinds here. Do it again. And the quick call from Brandon James. We'll need an ace or some help to survive.
Looking for an ace is James and an ace only. Does not come. And James is eliminated. And he will head to the cage to pick up his winnings for the day. Safi shows him the door. Blinds 488. Every orbit, 20,000 of your chips are going to be put in the middle. Aaron, I don't know. It's not an hour and a half delay. I'm not going to tell you how much delay it is, but it's not an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Aim in the big blind. Already has... 16,000 chips in there. Doesn't want to lose any more with 3-4 offsuit. If you've never been to the Lodge, it's a social club. Anybody who's 21 years old can become a member. That's it. We need your ID. Fill out a one-page form, and you're a member. Membership fees can be paid you can have a weekly, monthly, or annual membership. Once you're a member, you can play cash. Cash games, 11 bucks an hour. Tournaments, no hourly fee. It's just the buy-in fee. In today's instance, it was $250. Lodge does not take any rake. It's an hourly fee when you pay cash. 11 bucks an hour. Play, and when you leave... When you check out, you say, okay, I'm ready to go. And they'll tell you how much you owe. You pay it, and you come back the next day. That's how I do it. Joe and Ronald, heads up. Pineapple Water, uh, we are at the stage where players who bust are going to be paid $452, I believe that was for the first 10 that bust in the money. Todd, appreciate the compliment, but I've got to tell you, I've been pretty impressed with our friends over at Poker Go. Um, it's tough. It's tough what they're doing, and then I... In my opinion, I've enjoyed the coverage. Shout out to our friends over at Poker Go. But I get what you're saying. All in moment for Joe with the ducks. As Anthony Chester will bring another player to the feature table. Thank you. Can't wait till it's Skull Mike. There's the call from Brendan. Joe with his ducks. Oof. Now he has the only club between the two of them. Steel wheel draw? 
Brendan needs a king or an eight. Who comes? King of hearts. What's up? You want all my strategy? I just ask this. And Joe what a hole. Uh, will double up. 55. Right in a book somewhere. Oh, I had planned my first all in to be here. 55. Did you, did you read about opening fold? 40, 50. <laughs> Man, I'm not here to get some lectures from you, man. If you think you're better, just crush me. Oh, my God. I don't need no lecture. Need yeah, for, for folks who are unfamiliar with the hourly rate, it's a tremendous value. It's a huge one. Huge. Huge. No huge. chips in a cash game. No chips ever come off. And there you see where we are. 46 through 49 will get 452. 49 players remain. Blinds are four eight eight. Watch me just like three bet jam king eight suited in a second and get caught or something. Good win. That's that's the other option when you do something. Yes. Like you still could win. So it could come 888. So what you're saying is I think it's going to be in your head for a little bit, right? Nicholas with the Gretzky hand. Going to raise to 32,000. Brendan in the big right. blind will just lay it down. Limp like an idiot. <laughs> Josh giving himself hell for limping. It's better than losing half your stack. That's true. Yeah. As expected, once the money bubble Thank you. happens, you see a big drop in the number of people remaining. You limp? Hell no. <laughs> Not doing that again. Unless it's aces. As you hear the tournament clock, that means blinds are going up next hand. I believe we may be at 5,000, 10,000, 10,000 next hand. The blinds are going up. Yep, 5, 10, 10. We'll have a 15 minute break in about 30 minutes. During the break, we'll have some highlight clips from previous live streams that you may enjoy. Got a couple clips that are about to hit 1 million views. Pretty incredible when we started this stream almost three years ago. 21. Where we are today, we appreciate every single one of you who has had fun and helped us grow and appreciate you. Skull Mike is still in this, trying to pay off that honeymoon. Under the gun. Oh, we made I a really big jump finally. I believe yeah. you. I'm making yeah, $2 that's now. That's in my folding. <laughs> that's, that's part of my folding three, man. Huh? Three well, you just changed two. your mind? Oh, that's me Don't forget the gas. Uh -huh. no, I live close. I was, oh, okay. I was making fun of you. I'm still losing. <laughs> for for bet calling. He had two deuces. Yeah, but he could have had two tens. He could have had two aces. He could have had two aces. Really, any two cards? No. No, not, not any. No, 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 not, not, any not at this point. It's certain twos. Like a pair of twos. No, I was playing a little tight. Brendan makes the call with some suited Broadway cards. How many chips are we talking about here? 25? 25. 25. -ish. 25 -ish. 
Toronto want to get a little frisky with his 5 6 offsuit? Oh, I couldn't look at myself in the mirror, but I didn't go. Just 15,000 more. Makes the call. Three ways to a flop. Miranda will give us three. And Ron hits his five. I don't like the way Brendan plays. He continues the aggression. Gets the fives to lay down. And aggression pays off once again for Brendan, who's got a bag of food or something behind him that his girlfriend brought him. See a great shot. The tournament clock. Circumstances. You guys are haters. You guys are haters. I'm in the Suit King Club. Uh, I pay $75 a year for membership. You, you almost got looked up there. I... <laughs> You almost got looked up. Here. By what? Pocket deuces? We, we considered taking a look at your dress with deuces. Three, four, four, seven. Yeah. Five, That's what you had? Six raise, 20. Who in the cutoff is going to raise to 20,000? Josh on the button. Jack nine will fold. You have them to see it. Is that funny? Yeah. You'll see it. What? You'll see it. <laughs> it's gonna make you work though. <laughs> you have to wait till the break. gonna make you look at your phone and go to the right spot. Right. <laughs> see about 25 minutes. <laughs> now they're gonna they're gonna put a little tag in it because of how bad of a fold you made. See if you're able to find it really easily. <laughs> That's right. It's gonna be on the YouTube highlights. Yes. It's gonna be yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> It's already released Go on Facebook. Like, look at Reckless Ron just folding. I think I just got a tweet about it. <laughs> already. Go to wow. 37. He folded two pair there? What? <laughs> it was funny when the, when the Robbie hand happened. I was actually here, and somebody next to me was watching as it went down on their phone. And he goes, oh, my God, this hand is going to blow up the internet, and I'm just like, wait, what? How's, how's a stream game blow up the internet? It did. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it blew up. Mm. It blew up every part of the internet. 20. Like, every, every, like, every person had an idea, had a thought about it. Yeah. Like, there were people that had absolutely nothing, no idea about poker that were yeah. like, I'm now an expert. As you see, we'll be on a 15-minute break in about 24 minutes. Pretty wild. Yeah. Pretty wild. One-Eyed Jack says $10. The sack has a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, a bag of potato chips, and a juice box. Everything about that was still... It actually sounds pretty good, One-Eyed Jack. What's the, what's the last time you had a peanut butter and, and jelly sandwich? Features, it's been a while for like, me. Looking off into a distance, mm -hmm. he's like staring. It's like, what the hell did I do? He's, there's like a picture of him, like, next, like on, next to his like mansion, he's just like looking off like this, and it's just pretty ridiculous. I feel like the amount of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches you eat by age of ten. For the remainder of your life, if you subtracted those between zero and ten years old, you still would never run out of peanut butter and jelly. I think you, you eat all the peanut butter and jelly. By 10 years old. Weird. Elisa from Australia says that sounds gross. Think of Vegemite. That sounds gross to us, Elisa. 
It's all where you live. Amel hits top two here in the nick of time. And he just checks, hoping Ron will fire out. Ron has been aggressive. I like this check by Amel, flopping top two. There it is. All in. Going to find out it's going to be about 17,000 more. Try to put a bad beat on you. And Ron says, I'm stuck. I'm committed. Amos looking good for a more than a double up. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got queen jack. Oh, I need hearts. Oh, that's got to be a real bad beat. Yes. <laughs> this one, how about a 10? Right. This one will make the highlights. <laughs> this one will make the highlights. Uh, what do you think? What do you think? Eight of hearts on the turn? I would do it. Oh. Uh, that's anticlimactic. Amos is going to sweep 154,000 chips his that's way. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he's got 15 big blinds. And it's not in a state of panic. Are you done with King yet? <laughs> I told you it's a bad hand. I can't believe you had King Eight on that hand. Uh, <laughs> and he, he was, and like, I was King Eight. jokingly saying yeah. it. It wasn't suited though, so. It was just it a was... thing to say at that time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were memeing, but you know, if you're actually gonna like yeah. put your put your money where your mouth was, like, man. <laughs> oh, did we forget to tell him that he can play other hands besides King Eight? He doesn't only have to play king eight. <laughs> he's he's embracing it. He's not playing. He's just embracing it. I, I, I appreciate. I can respect the embracing. Like there are people that will just keep talking about it, but not actually. Yeah, you know, yeah, actually it. did it. Like mm -hmm. respect. I mean, I, I did have great position. You did. You said yeah. That's true. Sorry. One four. Yeah. Ron raises with big slick. What's that? Off the scanner. Oh. Robert with the Doyle. The suited Doyle makes the call in the big blind. Top top for Ronald. All right, Keith, Amo, not Amo. Appreciate that. I will try to remember. Please. <laughs> so if, you it, have, yeah. if you have it. it. So I'm folding because I put you on King 8. The thing is, you do have to get dealt King 8. That, that's the hard part. Right. That, nobody has thought of how hard it is to actually get dealt with King 8. Your glasses. It's pretty hard. I wasn't, I didn't necessarily want to come in here, but the timing was good because six hands in a row right before I came in here, queen five off seat, six hands in a row. That's what you got? Yes. That's not a good hand? No. No. Not. It's good analysis for the stream. I'll get that. I, I hope Skull I'll Mike's, that I, ho I hope Skull Mike's getting this in-depth, <laughs> hard-hitting <laughs> analysis. Playing, Phil, I think. About... What, uh, he was. I'm not sure if he's still yeah. out there. If I know Skull, he's in the booth by now. Wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's a little harsh. High skull. Shots fired against Skull. He is still out there, folks. Rumor has it he's got over 300,000 in chips 
If you're a Skull Mike fan, just fired it up, having a field day. About fresh it. back from his two-week honeymoon. Oh, is that your nickname? Or did you just give it to yourself? Is that no, it? No, no, it really is. Okay. I thought you were a hockey buff. Oh, that's the old one, but oh, I'm out of. I'm out of. Uh, and here comes the Anna. One, the old one. I see. She will be our next dealer. Well, there's there's two. I mean, yeah. Puck, hockey puck, or. Reckless front. I'd actually be disappointed if they don't have Reckless Ron as my name on the stream. Request to change it? It's not only Reckless Ron, not Reckless Ron, it's Ronald. Josh, with Ace Jack offsuit, raises it up. That is the default. Yeah. I feel like I think it might be the default. They know. What do you play? Like some cash games? Yeah, just a few. Yeah, yeah. random cash games. I haven't been on very much. Very, very rarely. I don't. I don't want everyone to get all like. The insights Albert H., the answer to your question is everyone who enters the stream room is wanted for electronic devices. Can't let everybody know how. Even Slick Rick is wanted. Well, the world knows now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take security very seriously. Every player, by the way, has a locker right outside the door. Next time we have a shot of... The other room where the tournament's going on, you can see the locker. That's where the players all keep their phones, wa uh, smart watches, electronic devices, earphones. So bad. There, nobody is allowed any of that. Round rock. Play with this guy. In the studio. And then they're additionally wanded. I should be doing something else today, but here I am. Kind of refreshing to not have to. Watch people always on their phones. Yeah. I told I told my wife I said I said interesting development. I'm I'm moving to the stream game, and she said interesting for who? Good question. My wife would have said. She was probably saying a totally straight face. Too. I'm open to say, what's a stream game? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they changed the backdrops. How cool. Yeah, they're nice. I love it. That was awesome. Really. What was it before? Suited broad, it was, uh, Broadway cards for Amel. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's the chips. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I like the old, old school time. Austin. That's, I, 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 I like, I like yeah, the Austin. Cool. Nice touch. Downtown. We, now if we can charge yeah, like a just, buck less for a white claw around here. <laughs> Well, it's all on Congress Ave. I feel like you could have gone <laughs> like a couple different places, but it's still good. <laughs> no, Always somebody Congress complaining, Ave. Brandon. It's only Congress it's Ave. Ave. Only it's a beautiful picture. The east side, the west side, and the Capitol. It's Congress Avenue. <laughs> it's one picture. <laughs> well, at least split like into three, timing. Brandon. Nice Don't make it could, so hard on yourself. I could see like you know there. Were other landmarks in Austin. You know. Not a place I don't where know. I go to work at 8 a.m. regardless. Picture of Barton Springs or something. Any plus as a Penny Packer Bridge in there. Something <coughs> there you go. For example. 21. Nicholas. <coughs> Ace two suited makes it 21,000. Two fold. Heads up, Joe with the sailboats. Nicholas Ace Deuce suited. Joe's pocket pair. Way in the lead here. Stack signs really shot up there. Yeah. But Nicholas is going to continue to fire. 
14, it's like about 14,000. Gets the quick call from Joe and his sailboats. Nicholas dead to one of the two remaining aces in the deck. Puts a baby blue chip in there. That's 25,000. Nicholas Aggression going to get the sailboats to fold. Bet you wish you had King 8. Not wrong. Not wrong. When you're right, you're right. People are going to be like, did anyone see the live stream last night where they were like oddly all obsessed with King 8? It's really weird. We really just wouldn't shut up about it. Like, uh, <laughs> turns out there are other things to talk about. Turns out the Lodge got a thousand new members the next day. Because <laughs> they were so they're all playing King entertaining. Eight. They're all playing King 8. <laughs> Oh, your gas just got paid for, by the way. 40. I saw that. It's exciting. Maybe get lunch on the next one. Yeah. What, $50 pay down? Mm -hmm. yeah. in the $50 Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. You are watching The Art of Poker. We do this once a month here at the Lodge, The Art of Poker. Sorry? And there's the other players remaining in the tournament. There's Skull Mike. $4 right there on the uh, right of your screen in the white hoodie it's South Austin, with a mound yeah, of chips. Austin, so it's a little, it's a little bit of a drive. There's Anthony Chester, the tournament director. Oh, uh, sorry. It's twenty-two. Eightfold. She appreciates you being helpful. Raul, three bets to 50,000 with the Jiggities. Brendan, who started this by raising to 22,000. King six suited. Oh, okay. And Rahul is going to take down a nice pot. He had it. I know he didn't have King 7 suited, or, or at least not the same suit as me, because that's what I had. <laughs> oh, yeah. Slick Rin, Rick running solo. We may have a special guest throughout the night, but I'll be taking you all the way home till a winner, a trophy, and money is given to the winner. It could be... Any time after midnight, I'm saying between midnight and 3 a.m. Central. That is my guest. That is the window. Okay. That I am anticipating. Chips going to make the call, and Joe with pocket fives goes all in for his tournament life and 81,000. All in. And Brendan with pocket sevens goes all in and gives him some protection. Hardly bad, yes. It's bad. Hello. Brendan looking to knock out Joe, dominating 81% equity here. Joe does have a diamond in his hand. Oh. Oh, 
Lots more outs. The five of clubs or any diamond. Always a sweat. Sweaty. It's red. But Brendan is going to eliminate Joe and pick up a nice 194,000 chip pot. Good pull. Yes. <laughs> Anthony Chester, the tournament director. 7 a.m. It is not going to be 7 a.m. We have a running joke. Because last time he told us that a tournament would end at midnight, ended at 3 a.m. So we have a running joke with Anthony. A little dirty stuff. We're getting there. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm prioritizing yeah. keeping the game moving. Oh, gosh, gosh, you, gosh. Know. Maybe you have King 8 and you get it moving again. Look, <laughs> now everyone can play. Now I'll take care of it. Thank you. What do we got here? Well done, though, Anthony. Another great tournament. He's bad one. What we think is the best in the business. The tournaments here are legit as we Rahul looks down at the snowmen. Raises to 20,000. Any serious action, Ron? No, nothing. Robert has been in Fuego Maker, since we started. I made it to day two on Millionaire Maker, but just had like a very standard spot come up like shortly into day two. And this is pretty fast, right? Like people are pretty short. Yeah, the lodge is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We did close for the 4th of July as the employees had a fantastic party. That was a lot of fun. As we look at the clock, five minutes till break. I played it once. They will take a short break. We will be playing a video during the break time. But, I mean, you're trying to get through 10,000 players, which is just like, I It's just a massive luck, yeah. Yes, we have four tournaments every single day at the lodge. When you play... Like, say, a 2,000-person field, it's usually over multiple flights and stuff like right, that. Right. I mean, You can find out all that information either on Poker Atlas or going to the LodgePokerClub.com website everything that they're doing, but right. to find out which tournaments, anything from Big O to PLO, Hold'em. Those hallways are crazy. Yeah, I mean, quite honestly, I didn't. You name it. We have a tournament for you. Free rolls. Draws or whatever in the middle. Freeze outs. I played in the Friday night freeze out last night. <laughs> well, you made it today too. Did not do well. <laughs> Very much a Houdini act to even get there. Goes check, check to the turn we go, and it's going to give us a nine. Now, Brendan only could win with a six. Okay. But Nicholas is going to fire out and take it down. Money? No, nothing like beating like 8,500 players and still going home with no money. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah we'll go over all the tournaments that are coming hey, at break. My dinner buddy. You probably had to. <laughs> and there's a, the <laughs> latest player to come yeah. to the table. Be, be in Vegas and all that crap. Yeah. Yeah. One case short. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah. Vegas uh, kills me. <laughs> uh, you know, so, so, sometimes Vegas is good, sometimes Vegas is not so good. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I lived there for five years. I, oh, you did? Uh, yeah. It was not good to me this year. Josh, under the gun with the ducks, decides to limp this. Hope he gets around so he can see a flop. Two 
Oh. Look at you guys just playing with us. Five? Five players. We'll see this flop. Queen high. Open ender with the flush draw for Nicholas. Pair for Robert. Kathy, what's the uh, procedure on break? Do, do we have to take our microphones off or no? Quick call from Robert. You win. <clears throat> He's going to see the good news and take down another 114,000 chips his way. No, we're running a tournament stream today. No cash stream today. We'll be back with cash streams later this week. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Check around. Come on. That's the way it was on the turn. Coming down to the last hand or two before break. It'll be a short 15-minute break. We'll play a cool video for you. Oh, got me winning blue chips. Mm. Brendan on the button. He's going to continue his aggression. Raises to 22,000. Josh with King 9 suited as you hear the clock, and the players are going to be on break after this. Players getting up. Josh and Brendan aren't. Now they will. That's it. Thank you, thank you. And that'll bring us to a short 15-minute break. Before we go to the video, I want to tell you a little bit some things that are coming down the pike. First of all, if you want to play on the Lodge live stream, get in touch with Skull Mike in a couple different ways. You can go to lodgepokerclub.com slash live stream, fill out the questionnaire, or contact Skull Mike directly on his Instagram or Twitter. We will make you a star if you come play on our live stream, that is for sure. Couple big tournaments just around the corner. The Mega Monster, you are not going to want to miss this. Interesting. $400 buy-in. We're guaranteeing a million-dollar prize pool. And for first place, we're guaranteeing a minimum of $250,000 for first place. Are you kidding me? For a $400 buy-in, a chance to win a quarter million. Interesting tournament as there's 24 day one flights, August 3rd through the 14th. So August 3rd through the 12th or so, there'll be a couple flights every single day. Check that tournament out, folks. Million dollar guarantee. It's going to go over that. I have a good feeling. Look at that long index finger from Brad Owen. So you mark that one on your calendar just a few weeks away. How about this one, folks? We do this twice a year. It's the Mayhem Series. This is the Fall Mayhem Series, September 5th through the 18th. 16 events, including the main event, $1,200 buy-in, $1.5 in guarantees. The Mayhem Series, always fun. And you know, when any time we have a big series, big tournament action, it always increases the number of cash tables. 82 tables here at the Lodge, all a lot of them are busy today. Not every single one of them, but a lot of them are. It is packed in here. So those are some tournaments coming up. At this time, let's go ahead and play you a short video uh, as we see 12 minutes and 30 seconds remain till the players will come back. 
enjoy this video from previous clips from our lodge live stream. The moon, man, the craters. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Chris has one of the worst. We are there, but there's. Got like Avery or Fountainhead or. Some guy. We were we were uh, we were actually behind some I mean, people. Like we were yeah, waiting one, for people on like a couple holes, and then like the one hole that they got ahead of us for one hole. The group behind us was like, hey, can we play through? Like, yeah. We no, literally yeah, just, waiting. We literally just <laughs> been waiting this whole time. Wow, there we hey, go. There's something really for Brad. Mm -hmm. Middle set. Oh, boy, but easy, guys, look. You easy, well? or no, not that day, uh, a flush no, drop. Sorry, uh, play, my, my black cards blend, blended down. together there a little bit. Uh, I did pick up a 10, though. Oh, boy. Mariana did not yeah, enjoy playing. take a stab. Brad's got to do the betting. Mm -hmm. Hassan, a fucking yeah. Great way to get Mariana some does pick up a Broadway draw. Yeah. <clears throat> Easy going nowhere. For 1,200, I think Mar Mariano might peel this river. I think so, too. Might think his ace is live. Yeah. Laney Jack can bluff heart rivers. There's a heart. And Oops. wow, quads oh. for That's Brad. Awesome. Let's go, Zilla. Brad. I'm sure uh, that. Yeah. Oh, he checks it. Auto check. Auto check. Auto -check. Uh, we're a Beautiful company. check. Okay. Make the internet go. It's Mariano. Check. He's going to fall for it. Bro. Like Mariano. If Mariano like checks his back, like I think Brad is going to leave. Yeah. Big fan. He's got the blocker in his hand. Oh, yeah, the only deuces. problem is sometimes when it doesn't work, Bet. I have to unplug something Mariano. for five minutes and then put it back Brad. in. Standard. Brad is like just that. thinking, how much can I get out of Mariano right, right now? That's all these things. Brad, what's the number? Home, what's the number? <laughs> You're right, yeah. <laughs> Quads, let's go. Uh-oh. No, 20,000 that means that uh, get two is the number. And make it reliable. Okay. Brad Owen with Quads. Check fair. raises the river against Mariano. Most people. It's overkill. Takes a real internet nerd. Does he still have cards? My, my brother would love that. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Big well, feeling he folded. Well, he, he, was, he, he was in New York. He's Snapped in fold. Mariano he in, in the there. tank. Kind of does all that. Spades missed. The smart yeah, stuff there is. Yeah. In the <laughs> fold. Quick fold. In the mud. <laughs> Who are you rooting for? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you rooting for? <laughs> love it. Nice hand for Brad. Takes one there down. You go. You don't like a, like a real messy chip stack? That way. It's not that I don't but like it. I just pain, prefer yeah, yeah. when they're nice it's and neat and pretty with, like with that. Tips, so I think that's totally fine. You know what it should be? Mm. If there's three low cards, they should double it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Brad. Here we go. Lock in. Big pot energy. Aces for Brad. And we got some deep stacks. Yes, we do. I don't think Mariano's going to be going anywhere. Everyone else make it out of the way. Mariano's already in. Oh, boy. Big Tony might sneak in with the queen three. Is he feeling gambly? No. Maybe not this time. Pair versus pair. Mariano's going to need some help. Tony. Locking it up. This might be an opportunity for Brad. Super dry board. Mariano. Second pair. Brad. The toppest of pairs. Yeah, backdoor straight draw, backdoor quad draw from Mariano. Love the backdoor quad draw. Can't discount that. Fuck Jack. off. <laughs> 4,000. That's still going for value. Mariano's hand shriveling up more and more as the board comes out. Doesn't look like he wants to go anywhere, though. But, but he does. And Brad... I hope it's not ace-queen. <laughs> it's better than ace-queen. Uh, it's no. better than ace-queen. certainly is. Fubai yeah. wants Poppy's poll for the night. I think you're going to have to teach the course. Can we run a Poppy's poll? I can oh, run a poll. He wants it. Well, I don't think the poll in general, but now that I think about it, he would be a he natural fit. natural. 2,000. Yeah. I, I remember when... Uh, you're like half trolling him, and then he made the, the vibe. I mean, this is the last time Squad had sushi? An hour ago? Probably? Yeah, that would be correct. There was a sushi order midstream. Ace king for Brad. Doug has pocket 10, oh so boy. all fading aside. Oh boy, here we go. Lock in. Ace king versus 10s. Dylan with deuces. Probably not going to get too into it. He nah, he stepped away from the table. He's out. Johnny T says yeah. this is the best lineup in live stream history. Thank you for that super chat. It's, uh, about 75. Three bits wow, of eight. That's a big Are the vibes now, Doug? Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> and did Brad ship it? Wow. What did he do? Wait, what happened? 
He he's all in. in. He's all in. What? <laughs> he wants to win this pot. Brad, Doug. One pit better. Eighty thousand dollars all in. You're kidding me. Exactly what Brad does to me. Wow. And he lays it down. Oh, we, Two tens. Can we see a rabbit, Anastasia? Can we see it? Run it out, Anastasia. Come on. We'll never know. That was that'll be the first. That'll be the first. Uh, Look at Brad with this smirk. Oh, we, do we see it? Do that to me? You're there it is. The smirk on his oh, face, not giving two shits. Oh, oh, yeah. Good pull, Doug. Good pull. Thank you, thank you. All right, good vibes. Good vibes. Oh, there we go. Looking yeah. like we rabbited, yeah. we didn't get to see it. Yeah. Looking like there was a king there. I'm not sure. Is that the king of diamonds? It might have been the one in front. Yeah, I thought so. For some reason, Mariano decided to leave this game. I cannot fathom as to why. Yeah, Mariano put in Speaking the uh, very solid set. <laughs> it's weird to get Oh, wanted. man. Oh, I mean, never mind. I feel like we should, should have been wanted freehand. Yeah, I don't know. We could just Mariano it. is returning to Los Angeles, so pretty happy What's that he uh, stayed as long as he did. He's got a flight to catch. In this the, early? Not, not right now, but I'm right. sure he's got a... Pack up, try and get an hour of sleep, and then head to the airport. Ah, no. Why, why wouldn't okay, he just yeah, leave straight from the lodge? We know he's got all of his things That's right true. here. That's true. Call, call him back. Call him back. Call him back. Get in here. As we see Doug three bet the ace, queen. We are going to call for Brad with 7-5. Two pair. Top two for the vlogger in the plus one. He's got a hammer lock on this hand. Doug is going to take a stab at it. Kind of surprised. The stab from, did I just hear all in? Ships it. Check jam for 18K <laughs> almost from Bradley Owen taking down a $3,300 profit. What? Yeah, it was up or got it. I was playing 2-5 all the time. I took a shot at like a very, very good 10 and a quarter. And I, I was up like $8,000 and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Joey Ingram types in, I wanted the MVC. I, I did. I felt like I should have won that one. <laughs> I have an advantage. I have a headset on, but. You do. Maybe tomorrow, Joey. Congratulations. There's always tomorrow. What do they win? Like I said, they win the, the honor of being the pride. It's the pride. Don't always have to get a trophy. Okay. Hey, Mike. We have one open. I don't know if you guys want to fill it or not. So Great board for Brad. Am I squeaking like a Ace high, flush draw, straight draw. Mm -hmm. Hard for him to lose this pot. E easy, I say. E easy. You never know with this guy. I think he raised. You want that You always buy the new suit. You are correct, Brad. Took a stab. Easy. <laughs> Not yeah, gonna make it easy. Interview like Brad not going anywhere. <laughs> See if Brad can find a way to lose this one somehow. He doesn't have the best hand yet, but he does have a massive draw. Oh, hey, oh, whoa! How about how about the nuts for Brad to the nut redraw? You would appreciate the steel wheel. Are you super young? How old are you? That's that's easy. Yeah. It is of my age, and I like yeah. Seinfeld. Yeah. That makes me like, sad. That's what but I think I, 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 think I stopped watching. Easy. No, I'm going to continue shows with putting, the, you know, live laughs putting on the pressure. Now, like, Every chip he puts in the pot yeah. is yeah. torched. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. People are laughing. I don't like that. It comes to race. I used to. Not a, I mean, I watch. Yo. 11,000. The witch. I dream of Jeannie. Now I feel young again. I didn't watch honey You should have uh, watched that one. Jetsons <laughs> and honey yeah. yeah. Easy I doesn't look like he wants to let this hand go. Yeah, there's a few shows that are like older or whatever. Not that they're but. old, but. I want to watch The Wire, too. The Wire is fucked. And I want to watch The Sopranos, too. Yes. The Wire is the first draw. A-side currently. I waited forever to watch. And then over COVID, I was like, I have nothing to do. I'm just going to fire this Netflix has changed it. The Wire is my favorite show ever. I heard it's the best TV series. The Wire is the best TV series. The Wire is the best TV series. The Wire is the best TV series. So I watched, like, two episodes, and I gave it up, and that's what people say. Yeah, he's going a little more. Oh, boy. To me, The Wire is better than Ted Lasso, though. Yeah. I love Ted Lasso, too. And I've been to Baltimore a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Just cool and it's Easy's uh, different uh, really thinking this one over. Like, Maybe oh, putting Brad on Ace of just Diamonds yeah. with a lower yeah. kicker, awesome. essentially. Like it just to beat the kids and they're going to lay it He down. does lay it down. <laughs> Did not look like a believer. Yes. I remember he was number four as a kid. Easy with King-Queen. 
Yeah, picking up hands. Back, At least you're not going card dead after that, Pots. Just what you want to end up in another big pot right away after. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Rather that than go card dead. Big Tony on the heater. Sure. Graphics about catching up here just a little bit. If that's a hundred dollar annie, if you put it in a hundred dollar annie or not. Well, we are about two minutes before the players get come back from their break. 34 players remain. Remember when we hopped on today, we had 81 players, 483 total entries today, a record-breaking event for our Art of Poker, which has gone on since uh, for many years here. It's, it's a flagship tournament each month. You see the prize pool of $100,464. First place is going to walk out of here with 21600 for those of you wanting to know, Skull Mike is one of the 34 remaining, fresh back from his honeymoon. Just was out there on the break looking around, and Skull Mike has a ton of chips. See, our good friend Elisa Everett Spring is coming to the United States, going to make a large appearance in mid-October. We will be here, Elisa. Plenty of tournaments for you to play for every day. I see Yoda in chat. We wave goodbye to VW Bug, who did great work. Yoda, the best moderator in the business, will take us all the way home. As You see the payouts there. We're going to be coming back to blinds 6,000, 12,000, 12,000. So every orbit, you're putting 30,000 chips in the middle. Payouts right now, 28th through 34th place, we'll get $553. $1,100 and growing watching. We had it up over 1,600 at one point. I'm sure it, after we get back going again here, it's going to be back up there as we're going to pause the clock here with five seconds as they finish doing some color-ups. While they're doing that, let's take a look at what the chips are going to look like the rest of the way. Yellow chips, 1,000. Orange chips, 5,000. The light blue are 25,000. There you see Skull Mike. The rare smile on Skull Mike's face. Looking right into the camera. At some point, players are going to receive a red chip. That's 100,000 value. Large, oversized purple chip is 500,000. And there you see the Lodge Cam. Look at all those smiling faces. That's the cash that's half of the cash tables going on right now. Lodge is packed once again on a Saturday evening. There's Rosa. She bounced out of the tournament, went straight to a cash table. Got to love it. as Chase is going to be coloring up some of the chips on this stream table. We go four levels, every four levels, 30 minutes each level. Every two hours, we'll take a break like we just did. As Anna... We are in a three-dealer rotation. Anna, Anastasia, and Miranda. It's ladies' night right now with our dealers. Appreciate each one of them. Good luck, everyone. Welcome back. 34 players remain. We started with 81. And here we go. Thanks for... Making it through the break. Thirty 
36 raise. Hummel with the Gretzky hand. Raised to 36, and he's almost going to have to put his big chips up front at some point. He's got all of his 5,000 denomination chips in back of the 1,000. And at some point, somebody's going to have to tell him put those orange ones out front. Skull Mike earlier saying that he was probably in the booth by now, oh, yeah. but he's actually out there, with, out there. A, with a decent uh, size stack, yeah, with a very uh, significant oh, no. stack, yeah. The he's, pro is going to take down the tournament. We 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 can't have a lodge commentator winning the biggest art of poker. I just is he allowed to play? I don't even know. He's I'd, too good. I'd have to check the rules and regulations. On it's like that. something they probably would have <laughs> figured out before. Uh, there's got to be rules I'm and regulations. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I know. He, he plays. He plays. He plays. Well. Yeah. Well, he was playing. I'm, that's how he got how much the commentator. Right? 27, yes. 27,000. Yinchberg. Yeah, Yinchberg. Yincheng <laughs> in seat three. Raises to 27,000. Probably paying $210 buy-ins, and we're not paying $250. I know. Oh, God damn. I'm just making up random things to get mad about. <laughs> <laughs> things that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> completely fake things. It's been done before. People do it on the internet all the time, so it's yeah. fine. That's what the internet's for. <laughs> Pots, yeah, pocket right. sixes for Nicholas. <laughs> Going to come along. How about a set for Nicholas? Check. Open ender for Yin Chang. And then I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> what are you what are you saying? It's <laughs> Oh yeah. I don't like hearing myself in a voicemail. I can't imagine I'm gonna like hearing myself on a stream. Everybody. I think like we all feel that way. It's just like hearing your own voices. Yeah. It is weird. Yeah. I don't know. My voice is incredible. Yeah, you have to stop feeling. Especially when you say check. Raise. There you see the light blue chips. Twenty-five thousand. As Brendan raises to twenty-five thousand, over to his buddy Ron. Both players have a ton of chips. Nicholas calls with his Broadway cards, and we will go to a heads-up flop, and it's going to give us three. Both players with well over 300,000 chips on an ace-jack-nine flop. Two pair for Brendan. Middle pair for Nicholas. Darn it, I had it. <laughs> I had to beat. Did you? Yeah. He's Jack. He's nine. That's what I had. <laughs> really? <laughs> Super lucky then. Nice race. I see my friend Fig Nuts in chat. How you doing? 
How's everybody doing in chat? We appreciate every one of you. 133,000 subscribers. Can you believe it? We're racing to 150,000. I've ridiculously told everybody that if we get to win, when we get to 150,000, I'm going to jump out of an airplane with a parachute. Wife does not like it. I'm going to try to do it still. So help us get to 150,000 subscribers. And watch that. Parachute, skydive jump, go viral. Deprive the world of your voice. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to tune in later and hear his voice. That's what it's about. Yes, because up until this point, he's done no talking. So Inching in, in the big him. blind makes the call. <laughs> Rahul with big slick. Well, he'll just diamond draw for Yin Chang. It says Ron stops talking. Top top for Rahul. <laughs> Inching has 278,000 chips. Got the diamond draw. But he's going to lay it down. Uh, no, Blue Man Group Joe is not the White Claw Warrior. Blue Man Group Joe, who won a World Series of Poker $600 tournament and a bracelet this week. Congratulations to our good friend. He's been on the stream many times. We call him Blue Brand Group Joe because he used to wear gloves that were blue. Still wears gloves, but not necessarily blue ones. I gave him that nickname. It's kind of stuck. But congratulations. Won 401000 and a World Series of Poker Bracelet. I hope he brings it back to the lodge. I want to try on that bracelet. Pair for Robert here. Now, Yin Chen catches up. Flush draw and a straight draw along with the sevens for Robert. The Yin Chen's going to fire out 12,000. Robert, who's been on fire since we started streaming. Jack on the river and Yin Chen with the check mark. Lodge live stream on four times a week, usually. That's our regular schedule. We're not going to be on tomorrow because we expect to go late, early into the morning with this one. But usually Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you can catch all the action. 90% of the time, you're going to see cash games. We'll throw a tournament in there. We may even throw in Doug's. Heads up challenge as it continues. You never know what you're going to find on the Lodge live stream, but we do promise one thing. We will bring it strong every time we go on the air. That's our commitment to you. East Jack suited for Yin Chang.
Yin Cheng continues the aggression. It's going to take it down. Yeah, every time you get a chance to see the tournament clock in the back of the studio, that'll show you how many people are left whenever we get a shot of that. But about 34 folks still in this tournament. We will not stop streaming until we have a winner. Buy in today was $250, 483 entries, set a record here at the Lodge for the Art of Poker, over 100,000 in the prize pool. Not too shabby. Robert on the button, going to raise to 25,000. Rahul going nowhere with ace-queen suited and a ton of chips. Rahul hits his ace. Okay. Raises here to 55,000, and Robert says, I was kidding there. And we'll go on to the next one. James Bassett, you know, I was thinking about that very thing. The Mayhem Series has a tag team event in it, which I love the tag team concept. I'm going to have to find a partner. Problem with me is finding a partner. I'll play with anybody, but will they play with me? As Robert wakes up with the Cowboys... And he's going to put it all in. 198,000. Ron with ace queen. Ron. You have king eight. Do you have a hand you like? <laughs> Oh, I called my hands. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'll let you bluff me off. Blackjack. Bluff? Come on, show it. <laughs> you'll see it in 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Robert says you'll see it in a little bit. You might be out there. Kai, Kai, are you, you going to be in town? <laughs> Kai Space Ace? Ace squeeze, Ace squeeze the parking lot hand. Yeah. Or the party lot. Party lot. Oh, there you go. Look at that. You guys just bullied me. Just bullied me. Bullied. Push, push me right off. Against you, I would have. Fuck you. I, me? I would have what broke, did I do to I might you? Have, I might have broken my wrist getting the chips. You used to call me a nit all the time. <laughs> in the TCH. You were a nit then. The snowman for Nicholas raises the twenty five thousand. Did, did he change. do something on that? He raised to twenty five thousand. It's hard to see. Yeah. Yeah, I'm one and eight. Yeah, the one in the eight is yeah, so <laughs> it's, it's a little hard to see on this one. Uh, I call your obvious bluff, sir. And Ron with Queen Nine suited. In the big blind. That was me. Just for 13,000 more, we'll make the call. Which one of you has really long legs? 
to pair for Ron. Smashes that flop. Part of the table right here. And you're barefoot right now? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to put that out there for the public to hear. I'm not barefoot. Make that straight. One Dutch eighteen. Nicholas fires out here. He really looked. Is Ron just gonna flat call here? <laughs> what does he do? He's not flat calling. Eight. That's sixty. That's a raise. Raise it to Spade opportunities now for Nicholas. All in. All in from Ron. There's the fold. So a couple of you have asked when's mayhem. Coming up September 5th through the 18th, you're not going to want to miss it. 16 events, 1.5 million in guarantees, including a tag team event, a main event, many other events. Check out all the events that you could be playing. Fall Mayhem Series, September 5th through the 18th, you are not going to want to miss it. We do mayhem twice a year, spring and fall. James, I don't know if Yoda wants to be my partner. She's a serious player. But thank you for the offer. Opinion? Looks like it. Plus, I'd feel bad if I busted when it was my turn to play and it was Yoda. And I said, Yoda, I had pocket kings. What do you want me to do there? Pair for Nicholas. We'll have to figure something out because Kylie says she's back. She asked first. We'll have to figure it out. Now I got too many partners. Not a bad thing to have, but we'll figure it out. I want to play the tag team event, though. Ace 10 for Robert wearing the sharp looking brand new Lodge Card Club cap he bought for $25 at the gift shop. Josh on the cutoff with the sailboats makes the call. $250,000 with Ace Jack offsuit. And it's going to get it done. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Austin City No Limit wants to have a contest to see who's who'd be my partner. Would, would we would, would they consider that a win? <laughs> Every now and then I'll spike a tournament, cash, a, but I don't play a whole lot of tournaments. Robert raises with his pocket tens. Almo. Don't think he realized that there was a raise from Robert. As he was in the small blind, he just thought he was calling the big blind there with the dirty diaper, three deuce. Open ender for Yin Chang. Open ender for Yin Chang. <clears throat> Carving out possibly some raising chips. Looks like 80,000. Back at you, Robert. I'm all, in. all in from Robert. Exciting little hand here. Hand number 83. And Yin Chang makes the call. And we got a 493,000 chip pot. I made the right move. Robert gets it in with the best of it. I think somebody's going to win. Mm -hmm. One of us. Looking for a three or an eight is Yin Chang. There's the three. That's ugly. It's over. He's got the straight, aren't he? Pretty much, yeah. That's it. That's it. And. And Yin Chang. Take care. Good game. Robert, who played incredible on this feature table. Got it in with the best of it, with his tens, and Yin Chang, with the open ender, spikes a three on the turn, and now he may be chip leader. I'm paying the big one this game, right? I actually thought you were suited. That was a huge pot. That's him. Thank you. Hey, pay jump. And that lucky hat was lucky until then. It was lucky until it wasn't. Mike, I would not call the old man a knit. He went in with pocket tens. How is that a knit? But everybody has their own opinion. As Anastasia comes back into the box, the pride of Ukraine. The talented Anastasia. We're in mourning. You said we're quiet? I said we're in mourning. We just lost someone. Big slick for Ron here. 
in the high jack. Raise the 25K. Yin Chang all of a sudden with a ton of chips. I'm still surprised no one's asked Ummel to move his big chips out front. Brendan's going to take that one down. We're about an hour 30 away from our next break. 27 remain. Start at the stream with 81 players remaining. Now we're down to 27. It's moving. Night stream started around 7.45 p.m., Cheryl. We're at going into completing our third hour in the next 15 minutes. Moving right along. Those interested in my partner since show number one of the Lodge live stream, some 400 live streams ago, Skull Mike, landed back in town from his honeymoon, two weeks at honeymoon, landed back 1 a.m., came to play this tournament, extremely tired, but still in with a ton of chips. When will we see Skull Mike on this table? Six remain. You see the next blind levels coming up in about a minute, and it looks like they're going to have a table redraw here. There's Skull Mike. Chatting with the man from Waco. Look at Aaron is still in. He had no chips earlier in the day. He's still in. Good old Aaron. So who knows? We're going to have a table redraw now when it gets down to just three remaining tables. We may see. We got a good chance of seeing Skull Mike. I'm not that good in math, but at three tables, if we have a table redraw, we got a one in three chance of seeing Skull Mike on this table. What do you think? There's Cody, a Lodge regular. He's still in. Rocket Man, the man from NASA. 
Makes me look young. Love the rocket man right there. Worked in NASA for many, many years. Some of the most historic moments in our space program. There you see the lovely Liz directing traffic. As there's Skull Mike, where is he headed? Is he headed to the stream room? Doesn't look like it. Skull Mike just wandering aimlessly. And he's going to be on that table. James Bassett, did Skull gain some weight on the honeymoon? He actually told me he gained three pounds. He thought he might have lost some weight, as much walking as they did. So as the players find their table, we're down to three tables. We'll have some new players entering the studio. Under the lights, yeah, Kai Space Ace, you need to have a con conversation with the Rocket Man. Had a career at NASA. Right there, the gentleman in the blue hat headed right towards Skull's table in the shorts right there. Great guy. L loves to lodge. Shout out to our production team. Not only do they do a wonderful job each and every show, I was just delivered two slices of glorious pizza. Thank you. Tyler R. says, the amount you drink on your honeymoon, you will never lose weight. Could be a true story. <clears throat> but I, I feel like they went to countries, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, all countries that I feel like Eat healthy. I mean, you don't really see overweight people, a lot of overweight people from those countries. <clears throat> so you're eating a lot of fish and stuff. There's the cash side of the house. Look at all those smiling faces here at the Lodge Mahal. You got to get here, folks. Open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's as good as everybody says it is. It's even better. But make sure when you come here, there's a good chance I may be here. I'm here a lot. I want to say hello to you. I want to welcome you. Oh, no, folks. Cody has entered the studio for what I believe is the first time ever. And he may not meet, need a microphone. Hiker till heaven. No, didn't get any pineapple on this pizza. It's just cheese, but I'm happy just to have a slice or two. As you see, Safi. Cody getting all mic'd up. Is We're going to just pause here as we got everybody situated. When we get down to three tables, we do a table redraw. While we're waiting, make your plans, folks, just a couple weeks away. It's already the 15th of July. July is flying by, August 3rd through the 14th. You're not going to want to miss this one, folks. Something pretty interesting. A $400 buy-in with a $1 million guarantee. How do we do it? Well, we're going to have a bunch of day one flights, 24 to be exact, August 3rd through the 14th is the tournament. For more information, go to lodgepokerclub.com for all the information on when is a good time for you to play. But $400? Come on, folks. 
The great thing about this tournament, not only is it one million guaranteed, but 250K, a quarter mil, go into first place, guaranteed. You're not going to want to miss that one, the Mega Monster. Give a shout out to Andrew Nimi, also made a deep run in the World Series. Shout out Andrew Nimi. Doug Polk cashed in the main event. And of course, a huge congratulations to Blue Man Group Joe, a Lodge Stream original, played on some of our earliest streams, gave him the nickname Blue Man Group Joe. I, and, and it's just stuck. It just, people call him all over the country, Blue Man Group Joe, won $401,000 in a World Series of Poker bracelet event this week. Can't wait to try on that bracelet. Hope he can bring it in. I want to try it on because it'll be closest, the closest I'd ever get to a bracelet. Tom, how are you, sir? How you doing? I'm not a hater. You got to know me. Slick Rick, not a hater. Tend to enjoy life. Life is too short, folks. That's all I'll say. Enjoy life. You ought to said Andrew finished 164th for 58,500. Fantastic showing. I think that's his best ever showing. And it's maybe one of his biggest tournament caches ever. So folks, this is not a break. We just had to have a table redraw. And Skull Mike wearing his glasses, <clears throat> sitting with his back towards us, straight back from his honeymoon, where he spent two weeks in Norway, Denmark, and Sweden. Fig Nuts speaks the truth. Although I don't wear Skechers. I wear Hey Dudes. You ever, you ever hear these new shoes? Hey Dudes. Very comfortable. Caesar, he, him, how you doing? There's 26 players left. We started the stream about three hours ago with 81. We will go until we have one winner. Ken Mason, Mr. Slick Rick, where's your favorite barbecue? I have a couple. If I feel like I have plenty of time and I want to wait in line, I, Franklin, you can't beat it. But if I don't want to wait in line, I kind of like one called, I just drew a blank. I, I just literally just drew a blank. I'll figure it out here in a second. And my stuff's better. Let's get back to poker. Got the best at the I can dance, but I always lead. <laughs> okay, we, we, not a dancing. Right, I have to wand everybody once, and then we can get started. Don't threaten me with a good time. Every time you say it, it's going to happen. <laughs> Style switch. That's the one I like to go to. Levi it's Garrett? tough getting old. I'm 57, yeah, folks. Uh, that's not true. That's different. 
Pip, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not from Texas. I'm joking. Well, oh, allow me to tell you what she would do. Okay. Ain't I a stinker? I hope not, please. Okay. Bugs Bunny. Stinker? Bugs Bunny. Oh. Do you know who Bugs Bunny is? I do know who Bugs Bunny is. Do you even know who Bugs Bunny is? Right, don't give me the Valley Girl. Don't give me the Valley Girl. Valley Girl, girl Cody rules. <clears throat> Folks, you're about to be in for a treat. Either that or something else with Cody in seat three. He is an interesting character. Good luck. Party peeps, real rockers alike. Let's go. Oh, the stream's going to love you. Funny thing is, I went to junior high with Cody's yes. older sister. Just like everybody else. Mixing poker in chat. Speaking of barbecue, anytime we talk about barbecue, he shows up. He is the pit master general on a nine high board. Some new players here that we're going to get to know. Nicholas in the sixth seat, reaching for chips. That's probably going to get it done for Malik as he whiffed on this board. As I say that, he's got over a million in chips. He says, let's take it out for a walk and hit that ace on the turn. That would be awesome. This is already boring. <laughs> it's going to be like this. It's going to be like, I'm a man of the people, honestly. I should be out there with the people. Stay with the common man because I am the common man. I thought I'd like this, but I'm going to be honest with you. That's a true story. Yeah, you're not a big fan. I I'm like sorry it. About that. Once I watch it, it'll be good. Okay. You, know, you like watching you. I was made for the camera. Yeah, yes, right, yes. right. Who made you? For the game. Malik, just the coming along. Me. Okay. Literally. Nicholas. Why is it Hits a 10 on the river, but that's not what he was looking for. He was looking for that heart. It's like any, any real Let's see what Malik does here. During the process, it's not fun. But it's not result. Type 2 fun. Mm -hmm. Huge pot brewing. Probably the biggest one we've seen today so far. As these players seem to have a ton more chips than the ones that were previously on the feature table. When you're right, you're right. I cannot speak to that. No, this is actually my Oh, man, what does this guy drink? Oh, These are my veins. I flex. Do you believe me? I do. I do believe you. I've just never seen something like that I would not lie to you. I know. 300,000, sure. 300, I come clean. I did lie wow. I don't want to be a liar. For Huge me. pot brewing here. Okay. Hand number 87. <laughs> I do kind of wish this thing was like in the middle of everybody. All of a sudden, we've got an 858,000 chip pot. Uh, peeps. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. It would be kind of loud if we were. It used to be. Yeah. I, 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 no, no. This is better for like, the viewers because they don't get like a background. Audio, so I'm a man of the people. Ooh. If my peeps aren't allowed, I usually don't even go. You are lucky that I'm. The over a million chip pot. If Malik makes this call, uh, yeah, I, thank you. Makes the call. One million chip pot. Hey, dude, take your, take your hoodie off. And Malik. You've been working hard. Show the guns off, bro. <laughs> Not for free. 1.6 mil now he's wearing his hoodie. for Malik. Dude, it's going to be a gun show when he takes it off. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Right, guys, gun show? Not particularly. Come on. Let's see the guns, baby. Give the people what they want. No? 
No chance? Maybe when we're heads up. If we're heads up, I'll take the hoodie well, off. You, you'll Interesting you story about Cody in seat right. three, uh, well, along with being a large personality, yeah, let's just call it that. We love Cody, but he's here a lot. Kind of loud. Father, a former no professional baseball player. I had his baseball card growing up. It'll be a battle for the century. Played for my team, the Red Sox. He was a great pitcher, by the way. Do you only play the big ones, I guess? The big tournaments? Yeah, the big daddy dude. You never just fucked around. Played the free roll, and then the final table one day. We had 20 big blinds. Nicholas with the jiggities. He just lost a bunch of his chips in the first hand he played at the stream table. No, the worst part is they offered me a chop. I had more chips than everyone. They offered me a chop, and I was like, I'm not taking it. You had even money chop? Oh, yeah, my goodness. Oh, yeah, okay, and yeah. I didn't take it, so then I was like, I'm an idiot for not taking that. I, I can offer them a, a split kiff, kick of the ass. There you go. Yeah, then you, I got fifth-place right money. You yeah. did the right thing. Yeah. But, like, it was a little... Uh, so 20K is the money I want a big, want to huge thank you Today? to Sarah Mick. Sarah Mick is a legend. Thank you for that super chat. $199. All in moment for Brendan. What is going on with this stream table? And Nicholas wondering if he's going to play two hands and be done with this stream table. He makes the call. Oh, no. Uh, it's... Yeah. It's all the rage, and there's no way the next five loses on stream. Uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Doug Paul, I told you to play that. There's no reason why no reason. Reason. Uh, I don't know. Set for Nicholas. Oh. Okay, okay. Club draw. Oh, what? And Broadway draw. Oh, wow. And there's the both. They both come for Brendan. You got me covered, right? And in two hands. Bunteruski. Nicholas. <laughs> That's, why you That's what they told me to do. Is out. <laughs> he came to the ta okay. street okay. table with close to a million in chips. That was a crazy hand against you. That was a nice call. Yeah, that was a good call, man. It's not easy. It's, no, it's not. Ace five suited is the new big slick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. my yeah. goodness, Nicholas is going. Why did they move me? I did not want to. <laughs> he wasn't even here very long. Two hands, and his million chips have been dispersed. Yeah, and I'm here. I see our good friend Mike Youngblood. Jump into the Escalade. Tell them in chat how you doing, Mike? Yeah. Are you here for, here for the weekend? Uh, Huge thanks again, nice. Sarah Mick, thanks. the legend. I used to come around. Like, Thank you, dude. We got this man for that generous super yeah. chat. Bust yeah. my dream. A lot of my superstars up there. And like, why would you want to They moved to me. That's yeah. they've never been. So awesome. You're not gonna promise me that. I haven't lived the where though. I'm dare you. They want to go to Manhattan. Even worse. <laughs> I don't understand. My brother lives there, and that's like, 225. I mean, he loves it. He loves it. Yeah. All in. Maybe uh, he's going to school right now, so I don't. It's, it's okay. Fine, but uh, I, I live about like an hour and a half in the city. I am part yeah, like, up north. Oh, up north. Brendan. He's in. Uh, he's in like Queens. Brooklyn area. Yeah, yep. Yeah. My mother is. Uh, Races 303,000. Cody with Queen uh, Seven. We'll lay it down. David with the 499 Super Chat says, go Red Sox. Hey, I'll be at Fenway. You had one lady and not another lady? On the 25th. Sox against the Braves. I'll be by Pesky Pole. Right there in the in right field. Right by the that big famous foul pole. There you see it. 25 people remain. Right. They think I'm in a party. What the heck is a Wambusaw? Wambusaw, upstate New York. 
My cousin lives up there. Upstate New York, there's yeah, a place yeah. called Wembusa. Yeah, I'm don't. very familiar with the, the <laughs> wonderful land of upstate New York. But so I've I'm, never doing, I'm doing a quote from Cabin Fever. <laughs> the party cop guy. It, Maybe know. my favorite character. Is it right? actually a place? Well, he says yeah, it is in the movie. I don't know. I've never been to New York. Yeah, I mean, no. It's obviously the one main city, but like. Next time I go to California, also. All right. Maybe you're. Good luck. Hello, brother. Tell him that. Good luck, Daddy. Now said you need it. Let's go. Shh. Oh. Shh. Ah. <laughs> there you go. Dan. Cody's all in <laughs> with Big Slick. Oh. Let's go, baby. Got one through. Hey. I get. I hold up more hands than a manicure. So I almost said pedicures because I'm not very smart. That would be. I know, that's why I almost said it. Ah, oh, you got it. Another player will enter the room. Keep waiting for Skull well, Mike to enter. I hold We've seen this, this player before. That I did before the, the they did the retraw. I think uh, this is go. Nicholas. That wasn't good. I don't even know what that meant. The school dances, I hold hands. Hold more hands. Who's good? Yeah. I bet I've that's held bar, more though. hands than you guys. Okay. Can we really talk about that on screen? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Amir, right here. Thank you. Sorry. So I go to, uh -huh. I'm glad you corrected me. I messed up. I, messed up. I make mistakes sometimes. What do y'all think of the new pictures on the wall? We got rid of the fuzzy chips that everybody loves so much. That's downtown Austin, Texas. Probably 1950 something, I would guess. I never remember those names. You don't know these people. I remember their name like immediately. Because they're so cool. Appreciate that, Kevin. And I got him. They're not quite as cool as Brucey. Shout out to Fif Brucey, baby. 1,500 <laughs> folks watching. <laughs> Who's Brucey? The cool old dude with the mustache like this. The fireman. He buys me White Claw. He is as cool as it gets. Even cooler than the new guy that trolled me. Oh, yeah, Dad, do you see this? This guy trolled me about being Dale Ripple earlier. Literally, trolled my dad. My dad is a, a somewhere around the 100th best baseball pitcher of all time. 25? 122 wins, pretty good, yeah. That's, that's pretty good. He trolled me that he was my dad's catcher. He's like, so you're Dale Ripple? He's like, yes. I knew it wasn't, but I fell for it. It'll be rude if I didn't. And then that guy was bad. Three, four. I'm not making this is Cody up. saying that his dad is watching? If you are watching, please put something in chat. I, really chat. Actually, it's so funny. I, really I had your baseball card. I don't lie. What am I going to lie about? <laughs> I might slightly over embellish how sexy I am. Thank you. Is that a lie? Not really. Not really. The Jiggities for KC Mo and the Queens for Nick. Nick just sat down, all in for 217,000 Casey Mo for his tournament life. Queens versus Jacks. This was just gonna happen. Cooler. Was in two good hands that couldn't hold. Never. Well, you put beer in or something. Yeah. Good game. And that's it for the Jacks. KC Mo is eliminated. Nick just sat down. Hey, Rock, all your bad self, brother man. Don't 459,000 chips go his way. Badass the way you are. You dig? He dig. He dig. That guy's cool. No, that guy's cool. He's, cool. He, he's a real one. I think we're all real ones here. Yeah. It never feels good to be. All the dorks are out of the tournament. I know he played for the Red Sox. I, I, I want to say he, I had his baseball card in uh, the 1970 tops. What are those? Let's go. Ray Culp, great Red Sox pitcher. Oh, my God. I think he's kind of a dweeb, yeah. No, he won a tournament. Recently? I want to no. challenge him <laughs> to a leg wrestling match was, right now. He, he looked all better his World Series 15 letters. years ago, I guess. Do you think I could beat Jamie Gold in a leg wrestling match? I don't know. I haven't seen his legs. You see mine. Mm -hmm. See him now. Hey, oh, yeah, watch this. 
Yeah, yeah, you're much taller yeah. than Jamie. <laughs> that is impressive. Hey, good for you. Good That's for impressive. You. Wow. Cool. I bet y'all didn't think I could do that. Actually, yeah. I'd so now do y'all think I could out leg wrestle Jamie Gold? Yes. I believe it. And Thank you y'all. should go on Twitter and challenge him. Jamie Gold, I'm challenging you right now. Leg wrestling match. What did you make? Six million? I'll give you six to I'll give you six million to one, actually. I want a buck from you. Well, it's six million to one that'll beat him in a leg wrestling match. Open ender for Nick. Deal, and a flush draw. It's, it's appropriate. A pair of fives for Josh. Nick sits down. In the chair that so the other Nicholas lost we all of his chips in two hands, and, and he just wins two hands in a row. <laughs> he has things like, I got no shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. I got so, so. If I was, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the hog tie. Hogtide, yeah. Yes. MMA match, me versus yeah, Billy Joe Armstrong. They could Skull Mike pool. still hasn't come through that Dude. door. Yeah. I think I win. They get more reach on him, I think. No, 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 I'm hogtied. When is Skull Mike coming through the door? Yes. The luck of the draw. They're basically yeah. making him leave the arena from me headbutting him and biting him and telling him, Folks, you keep coming in here. You haven't hit the like button. I would smash him. Come on. And that's... Doesn't Jamie cost Gold, you anything. Make me after you. make me happy. So actions on me. Perfect time. Uh, welcome yeah, in. Sarah Mick with the 1999 super chat. I am a model. Shirt wins. You like that shirt? Sarah in seat seven. I'm not the guy to. I'm not the guy to ask. Is that your hands expertise. and feet are binded? Yes. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was just the hands. No, the I'm gonna head. hop around and headbutt him and bite him until he runs away. Have you seen the uh, Monty Python like cut his arms off? Yeah, yeah, the black Sim man. Very similar to And I, I honestly think I don't. I mean, I'm fairly tough, but Billy Joe Armstrong is just like, hey, you know. He has no shush shoulders. <laughs> Truth be told, Cody right now is on like a two. Usually he's on a nine, so <laughs> he's actually extremely well behaved right now. Top pair for Josh. Flush draw for Peter. All-in moment for Peter with the flush draw. Top pair, great kicker for Josh in seat seven. Bottom pair for Malik there. Got a ton of chips. I get a count, please. Hundred ninety eight thousand. Josh wearing what? some interesting shades and an I am a I'm a model T shirt. Makes the call. Peter's gonna need some help. <laughs> Looking for one of the few hearts that are remaining. You see. Of the nine possible hearts, five of them have already been accounted for. Let's see it. You see it? 
catching on just like that. Dude, we didn't even say anything. No one, no one else knows what we're even talking about. Nope. Looking for a heart. Uh -huh. Boom. Uh, party with the ladies. I'm trying no to heart. In trouble. Nice and game. Peter <laughs> is eliminated. <laughs> Good game. Good game. See you guys. Josh wins half a million chips. Classiest. Hey, yeah, party on, brother. You were a goddamn man. pleasure earlier hanging out with you. You're a cool guy. And we'll get another player in. Earlier. I mean, that makes total world. sense from the show, but it's funny. We're just like busting people <laughs> and they keep coming back here. <laughs> 22 <laughs> remain. <laughs> 19 <laughs> through 21 will make about 850. Uh, 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 it takes two to make a thing go right. Sarah Mick with the $99 Super Chat. Anastasia. Respect Anastasia for being an amazing dealer, not just I an absolute beauty. Done. Absolutely and now I'm a fantastic jacket. dealer. Funny as hell, too. For <laughs> just hilarious. <laughs> We've got great dealers. Oh, oh yeah. The three oh, dealers dealing the, tonight. I'm the, I'm the Johnny Cage of poker now. <laughs> Are amazing, <laughs> and we've got so many others. I'm glad this is on the It puts it back in his pocket or something. Is that thing? Oh, it's guile, I think. But this is my thing. Dude, there's a sunflower seed on my handle. Will you verify? This is a. You're snapping it off or what? I don't yeah. talk about it, I pee about it. Let's go. Because he did it. That's a true story. That's a similar. Will you verify there's a sunflower seed on my. Hairbrush. I can verify it. They're like gum, so I don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's still strange. Next blind it's like levels. Hair, by the way. It's my hand. And I'll, and will be 10. And then I'll touch the cards. 1,000, 20,000, 20,000. Still nine. There is some hair in your wine. I am. So nine more minutes in this blind level. Oh, I'll never go over it. Is there some sanitizer, actually? I'm trying to be a gentleman. And, uh, oh, the cards are. One call. Brendan with ace queen off makes the call. Heads up. King may slow some things down here. As I hear is wearing a lodge hoodie. Run good merch. Makes a bet, we'll take it down. Twenty one thousand six hundred is going to first place tonight, along with a beautiful trophy, and I believe they even get a set of headphones too. What a great way to start the week next week with Twenty one grand. Once you are out of the trust tree, there's no coming back in, mister. Okay. Have you seen the movie Meet the Parents? I got everything I know is from comedic Robert De Niro. Everyone knows this is his best work. He's a great comedic actor. Everyone loves the Robert De Niro comedies. He's a funny guy. Duh. He's a really, really funny guy. I'm going to be that funny someday. I saw. Nice so much. Yeah, I'm kidding. 
No. You know the thing that I enjoy? Pocket tens <laughs> for Nick, <laughs> who played the biggest pot. <laughs> Sorry, Malik with the 5 7. Nick, recent addition to the table. My bad. Malik played the biggest pot we've seen. Hand number 87 for over a million chips. As he beat Nicholas. Just when we started the stream back. Dion had my 5,000. I'm, I'm a well known action guy. I fell in the 5,000. Getting 4 to 1. Or eight to one hey, whatever the fuck it was. Every time. Every time. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm now having fun. I'm getting used to it. But I do want to smoke a cigarette. You can probably leave to smoke a cigarette. How long did it take to get uh, wanted down and turn me with a good time? The wanted down takes like five seconds. I think I might be smoking soon. Got break in an hour. An hour. <laughs> do I look the type of guy that goes an hour? Less Brendan than looking years? to raise. One hundred and twenty-five thousand. And you're correct. Is the new bet. And you're a great child of the future. Children are our future. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have you ever heard? Both of players that? with about similar chip you stacks. You made up that children mm -hmm. are the future. You made it. Up? Yep. Are you sure? I did. I feel like I've heard that one before. I I, 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 no, I, no, no, I wrote, I wrote that song. Yeah. I wrote I wrote this one. Hmm. What's Nick gonna do here? I think your Green Day made that song, right? Yeah. <laughs> if Brendan did have a queen, would he raise at that point? <laughs> They're basically a boy band. A lot of people think they were. Interesting situation here. And he definitely has no. Oh, 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 oh. Our two clubs out there. Nick has a ten of clubs in his hand. I don't, I don't know what he sounds like. I don't really know. Have you heard a song of him? He always goes, oh, 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 oh. Well, he's oh, he cool. well, he's Makes good. the fold. Yeah. Yeah. Brendan yeah. continues his aggression. We saw him earlier. Like, like, the other feature they're table that was here. Like, uh, they're like European. Each white, white. They all suck. Every band sucks except for Andrew WK. It's the only good band in the world. And punch in the eardrum, Matt Fox. Punch in the eardrum, baby. Let's go. Really appreciate the shout out. There's a guy I know, dude, he's so cool. Metal Matt, I call him. He is a baller. He has a band called Punch in the Eardrum. He's fantastic. He's like a, the, the, what do I think of? Right Trent Reznor, yeah. where he does everything. He does it all himself. Like a one man band? Yeah, he does all himself. He produces it, does all the bass, the drum, everything. Huh. He's, it's, he's really good. Cool. And he moved away. To, Fucking where was it? I mean, he's from Rhode Island. I think he's in Rhode Island. You go to Florida or Tennessee. I don't know. Like just... Maddie, figure out where you're going, baby. Hello, Mrs. Cupcake. How are you? Cupcake Carlos checks in the chat. It's rude. His wife on date night. They're watching the live stream. Yes. Eating a cupcake the wrong way. He could be enjoying this moment. Goes check, check. We will watch it together. You want to come over and watch it with us? Grill some hot uh, sauce. <laughs> Don't think I'll have time for that. Huh? But I appreciate the insight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I'm pretty sure I, I, I knew you. I knew you were going to blow me off in big, big league. Game. It's a good read. <sighs> You're always big league in me, man. Go to the river here. Malik with the ducks. But seriously, Green Day sucks. 
I hope this goes viral. They'd be like, what I do? Poker player hates Green Day. They suck. He's lead singer to a hogtied. They're awful. And then they're mad. I agree. He, I mean, he really does deserve to be Achilles bitten off and headbutted for everything he's made since Dookie. Everything he has made since Dookie is... Robert Dookie. Mitchell, I'm sorry it's unwatchable for you. We'll be here for another few hours. For those of you who are having fun, could you hit the like button for us? It doesn't cost a thing to you. It helps us out. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, 133,000 subscribers. We started the year off with 80,000 subscribers. In half a year, 50,000 new subscribers. We promise we will bring it strong each and every show. We're trying to race. We may not all be the champion of this tournament. To 150,000. Once we do, I'm going to jump out of an airplane. I'm not hold With you. a parachute. I don't know your name. Cody. 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 Malik. Nice to meet you. Malik? Malik, yes. I think I have met you. But I've heard that name was... No. Just, I don't know. You would have remembered me. <laughs> I would have remembered you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're one of a kind. You win. When you're right, you're right. When you're right, right. And I look good being you. Oh, absolutely. You know uh, Rob Van Dam? Never mind. <laughs> Hang on. Cowboys for a here. Facing a raise from Brand Brendan, who's been very aggressive all day today. Here's going to raise it up as we hear the tournament clock winding down. Blinds are going up next hand. So what is the protocol for me to go smoke? Go ahead. But I thought I'd be like one and down. So yeah. I just go and then come back? No, yeah. You come back to your one. When you're be back. Haven't I gained trust to where they're the bad guys? I will go out there and I'll find the bad guy. Kill <laughs> them. <laughs> y'all do know if someone came in here to do harm to y'all, they would smash their face in. Boom. Boom. Yes, James Bassett, it has been a crazy ride. I remember when we hit 1,000 subscribers, and we uh, grab his girlfriend, grab her by the hips, popped a bottle of Dom Perignon. They all, they all like applaud me. Savage. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We're extremely happy every step of the way. We can't thank you all enough, those of you who have subscribed and love the show. Skull Mike said he was playing poker as we see Cody go run for a smoke. I'm glad Cody made the stream. <laughs> Skull Mike playing poker in Copenhagen last week. Two players came up to him. We love to lodge live stream. Say hi to Slick Rick. They didn't say that part. Heads up, Josh and Brendan, both players with an ace. Ten in the window for Brendan. Yes, thank you. We just, I guess we crossed over to 134,000 subscribers. There's our YouTube plaque on the second shelf there when we hit 100,000. That, after we did that, I got to throw a pie in Skull Mike's face. That was fun. Final table, but it kind of feels like we have that, like, final table under here right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's also way too quiet now that Cody's gone. 
I don't know if it is too. Goes. I don't think it's too quiet. You don't think so? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, that's true. I guess check. Heads up. Brandon and Malik. Malik. It's his eight. Go ahead. Forty. Brandon on the turn with the ace. Facing a forty K bet, hitting his ace. It's just going to make the call, and they'll go to a, the river. Eight or a ten is what Malik gets, but trips to the check mark for Brandon. I have an eight. Going to hand number 103. We asked earlier, how many hands do you think we will play today till the end? Joseph Zara guessed, I think, 225 or something. So by his very talented guesstimate, we're about halfway through the number of hands we'll see today. You never know. Leak makes it 60K. Jack for Brendan. Couple hearts. Brendan will check here. We'll go to the turn. Another heart here. Malik with the ace of hearts. going to come along looking for an ace or a heart. Does not come. Check mark for Brendan. With his jack. going to lay it down. Folks, chip values, there you go. We're looking at the yellow chips, 1,000. Orange chips are 5,000. Light blue chips are 25,000. We will start seeing, eventually, the red chips at 100K. So there's the chip values. So I just bought some in a Lodge shirt for their Home of the Brave shirt. So on stream without red, white, and blue, can't happen. So don't mind now this hand, or else you're an American. Now uh, you can. What if we're already an American? Then that is your right, because this place is so great. That's why we fight for everyone to have their own opinion. I don't think it's a great opinion, but you can have it. That's how great this place is. Am I right or am I right? I got to be. Should Ooh. I look at it or not? No, oh, no, 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 it's only no. straight. I bet there's a couple ladies there. Probably. Cody gets a walk there. Nine three or something. That's exactly what I had actually. <laughs> <Go>. <laughs> Mind reader, right here. 
When you're yeah, this good at poker, they don't call you a great poker player. They call you Cody Jr. Colt. Let's go. I vote for that. I, you didn't like that one? I had nine, 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 nine of hearts three times. <laughs> Dude. Legend. He does <laughs> enjoy playing poker. I heard about you. Heard hey, about everyone heard about me. Only I'll tell you this. Time. I saw your shirt. That is badass. I, I saw you from across the room. I, I'm just not sure. I really appreciate that. I I got it recently at a like a, a vintage store in in Dallas. Did you pay up or did you get like for like 15 bucks or something? No, not 40 that bucks or some shit. Uh, 30 bucks. It was good. It was. But, uh, no, it was no, it was like very cheap. It's probably like a 150 dollars shirt, bro. Might be. What do you got? Actually, I did find it online because I uh, I shrunk it originally, but then I repaired it, so that was awesome. So, otherwise, I would have had to pay again. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> the bullets for Josh here. Like Wants to grow this pot a little bit. Elementary school. Like Makes it 40,000 <laughs> for a year with ace jack. We have to have a little chat. A <laughs> couple overs for a year. Doesn't have a spade in his hand. Call. But he makes the call. <laughs> oh, he got a shirt. That's what it was. Jack here would be disgusting for a year. <laughs> that was not going to happen anymore. Let's go. Check mark for Josh. Very nice. <laughs> It fits well for a random shirt that you found out there. <laughs> the guy was a little bit smaller than that. that I can see that. <laughs> Not that much. Dude, all that matters is we have... That's all that matters. I would have been embarrassed if I got on stream. wasn't wearing red, white, and blue. I would not allow it. Why don't you mind your own beeswax? <laughs> <laughs> I went and bought some dude a shirt and traded him for it. And now he has a lodge hoodie. He is going to be marketing this wonderful, wonderful place. And I am going to market America like I always do. Let's go. 228, a twisted steel and sex appeal. Am I right or am I right? Two twenty-eight. That's you. Yeah, I'm probably more like yeah, probably two, probably two twenty-one or something. Mm -hmm. You're a tall boy. I'm a tall drink of water. I just stretch my shit out. What are you like six four or something? Five. <laughs> I don't know. Six two. I don't know. I haven't stood up that. I uh, I'm a cheating six six. I'm a true six five. Oh okay. I said six four. <laughs> <laughs> He's six four. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 Oh, I guess I wish I would have. Oh, let's go see the goods. Oh, my God. God. I didn't even look. I, I am clairvoyant. I look good to me. Yeah, I was actually voted. 20 players remain, Sexy folks. Psychic. Blinds are 10, 20, 20. 50,000 <laughs> chips every orbit are going Sexy in from your stack. Seven. Seven. Se oh. For oh, the blinds. Second ace. And the annex. <laughs> Uh, between third and sixth grade, some jerk named Ralph Abernathy won. He's a real jerk. I don't think I'll blame me on this. Brendan's going to raise to 45,000 with Ace Deuce suited. Here on the button, Ace 10 off. Gonna come along. Okay. 
Uh, all hearts on this flop. Nobody with a heart. Wheel draw for Brendan. Top, top for a here. Goes check, check to the turn we go. Four hearts out there. The wheel gets there. This is a true story. I thought y'all were the same person for like four months. Goes check, check. But y'all are both beautiful. Y'all are both like tens. So it makes sense. Typically, the, the, you know, it's, it's weird for two people to be as beautiful as y'all two and to work in the same place and blah, blah, blah. Am I right or am I right? You're welcome. I mean it. That's true story. I really thought you were the same person. I don't think I'm supposed to fold. Brandon's going to take down a nice pot with his wheel. So again, a huge shout out to all the po folks in production. So many people make this show happen. In addition to our great dealers, floor staff, every employee here at the lodge. It's a reason why it's recognized as one of the best places to play. Not only for the action, but just a good time. People treat you nice. It's a great value. And it's great poker. The fifth largest poker room on the planet Earth. The Lodge Mahal. Very good looking. All in for Cody with Ace 5 offsuit. It's only like three ish. Three hundred eleven thousand. Leak eight six on the button. Those two will fold. Will it get through here? Josh with some Broadway cards. Be for about half of his chips though. A little sweaty. You got it. I know I do. I know I got it. Ace Jack. I was good. born with it. Ace Jack. I'm a net. Cody's going to show the Ace Five. Mike, I did not see that the Lodge live stream made a very brief appearance on Joe Rogan. In what context? Do tell. <laughs> See how, how fearless I am. Fearless. It's like three. It's like three hundred. It's like three hundred. Ken, I'm more of a breakfast taco guy. The other stuff. I have two fifty in this. But fajitas or breakfast tacos are what I go with. Three sixty-five. No, 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 no. I have three sixty-five. He asked me. He asked me. If Joe Rogan is watching, he does live here. What is this? You're welcome to play at our live stream. Just saying. You want to know so badly, I'll tell you. Let's do it. I'd rather know what you're going to do. I, would, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll be all doing <laughs> But I think. Can I ever lie to you? Tell me you wouldn't. We're caught in a trap. Oh, nice. Yeah, I remember yeah, Philip. Great guy. Because I Malik with the crabs. Walk in, you see. 40. It is 360. Thank you. 40K for the crabs from Malik. 360. One. covered by 1,000. Don't look up there. Look at the heat. Look at the heat. Why are you doing things like that? Who cares? Cares. We're both going to win this tournament, and then we're going to fly the lodge to outer space. Let's go. Let's go. If you don't believe it, it ain't going to happen. I actually coined uh, the term conceive, believe, achieve. I made that up. Love it. It is. I came up with that. 
Will you do it, though? Will you take my advice? I must achieve. Go. I must conceive. <laughs> I like that, I like that. David, 499 Super Chat. Yes, I will say hello to Lorraine. Hi, Lorraine. Go Sox. We were on fire there before the All-Star break. Won like five or six in a row. American League East is just a beast this year. Cody short that you can see his shoes with his Jack wife. Ten offsuit. Let's go. Here it is. This is one of my favorite jokes. Get it? Because it's like a, it's so short. The yeah. No, no, I got it. Didn't go in my head. I got it. You even know what comedy is? Brandon with Ace Nine suited. You are awesome. Me? I bluffed that one. Cody gets another one through with Jack That's 10. That's great two cards. Bluffish. I don't know about that. Yeah, because there's no way you can have they queen know. three or anything. There's no way you could ever dump a lady. That is a guy that likes to party with the ladies. Did you have a queen? My two favorites. I would have figured it. But. I don't get like credit for that now. I jam the jack I high and I don't get credit. You get credit, man. I don't mind. Y'all are, are tough much. turtles as well. Yes. All right. Hey, Cody. Hey, brother. Oh, you got any like rosé left? Thanks for having me on stream. I'll see you in the final table. Yeah. Good luck, man. Yeah, yeah, me too, brother. Oh, my goodness. Cody goes oh. down. <laughs> Boom. You're right. I'll be watching that. Watch out. Watch out for <laughs> Did he break the chair? Yeah, or did he just... Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. I was no. Cody, be I careful. For the love of God. <laughs> but Down goes this Cody. This thing never touched me. True story. Caught it. True story. If, if, if you can Hold. prove that this touched the ground. Based on a true story. All. All. All in again for Cody. Oh, no. Playing like he's double parked. Ace 10 offsuit. 22. Malik with some Broadway carts and a ton of chips. Yeah, I would never. How much is that? I'm sorry. Something, something like 422. Something like that. 422. I seem pretty exact. You're welcome. Oh, man. I hope I don't get in trouble. I got excited to give you a gift. Whether or not I. That 421, he's very close. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I hope I don't get in trouble. Again. Malik with a ton of chips. Aye, aye, aye. Could make this call. I don't know if that's true. Four twenty. Was it four twenty-two? Four twenty-one. It's very close. Twenty-one was my dad's number. It was pretty good. I, have I told you how good my dad was at baseball? Have you ever heard that story? Well, you haven't? My dad is the 17th best, Ray Culp, the greatest man in the world, 17th best Red Sox pitcher of all time, 76th best Red Sox, name of the Red Sox. I name that. I would, I would say Carl Yaz, Ray Culp, Babe Ruth, L. Cam Boyd, personally, my top board. Should 
Malik makes the call That's a good for answer. Cody's tournament life. He's going to have a ton of chips, folks, if he can and do the fate the king or queen. Me. I'm toast. <laughs> I'm toast. There's going to be a lady out there. They always come to me. When I do, when I don't want, I try to beat them off the stick. They never go away. There's the ace for Cody. And Cody's going to have some chips here. I thought I, I thought I knocked you out. I thought I got rid of the good player. <laughs> I told you they queen. come to me. That should be good, right? 862,000. No, no problem. No, you're good. Dude, they always. Chips for Cody now. Nice, Amber. Nice, Amber. Dude, that was standard as a motherfucker. Yeah, nice. <laughs> no, no, good job. I did it. No, no, I, I, no. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. We're in this together, baby. <laughs> I already told you, we're all winning the tournament. We're taking the lodge. We're flying to outer space. We are going to overtake Elon Musk's space capsule. Doug Polk is. A better man than Elon Musk. I don't even get Doug Polk might be the greatest man. Can I man. start writing everything you're saying down? Dude, you're just I, like, I'll yeah. tell you this. Doug Polk I is can just watch badass. It later. Doug Polk is a badass. He's just going all the wisdom. Just line it up. You're allowed to. I'll let you. Do you just have a skin question? Do you think your heart desires? Yeah. Folks, we're just going to let Cody do his thing here. Just picked up a ton of chips. Watch out, folks. One thing I want to say is Doug Polk is a fantastic man with great opinions. What is it? So it's, a, so it's like a lot of, What is it? So it's a... What is it? 700 or some shit? That's a lot. I better do that, like, min raise thing. Ready? That's ready. Three, five, four. I'd rather just put it all in, but I don't, I don't, I don't I have too much chips. Can we raise the blind so I have a chance or what? Mm -hmm. Two hours I have a chance. No, but I only know how to play 20 big blinds. Check. Your story. He checked. After all that we've been through together, I check. No more checking. I'm gonna check my email, Doug. Cody's on a little heater. I guess what I have. Two jacks. A lady. <laughs> it is bizarre. They find me all the time. Gotta come up with a nickname for Cody. It started out as a as a bit. <laughs> it's turning real. I'm thinking Condor or Albatross. I'm quite sure this is a simulator. That's why I'm so cool. Does have a tremendous wingspan. Makes some sense, right? Men are easy daisy. All right, the the nicknames are flooding in right now. <laughs> Cody, I mean, folks, you, you got to realize Cody is extremely well behaved right now. Five less than a DJT. You know what that is? No. Donald J. Trump. Right. Five less. Check. Trips for Nick. And Cody in trouble here as he hits his ace. And fires out 20. Nick just going to flat call here. Bring Cody along. We're going to the moon together. Oh, my goodness. Cody is in fuego right now. Both players with the boat. Cody has Nick dead to the nine of diamonds. Texas time traveling. Who is that? Cornwall? 30. Just a flat call from Cody. I love it. Great play. Check. Hmm. 
<laughs> and Cody is in fuego right now, folks. Bet's 175. And Nick has the boat. Cheers. What do you think, folks? This would be for the majority of Nick's remaining chips. Can I tell you my favorite Matt Dillon story real briefly? Go for it. It's an hour's turn for you. What do you think, folks? One if he calls, two if he folds. And did you hear about... Flopping uh, trips, actress, turning the boat. That murder that person, Reese... Reese... Don't know what you're talking about. Who is it? Reese? Don't know what you're talking about. You're supposed to you're supposed think about you're Cody. It's a glitch. It's when he's had it and when he hasn't had it in these situations, he talks. So there hard to get a read on a, Cody. A good one. Good time. A lot of people saying he's going to call here. It's a good bet. That's why I made it. I like it. If there's a better bet to make, I would have made that bet. Doubt it. Uh, this this one's pretty damn good. I know. That's why I made it. Do you want to hear a good joke also? Yeah. Hair jumper cables walk into a bar. Barger says, wait, try to start something? It's pretty good, man. Oh, man. You heard of the one about Bill Nick Schumer. is in the blender here. <laughs> Be left with about 120,000 chips, about six big blinds. If he makes this call. Played with you before. Yeah, I know. Do you hear me rap? You've heard me rap. Oh, oh, I've heard you. you rap. I've heard you talking. Do you hear me rap? <laughs> I'm a player. I'm a player. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Oh, I'm a player. Hmm. I mean, you either have it or you don't. Oh, Will my. you show if I fold? Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'll do anything your heart desires. What type of guy I am? A high moral fiber. I fold. But I am a player. Good fold from Nick. We show? I don't even show at the racehorse track. See it in a little bit. Nice hand. I don't even show at the racehorse track. I win in place. Let's go. If the you Condor. Me, you had, I believe you. 9 10. So I had 6. Nice Cody is in uh, fuego, folks. Less, I guess. It seems like oh. it's a very polarizing oh. figure yeah, amongst the, the people of Chatsville. That's why I was bluffing, though. I, I, but he's got a ton of chips, folks. A Kit Kat and he's in fuego. And a, and a, uh, a Wesley Willis tape. Are you familiar with Wesley Willis? Nope. Well, you should be. No, I don't know. It's like, shit. Sure. But I really had nine. You're going to find out. I really had a six. Whatever. Oh, I thought, then you just, yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm lying. I'm lying. <laughs> You're going to find out anyway. Who cares? Yeah, no. I you heard, heard a six. You heard eight six as well. Hmm? No, I heard a six. No, eight but then six after the he year said, the big pimp was born. But, the, but then he I said, I'm I lying or something. Oh, and then said something about Kit Kat. Eight six offsuit, I think, if I remember. Seven, and Matt Damon. What Matt Damon? Matt Damon? Yin Chang with the oh, hockey sticks here. 
raised to 70K. Haven't heard much from him. He won a huge hand before we had the table redraw. Hand number 83. Won a half a million chip pot from Robert. Our red's 100. Yeah. Shoot now picks up a few more outs. Ace or a three will get him home. Do you understand that? Usually. That would have worked earlier. You like that one? That would have worked earlier. The door. I'm kidding. I, I, I had a. Uh, I wish I had clean up hitters. Can you guess where I hit in the lineup in most uh, baseball lineups? You okay. can't guess? I don't even know what to guess. Do you, have you even watched baseball before? I hit Played clean up, fourth. I wish I had fours right there. Hello, bing bong. Oh my God! Fourth edition. Valley Girl Cody. Hello, do you even know? You know, baseball cleanup hitter. Hello. Base loaded, yeah. Fourth. Yeah, they want me at the plate, not you. Valley Girl Cody rules. It's my favorite thing I do. As we do have a pot between Shu and Yin Chang. Chang. Oh, I can't wait for break. Has the winner here if he could just pull the trigger. Oh. And he lays it down. Good play from Shu. Like, where did you fold, pull that fold out, anyways? Like, your butt. Or something. My fold? Yes. You bet big. Yeah, I know. We have like a full house. The worst. Full you house. pulled that fold out of your butt or something. Valley Girl Cody rules. Folks, if you want to play on the Lodge live like stream, we got some spaces for you. Get in touch with Skull Mike or go yeah, yeah. go to the lodgepokerclub.com slash live stream, fill out the questionnaire. Or contact Skull Mike directly on his Instagram or Twitter at Skull Mike said, Poker. A liar, always a liar on the yeah, yeah, you're and just, we can though. make you a star. And I don't want to be known as a fibber. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are our normal streams, 3 p.m. Central. 90% of the time we do cash streams. Hey, who's beautiful long? We also do tournament streams like you're seeing today. And even some heads up. PLO. You never know what you're going to see on the Lodge live stream. 134,000 subscribers and counting. <laughs> Suited Broadway cards from Brendan raises to 65,000. Ace nine suited from the model. All in. The battle of Brendan versus Brandon. That's actually more accurate. And Brandon. It's top pair, decent kicker on that flop.
In other news, Cody has found the complimentary snack platter that we have for folks who play in the studio. Great shot of that studio. We've spent a lot of money for this studio. We believe it is the nicest looking studio in the business. Not saying we have the best live stream. Look, there's a lot of great live streams out there. We love them all. Watch them all. But we believe we have the best studio. Come on now. here. You smoke? Smoke? Just me. I vape. I, okay, okay, okay. Fine. I mean, <laughs> Thank you, Skip. Appreciate that. Tree. Buzz cut. And uh, we got to get the kids smoking again so they can eat. They smoke, their dad makes money at the, at the factory, and they get to eat. Right on, I mean, actually makes sense, guys. <laughs> right? Totally. So, are you on board with getting the kids to smoke again? No. Well, I guess I'm the one that saved America <laughs> by smoking. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, you guys. Oh, jeez. The Battle of the Blinds here. Brendan and Cody. Cody hits a five on the flop. What? I'm going to check. I'm going to check my email, dog. Three, five, three. Two, three. Uh, uh, Hit a five. That's a, boy, that's a good hand. Make sure yeah. Cody shows Brendan. I don't have to say you, my man. I have to. The five. <laughs> and you know what you would say if you were five two? You wish you were a little bit taller. You wish you were a baller. You wish you had a girl and then you could call her a lego. Am I right or am I right on that one? Did I mess that one up? I messed that one up? No. Oh. Thank you, Karen. Appreciate you, your support. You are so right. You look so good doing it. You are cult friction approved by far. True story. I would know that. Cody in the small blind here with 9 5 offsuit. Save that. And I hope they doesn't want to put any more in the pot with that hand. I don't know. And we'll go three ways to a flop. King 9 5, couple diamonds. Gut shot from Malik. Islands in the stream. 
And that is what we are. Uh, it's true. I may have better. Maybe better. Yeah. They gave you a clue to that. I have no idea. I Thank you, Colleen. Either. Thank you, everybody, for watching. 1,600 of you watching right now. Having some fun on the art of poker, a record-breaking art of poker. The most entries we've ever had, 483. I wish I could. I wish I did more. Uh, Dolly Parton's to make a joke. 100,000 in the prize pool, 20. 1,600 to first place. Skull Mike still in this tournament. Uh, 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 low end, all these oh, yeah, they said I'd show my Meg Drift. There we go. I'm going to try not to do that. I don't know. Girls are going nuts right now. Gut shot for Malik here. Middle pair for Brandon. Brandon and Brandon. We got them both at this table. And Cody's quieted down. Cody's got a bunch of chips. Buzz cut. We've had a ton of viewers on streams before. I think 16, 17,000. It's our record ever at one time. There's the call from Brendan. Lake needs some help here. Does not come. The check mark for Brendan with his nines. Let's see what Malik does. Even though I probably never heard of it. The bishop? The, I think I know Got about 13 rack, minutes rack, before we take a break. The break will be for 15 minutes. Salamander cast. We will show you some clips from previous live streams during that 15 minute break. Maybe we'll even get a couple special guests. Maybe pull in some people who help out with this stream. You read about fifth grade, your bell major. I swear, this is a thing. Give them a chance. I mean, I think you're making it up. To you say hello to the people of Chatsville. It's not what it's called. Something like that. Does that not involve like animals, like with swords and shit? I mean, I never read the book. I don't read books. I, it's possible that I'm, I, that's a different book. A miracle if you can read in here. <laughs> All in. I have an All in moment here. Red, the super system and the stone cold. For Nick. With Jack Nine offsuit. What's Shu going to do here? Ace 10. Off it. He's got 942,000 chips. This would take about a quarter of his stack away. He's going to lay it down. So the Palestine might look like in 2048. That was not there. That would actually be interesting. Which is. So it's like it's like 100 years. It's like fiction but non-fiction. There's the other table. Two tables remaining. Look at Aaron. Over there in seat yeah, it's seven. It's a dealer here at the lodge. I don't know. 
<laughs> Looks like he's got a decent stack. Skull Mike well, at that most table. Fiction movies are about uh, books about Palestine and like how. It Looks like we're down to about 18 or so. 17, 18. I don't know. I wish I could remember that those stupid books. Yeah, it looks like rats, like sword fighting. I don't know what I'm saying. I really want to smoke. Sit down, Cody. Down. Seventeen remain. It's only like historical fiction, but it's in the future. So. There's, a, there's a tad bit of speculation and nonfiction stuff. I mean, well, there's nothing, you are going to be right on this. But it's set in a real place, but it's all. Palestine doesn't exist. We don't heard of it. Okay. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Okay, so. Uh, might, not be, not, might not be the best. I'm uh, trying to think of a. Uh, of a uh, Let's just say it's set in the Gaza Strip. That's a real place. I know. I do. I'm kidding. I know. That's stupid. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not much. I, that's like the smartest thing I know is the Gaza Strip. Okay. <laughs> Cody doing a semi Farhar imp impersonation with the unlit cigarette. In his mouth. Yeah. Like a fine coffee. I I don't know much about coffee either. Brandon, pocket six is here. TMK, you cannot smoke in the lodge. We've been stuck in you cannot smoke within 15 feet of the front door of the lodge. Next up, 16th and 17th place, we'll get $995. We will play the final table. We'll say this, we're stuck back here. Who knows? With nine people. Y'all know more about live trains than I do. Once we get to nine. You're an online guy? Uh, yeah. Until we get lose one. For sure. Oh, I mean, we won't see cards. We'll tell, talk more about that as we get closer to that oh. because there's only eight sensors on our stream table. Last time we did a tournament, it took all of one or two hands without seeing cards before well, I have to, I have to trust the ninth player was eliminated. What do we have in this world that we don't trust? Let's hope that's the case. So what do do? I can't wait to see what I actually have. Miranda in the box. There you see the chip counts. Yin Chang, 1.8 million. Brendan, 1.2. Cody, 35 big blinds and a ton of chips, over a million. Short stack is Nick with about 11 big blinds.
not in panic mode, but definitely has got to start thinking about a spot, does Nick? Interesting hand developing here. A lot of players with pocket pairs. Malik, Josh, and Shu. Shu lets his ducks go. Three players will go to this flop. You're probably a Tarantino fan, Anderson. I like him. I'll say something with his thumbs. Fiction, they, they, they smoke packs of red apples. They're just like, oh. like really? I've heard of it. I, you're they, smarter than me, you'd be able to pick it up more. I'm not smarter than me. Bullshit. I, I just look really nerdy. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not arguing with that. But you're all smart. I'm joking, my brother. You're all smart. You're smart. You're all, you're smart. I'm, Everyone's I'm smart. above average, but yeah. I'm probably the dumbest one here. I'll do with that. But I'm the best looking, other than. Just be a nine. And Shu is kicking himself as he would have turned a boat with his ducks. Yinchang putting his chips to work here. Bets 200K. Nobody with a spade in their hand. Josh, equity-wise, Josh is killing it right now, 93%. But this will be for half of his chips if he makes the call. And he lays it down. Yin Cheng. Who was for his tournament life on hand number 83 against Robert. Where he rivered the nuts. It's now the chip leader here at this table. 16 remain. Skull Mike still in. And you see the red chips in play. Those are 100,000 in front of Yin Cheng's stack. Light blue, 25,000. Orange, 5,000. Yellow is 1,000. Uh, 
Happy birthday. Another walk for Cody with Big Slick, though, this time. Yeah, we will not know. Remember now? No. Wait. I thought those were on camera. Those are on camera. They are on camera. So we're going to find out. There you see the other table. What? Skull. Final table, Kev is dealing that table. We've seen him before on stream. It looks like Aaron is out. He's no longer at the table. Dealer Aaron, congratulations. Great run today. I smarter the smarty pants. I'm the smarty pants. <laughs> it's so funny you keep pretending you're not. Yeah, Miranda is in the box, what folks. I said that's smart? It's a three dealer combination today Anna, Anastasia, and Miranda. I get deep. I even know the turn. I, I really am not good at a lot of tournaments. Uh, I disagree. And that was inside your head. You get that out of your head. That I just lost a bunch of money in Vegas. Man. That is stinking thinking, my dude. No, no, dude. You're Gucci, bro. Thanks, dude. Thanks, bro. I'm being serious. I appreciate of, that. Most of the battle is inside your head. Gentlemen, are they smoking? Smoking. Smoking hot. So we're going to be on a 15-minute break. We are playing the art of poker. 15 remain when we come back from the break. I'm going to play a video here. But before I do, let me tell you about a couple tournaments coming down the pike. The Mega Monster Tournament come in August 3rd through the 14th. This is an interesting one. One million guarantee on a $400 buy-in. 250000 a quarter mil guaranteed for first place. 24 day one flights, so there's tons of chances. We're going to have a couple flights each day, August 3rd through the 14th. Get here to the lodge. Can't make that one, or you can make that one. Also put this one down. Mayhem is back, folks. The Fall Mayhem series. We do this twice a year. Fall Mayhem, September 5th through the 18th. September is a great time of year to be in Austin, Texas. 16 events, 1.5 million in guarantees. These events include a main event, $1,200 buy-in, and a great tag team event, just to name a couple. Make sure you get here to the lodge September 5th through the 18th. The spring, the fall mayhem series. So we're going to take a short break. And let's go ahead and play a video here. Let's see a video from our good friend, Cinnabon. TM with some Broadway cards. He'll, he'll raise it on up. 1,000 and growing watching today from all over the world. Here comes Cinnabon. He's going to three bet to 500. Back over to TM. These two have played many a hands together. TM's going to make the call. Ace, ace, trips now for Cinnabon. Trip aces again for Cinnabon. This time real trips, set last hand. King, queen, high for TM. Rematch. And TM is going to take the bait this time. Cinnabon just calling with his trips. Oh, <laughs> Quadrophenia. How about quads? Trips weren't good enough. Cinnabon did hit a royal flush earlier this week. 500. Just call here, Cinnabon. Let TM catch up. That's the look of a guy that has quads, folks. Simple call here. 
hoping that TM hits a king or a queen. He Whoa, does! There it is! Wow. Cinnabon letting TM catch up spectacularly. And just like that, I think we're going to see the money go in. Oh, my goodness. Horrible for TM. Both players are in deep, have a lot of chips. Seven checks. Does check it over. It just checks. Could be so risky. Oh, wow! Check, check. What? TM! That's an insane check, dude. Wow. And that's the problem <laughs> wow. with check raises. They don't work if the second player checks. Oh, my gosh. What a sick bad. check by mm -hmm. TM. That's, that's what we call a soul read, folks. So we came back a little bit early. Because we've got two special guests that, you know, I've been talking all day long and I wanted to bring in these two special guests. Both of these young ladies are part of our amazing production team. We've got Safi and Liz. Hello, Rick. Ladies. Hello. Hi, are, Chatsville. Are in the bunker. So we'll start off with Liz first. Liz is does a couple things for the stream. One of them is, you see Liz has dealt. You're a dealer here at the Lodge, but you also are in the production. What do you do in the production room? I do everything. I do the cameras, the graphics, the audio, make sure everything's running smoothly. If anyone needs a, little, a bathroom break, that's when I come and play. Absolutely, and you, how long have you been a dealer? I've been a dealer for 10 years. 10 years from where did you come from, though? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? I was a craps, roulette, blackjack dealer, supervisor. Wow. We've, You've really done it all. Yes. Poker is where I find my most joy. But you love Austin. You've I'd, been here a while. Been here for about over a year. And, and a, a little known fact about Liz, she owns a school bus that you renovated yourself. That is correct. I bought a school bus in 2021, and I hired builders to, to build it out so I can live in it and travel. I've seen in it. It's pretty cool looking. And then, of course, we've got Safi Taffy. You've heard from Safi uh, before. She is does so much here at the launch. Yesterday, I was here playing Safi, and you were at the front desk, your old job. Yeah. Then an hour later, you were in the cage. <laughs> and you've done the stream. You do a, a little bit of everything. I do, I do. It's been a while since I've been at the front in the cage, so that was that was a lot of fun yesterday. Yeah, you were like old home. You yeah. used to run that Back that in stuff. my roots. Yeah, it was fun seeing you in a green shirt again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Safi had a little trouble today, woke up in 105-degree weather without air conditioning, but we do believe it's fixed right now. It is fixed. It is Slowly fixed. Slowly cooling. So you'll be able to go home to a nice, cool house. But uh, your favorite part of being part of the the Lodge team, because you also do uh, graphics. That's uh, correct. What else do you do back there? Uh, just graphics, and then, you know, I'm a host. The host. Mm -hmm. Which do you like better, being a host or being um, in graphics? I enjoy both just yeah? as much. They're both very different, but... I mean, I love being with people and interacting with people, so I really do enjoy like hosting, but it is fun to be on the back end, a little behind the scenes wizard. Yeah, our team is a little, uh, we have a lot of fun back well, there. We have yeah. a great team. Yes. So you got to picture this, folks. My Where I sit is in between <laughs> the production room and the studio, so I've got a, a nice area, much bigger than what we used to have, but the production crew, they like to play music. And at times, it's pretty loud. And I almost <laughs> think it's that you guys can possibly hear it sometime. Can you hear it? <laughs> I didn't know I, you could. Oh, I can, especially when it's boom, 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 Oh, boom. yeah, we like to <laughs> get down. When y'all are really uh, going at it. But, uh, folks, if you have a question for Liz or Safi, that is a nice question. We, uh, we, we would be happy to ask. But, Liz, getting back to you. Now, so you dealt – Every game in the casino. So how did you, did you, were you assigned the, that day what you're dealing? So I took uh, courses to get each game. So I had blackjack first and then roulette. I could only deal those games. And then I learned craps. And then they put me wherever they need me. Which was Except your favorite? My favorite, once I got better, was craps. Yeah. The first nine months was a 
it was very humbling. It's yeah. a hard game, but once you get get into it, it's it's a really fun game. I could imagine there could be a lot of mistakes there, and uh, you know it's a little confusing. But once you realize you're part of the of the board, mm -hmm. you know you're part of the table. You're not looking at the whole table. You're just looking at your little yeah, part. Yeah, you got to focus on one little thing. Also, what being a blackjack dealer to roulette and to craps, it made me better at each game as I learned. Man, that is, and then poker, you got involved and. Uh, yeah, I got involved into poker in uh, 2017. I moved over, and uh, yeah, I've I've no regrets ever since. That's awesome. And Safi, we're trying to get Safi to deal too, you know, because uh, let's see, do you guys see any? Uh, we got Kenny Lamar saying Liz and Safira, the goats. I agree. Thanks, Kenny. Aww, thank you, Kenny. C Caesar at wants to know, ask Liz how you take your coffee. I take my coffee with sweet cream. That's it. Sweet cream. Just some <laughs> sweet cream, no sugar. They're both coffee lovers. We, we, got a, we got a crew full of coffee lovers, except for me. Future Mrs. Aaron Page is in chat. Hi. Miss y'all. Hi, my oh, babies. Oh, Michaela, I love you and miss Hi, you so much. I miss you. It is fantastic to see you in chat. As we are now at 12.30 a.m., on a Sunday morning, we're going to go until this is finished. We've got five minutes before the players are coming back in break. Dan, uh, the HP roulette was actually my first game. So I got better at craps from being a roulette dealer. But. I feel like roulette would be the easiest game. It's it's basically just adding. That's all it is. Do you is. know what, what happened to me out in Vegas? And I'll ask you this. I was out in Vegas playing the seniors, you know, recently. You were out there. You're going back, by I the way. I am going back. Uh, and I always, every now and then, when I pass the roulette table, I will bet 33. That's, the, that's my number. That's my number. I, oh, I love 33. And so usually it's always in the same place. It's always the second to the last row on the right. That's where 33 is. So I put what, there was already a bunch of chips on that space. So I put my chips on top, thinking I bet 33. They spin the wheel, hits 33. I yell, <gasps> yeah, I had $20 on it. Oh, no. Well, it turns out, do you know there's a difference between a right-handed and left-handed roulette wheel? I did know that. Oh, my goodness. See, I didn't. I did know I that. I didn't know that. And yeah. there's, everything is backwards. Everything is inverse. Yeah. So I thought I had the number on 33. In fact, I had it on 31. What a bad beat that was. I just busted the seniors event, thought I just won $700 through my $20 bet on 33, and come to find out there's a right-handed and left-handed roulette wheel. That's a bad beat. Well, I think from beat. now on you should just play 31. That was the universe just telling you to stick I don't to know. I, I mean, that's, that's usually my go-to. My last $25, I'll go and put it on 11, 22, 33. I've never won yet, but... My goodness. Well, you both have great voices for uh, what we call radio. But you guys, you know, they, they like to say I have a I have a face for radio, you know, because, you know, but the, you guys have a face for both, you know, audio and video. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. But Thanks, uh, Rick. anything else you guys want to say to Chatsville? Chatsville, we love you. I know you guys are enjoying the yeah, Cody, the Cody show. We it's should been, have a It's good been a hell of a ride. Yeah, all the way to the end. Yes, no, and and you guys see the you got you know what Chatsfield needs to know is the people who are in the production room they watch they see all of Chat and they love y'all and they uh, th you know they love what they do here and you can tell but I just wanted to give y'all a taste that there's you know I always say this Skull and I get to ride in the front seat of this car we're the ones talking with y'all but it's all the people that make this show happen. Uh, we couldn't do it without them. So, ladies, you guys, I know you guys are working right now, but thank you so much for coming in and chatting with Chatsville. Thank you, Rick. We appreciate you. you. We love you. All right. There they are. Liz and Safi going back to work. Fantastic job. I know you guys love, love them, getting lots of fan interaction. Tony says, you two are awesome. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah. You guys, uh, they are as nice as they can. David Nash, thank you, girls. We love you all. Dirty Dance, just appreciate y'all. Yep, it's uh, good stuff. We got about a minute 38 left. And I uh, always like to talk with, we, we try to get, uh, a, a, we'll try to get a few more if we have more breaks as we go along. I don't know what time 
we think this will be done, I, I just looked down at my watch and realized it's 30 minutes after midnight. We started at about 7.45, so we're about four and a half hours, uh, four hours, 45 minutes into our stream with 15 left. Skip Mays, thank you for that. Thank you all. We've got about 1,100 in chat at this moment. It gets up to about 1,600. Then when we go on a break, I guess it, it drops back down a little bit, but it always picks back up. And certainly we anticipate it uh, getting bigger and bigger as we get closer and closer to crowning a champion. Lodge is located in Austin, Texas, exit 251, on I-35, if you're flying in, you'd fly into Austin Berkshire International Airport and the lodge, depending on time of day, this time of day, 20 minutes. Uh, if you come in when it's a little bit more traffic, 25 minutes or so, get to the lodge. Just tell your Uber driver or cab you want to go to the lodge. They'll know where it's at. And uh, if you want to stay in a hotel, any hotel in Round Rock or North Austin, will be within a stone's throw of the lodge. So, uh, Or even if you want to stay downtown Austin, it's not that uh, far as the players are getting wanded back in. And we're ready underway. Uh, so who's your walk-off? I'm going to get us around the white balls. But now we do have some special deals. If you go to our website, thelodgepokerclub.com, we have some ar arrangements with some hotels for some discounts. Who wants a white claw? And I semi insist. I'll take one. One. No one else. Let's get four. Two for me and two. Two hundred fifty dollars. What's the buy-in? Four hundred eighty-three so entries. Man. Set a record for this tournament, which happens every month. <laughs> You're lovely. I'm joking. What is this? Twenty-four, I guess. So you 30 bucks. Whatever, I All in. three more bucks. All in moment for Nick here so with 340,000. Take it up to you. Oh, wait, there's that. Boom. Yeah. An ace three suited. A black cherry. A duh. Seven cherry. Yeah. That's if you right. send a mango here, I am going to open up another lawsuit against here. I'm not a mongo guy. Yes. I don't even mongo Mike McMichaels. Four horsemen. Cody on the button with seven deuce. Yin Chang with the same hand, only in clubs. And he's asking for a count. Kevin, I'll answer that question after this hand. We need buy someone else. I don't know. Uh, she'd give me a water. <laughs> it's on me. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's on the house. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Makes the fold. So, I, Kevin, yeah, all you got to do to I, join I, the lodge is I, be 21 years old. 21 years old with a uh, government-issued ID or passport, whatever. And fill out a one-page form. And... You pay a I'm membership a well fee, either a weekly, monthly, or annual, whatever works for you. You're coming in just for a few days, go with the weekly. If you're going to be here for a while, choose another option. Once you're a member, you can play. Cash games, 11 bucks an hour, no rake. Tremendous value. Tournaments like this one, different buy-ins. This one happened to be $250. You don't pay any hourly rate. It's just a 250 Play until you're done. That's all about the lodge. Shoe with 8-9 suited makes it 100K. All in moment. Malik with the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. 
and it's going to get it done. Yeah, Kevin says uh, was thinking of going to Vegas, but now thinking Austin. If you're honestly, if you're if you're a poker player, and if you go and that's what you play, and that's only what you play, because that's all we have here in at the lodge is poker. But if that's all you play, this is a tremendous place to be. Austin's a great town, lots of great food, live music, and also the poker here. The value is incredible. 11 bucks an hour and no rake is just, uh, if you played poker for a while, you realize what kind of value that is. No money comes off the table at all. So the stacks keep getting bigger and bigger, and the action here is just incredible. So many people have chosen us as a destination if they're just a poker player rather than going to Vegas. I love Vegas, but I was just out there. It was very difficult to find a cash table. Very difficult. Of course, it was during the World Series time. Not difficult to find a cash table here at the Lodge. We're coming. You're going to get one? I'll tell you what. I'll mind. You will be drinking one. I appreciate that. Go. Yes, we have PLO daily. I'm going to have to find my wallet at some point. I bought a dude a hoodie for the, his shirt. I oh. traded a dude this shirt I and bought him a hoodie. I mean, like, it's around here somewhere. Or I lost the dude. I know I bought uh, Outback. So I got Outback or my car or Oh wait, I bought the shirt. I left it up there. For sure. I bought the shirt. I hope it's still there. I shall be back. Uh, there's about 15 players remaining. Yeah, and uh, going back to the Vegas um, talk, look, I love Vegas. Don't get me wrong. And this uh, gentleman wants But if you're just going to poke, play poker, Thank you. I'd make the Thank argument gentlemen. about the lodge. Thank you. And Austin in general. Cheers. Please say I'm a mom. <laughs> Austin, the 10th largest city in the United States, Cheers. and a ton of great things to do. Yeah, why am I doing Zoolander Schwarzenegger? Including the, the Lodge now. Cheers. Whammy. Cheers, brother. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure's all mine, my brother. White claws all around, courtesy of Cody, the condor. Two grams of added sugar, 100 calories, variety of flavors, gluten-free. The best thing about White Claws is you have one per day, you will never die. It's a money-back <laughs> guarantee. You got a redeem in person, though. White Claw is the greatest beverage that has ever been created, bar none. The blinds go 20, 40, 40. Yeah. You're looking at the wrong end. Blinds 20,000, 40,000, 40,000 now. 100,000 
every orbit of your chips are going all in. All in moment here for Nick with a six. I'm too tired to, to to put out the energy that he's given. So. Yeah. How did that happen? Drinking just drains me, but sometimes other people can just do it forever. Kevin Klein, I would suggest you come down from Seattle and visit us here in Austin. Hey, I'm a I'm a long, I'm an old Austinite. I've lived here since I was eight years old, and I'm 57. So I've lived here when we were 250,000 person town the 50th largest in the in the United States when I moved here now we're the 10th so I've seen it change but I love this town great place to live in Chang raises to 80,000 with some Broadway cards is on a par with my in shape now. Don't let the guns fool you. Oh man, I'm tired. But it could have been worse. Brendan turns the flush here and the check mark. Thinking what he needs to do here as Yin Cheng continued to bet. Just flat calls. Nice play there. See if he can get Yin Cheng to fire out again. Yin Cheng just shut it down with his showdown value of the tens, or will he fire out thinking he's got to make a bet here to take it down? Little does he know whatever chips he put in is going to get snapped off. Like the trap too, dirty. No, I didn't see oh, I, I don't know. Checks. I no. Oh, he checked. Okay. Sorry. Oh, check, check. I had 
Brendan's going to take it down. I, I know that you didn't see, but I didn't know if he saw. So sorry. We were going to be there forever. I know, right? And I was scared. Real hard. Had the whole chair turned over and Yeah. <laughs> Stream is officially five hours old. I'm, I'm we will go so until we are done if here. You don't think I have, then just. Yeah. I'm not tired, are you? Saturday night, folks. Sunday morning. Do you think you want. You, you read me better than I read myself. She told me, hey, idiot. Telling you what, if Skull Mike wins this tournament, <laughs> we're going for pancakes on him. Got to be a 24 hour joint open somewhere. I'm going to check this gentleman. We've been through way too much together to go crazy at this point. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God, you guys. Okay, I, do the, I have to check this gentleman again. Check. Wait, wait too much to go. Quick fold in Yin Cheng. Up over two million now. I mean, I'll do you. I was trying to bluff you. I was being a sneaky peep. You caught me. Observe that. Good show. What I have? It's a good show. <laughs> yeah, I, I've only seen like an episode or two. But I do know who Giovanni Rapisi is. He's, He's a good actor. actor. Awful person. Is he Scientology a, is... Saying we are uh, down to 14. Oh, he's a scientist? Yes, he is. <laughs> the main character, Sneaky yes, Pete, is a Scientologist? Yes, he is. Goddamn. <laughs> That's funny. Well, it, it's funny that Travis D and everything is wrapped in one. Can I say, is that, is that like, can we have a Scientologist still? You can. We shouldn't talk about religion. It's a cult. It's not a religion. We shouldn't talk about cults religion. Fair enough. Fair. <laughs> I'll end it there, but you know what? I'm not crazy about them. It's all right. Positive. It's all right. John Travolta is not one. <laughs> all in. <laughs> From Josh with Ace Jack offsuit. Head butt of. Uh, on, I, I've actually heard it's a good show. And gee, I, I love Boiler Room. And I don't know it, that one. Does that, does that have him, too? Yeah. I, have, I haven't seen anything else with him. Brian Cranston's actually in that show, too. And he's a he's a game runner, and he, they do a really good job of showing poker. So. I mean, I'll, I still watch uh, Tom Cruise. <laughs> I don't know why. It's a guy this tall. <laughs> He's kicking everyone's ass. Something smelling fishy in Denmark to me, you know what I mean? <laughs> I personally am not intimidated. All in for Josh's tournament life. <laughs> he doesn't scare me, wouldn't It's it? the ace, Yin Chang, looking for a queen to knock Josh out. Am I intimidated by Tom? Do you think I can now picks up diamonds to go along with the queen. It's always a sweat. Be kidding me. I thought we were friends. Josh will I double up. A little sweaty. A little sweaty there on the turn. In about 15 seconds. Do you, have, are you, do you have like military training or something? I have a black belt in whoop your ass style. Like a Red Page Jackson. <laughs> 1,300 watching right now. Closing in at 1 a.m. Central Time. Let's do a little roll call. Where are you watching from? Right. Try to give you a shout out. 
I have no doubt I would destroy Tom Cruise. Around the world, we know Jerome Teal's watching from Australia as a member of the Australian Mafia. My two feet together, Tom Cruise, smash him. All right. I, this is an open challenge. Hey, Tommy boy, you heard me. I have not seen almost anything with Tom Cruise. This is one of those stories that a lot of people make up. Top Gun, Massachusetts, Top Gun. Smoke City, Brick, New Jersey, San Marcos, Houston, I Bay Area. I went to go see the second Tom Cruise. Uh, Top Gun. People Dallas. like Dallas. Right Portugal. Portugal. I paid like two hours. I paid like twenty dollars for. Two Appreciate hours. everybody tuning in. Not the worst. I've spent twenty dollars. Andrew, okay. active duty Navy, watching from anyone, Seattle. Anyone at this poker table is Thank you, Andrew, for everything. Bullshit. You're right, you're right. Sometimes I'm right. Yeah, Tom Cruise is a boob. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much about him other than the, the Scientology bit. Okay. I know they, they used to have a church on, on the drag. You know that? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, but they, I've been here. I, I, I am Austin. I don't know. Maybe there are a lot of people in Round Rock that are like, I am Round Rock. So, like, <laughs> I am Austin. All right, you're Austin. The port is going to play for these folks. To pair with the king. <laughs> you think I'm well, going to pay, know. pay a bunch of money to get brainwashed? And nothing. You can go to the Church of Scientology for that. So getting back to some more folks. It actually cost about the same amount. No, Pete Mitchell checking in from Italy. I was just there in December. Love Florence, my favorite city in Italy. Italians have figured out life. Colleen checking from Wellington, New Zealand. How you doing, Colleen? David Nash from Bonnie Lake, Washington. Sean checking in from Scottsdale while on vacation from Austin. So you went from the heat to the heat. Believe and if you, you don't, if Scott you don't, Neely from Modesto, California. Don't get to Elisa Everett that, Spring. Before you learn about Zenu, from Australia. Like sick with like cancer and stuff. We love our like fans in Australia. Them the money and then you don't the jiggities for Brandon going all in for five twenty-five. Cody with some Broadway cards. That was like a, like a Millie burger. How much is that? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Do you? you know what I'm gonna do? DJAF, you're talking a lot of smack about Texas. Have you ever been to Austin? <laughs> it's probably one of the greatest towns in the U.S. Lots to do and definitely not hick-like like you're implying. Otherwise, everybody wouldn't want to move here. And when I say everybody, I mean everybody wants to move to this city. <laughs> I don't know. So I don't know where your all this animosity funny, is. Wow, right? DJAF. I stole that from Quentin Rampage Jackson as well. I gotta be honest with you. I'm not. Uh, all in, all in, all in. I wish I knew. Uh, Rampage. Yeah. You know, no matter what happens, fellas, I will never forget you. Ever. <laughs> oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, you guys. <laughs> will you remember me? <laughs> Just go, baby. Cheers. 
to the good guys. The good guys. Here's another 95 years. Call. <laughs> All in no. from Cody with the sixes. Not another 95 years. Fold. So heads up, look. Nick versus Cody. <clears throat> Good luck, brother. What's a boy to do? Like, dude, the ladies always find me. I don't like it. Hey, wait, can we just chop it now? Honestly, I wish. <laughs> the ladies, always, let's go. There's the set for Cody. The man cannot be de denied six today. Six sexy as a jib. Oh, my, oh God. my goodness. Go. There's the boat. One more. Nick has some One more outs queen. here. All the ladies love me. Let's go. Okay. Mm. That'd be sick. Ginger Jack. One more queen. Let's Always go. Oh. Nice hand, and bro. Cody GGs. is going to eliminate Nick. Hell of a game, my brother. Hey. And Cody has 1.3 million, folks, on hand number 137. Hey. I see you here all the time. Let's party. Let's party. Play pinball. Good luck, y'all. Dude, good luck. Thanks, man. Thanks, brother. Thank you. That is bizarre. It started as a bit. The ladies always find me. It's bizarre. I still somehow won. I don't know. I'm glad you flopped a six. I, I'm, I'm really glad you put a six up there. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Because you know that three queens beats a pair of sixes? I wouldn't have win if I was on six of them. Are we all aware of that? Cody's on a mission, folks. He's got some chips. Is it Tina Turner? Tina Turner movie. Oh, what's my favorite Tina Turner movie? I wish I knew a movie she was in. Is she in any movies? Yeah. No, I don't watch movies that are that. I know, folks, if you are watching Cody and don't know him f for the first time, believe me when I tell you, he is much subdued tonight. My brother took me to see Pulp Fiction in a the theater. I was eight years old. I said, don't tell mom and dad. And then my sister and my mom took me and said, don't tell dad. I saw it twice in the theater. It's not the greatest story I've ever told, but it's something. Now it makes sense. I saw Pulp Fiction at the theater. I was eight years old. So I... I saw the thing when I was like four. Petrified. We're good. Oh, I've actually never seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it in parts. But I have seen Escape from L.A. Couple clubs for Brendan here. The Snowman for Yin Chang. These two battling once again. Is that Kurt Russell in the room? Do you know the actor Kurt Russell? Yeah. Is that, he's in both of them, right? He's what? He's in the thing, right? I don't remember. I was four. Never watched it again. You're right. You're right. All I saw was blood. That's who was in it. Honestly, all I remember is being like all like creepy and like insecty and like gross. Body. Blood doesn't bother me. I don't like insects. And I just heard the rest of it. Do you know how I check? I don't know who check. He checked, yeah. Uh, that could have lasted a long time as Yin Cheng didn't know that Brendan had checked. Twenty-five. Brendan looking for a king, jack, or club. And Yin Cheng with the check mark again. Dude, your request is my demand, baby. Hey, do you know Nick? 
Uh, Buzz Cut, the answer to your question uh, is... Eddie? Yes. Cody had a boat, a Dude, full house, three sixes like and two queens on the board hey, for hey, the full him, house. Nick Whereas you, Nick just Piper. had trip queens. <laughs> that is why if you he won the pot. Honey, you oh, oh, oh. Jungle love. Oh, we, oh, we, oh. No Jay and Silent <laughs> Bob fans, huh? There you go. You're familiar with Jay and Silent Bob? I know that song. Really? Uh, I know that song. Four to 80. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Four. I, I, I Is it final eight, eight here or nine for the final table? Eight. Eight, okay. okay. She's too awesome. I, Anna, you're awesome. Seven. You've never oh, heard of J and Seven Love? Brandon pushes with his snowman all in. Clerks, two. Yin Cheng again has a chance to knock someone out. Yes. But he lays it down. Yeah, actually, I don't even think about it because there's a lot of uh, uncouth on PC lines that I don't want to say. And I am a PC guy. I'm not about any guff. Walk the straight and narrow. They used to call me the walk the straight and narrow kid. And I still do. Yeah. <laughs> you like that one? Yeah. Yes, I got I get them all eventually. Fun for the whole family. Let's breaking go. news. Breaking news. Fun. Skull Gosh, Mike. You can have anything Eliminated. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Great I run for Skull that. Mike. Got rivered. I, I thought am. it was going to be a special night I wear my for Skull, just getting back from his honeymoon. But, you know, by usually my guns are popping out, so I don't have much room. One, two, four. I don't have any I want to party. Final table, Kevin, chat. How you doing, Kev? Yes, ma'am. I'm about to get away. I'm, I'm spring cleaning them. But when you're right, you're right. Mm -hmm. Right and you're right, Cody. You're right, and you look good doing it. <laughs> Everyone loves this. Like, it's true, right? It's true statement. People are so goofy, like giving and getting compliments. Look at it. Yeah, Reppin, Reppin knows the real problem with Skull Mike being out. No pancakes for me. Reppin knows me. Be about it. Headed to hand number 141. We will not stop till we crown a champion for the art of poker. Remember, we will not have a Lodge live stream tomorrow. Actually, later today. It's Sunday already. All-in moment here for Josh with a six offsuit. Pocket tense for Brandon. Makes the call. He's in. For Josh's tournament life. So sorry. Good 
Good luck. Party peeps. Right on. Oh, wow. Trips for Josh. Brandon looks looking for a 10 ball corner pocket. Sheesh. Wasn't supposed to get called there. Josh in seat seven is going to double up. And that's going to cripple Brandon. Brandon left with about 100,000 chips, which is about two big blinds, two and a half. Uh, I never yeah. took, I, I think I'm You're here. You're good now. And I never touch the button. Because if I don't touch the button, I don't touch the button. And I haven't touched the button. Dan G from the Michigan Mafia. In chat, how you doing, Dan? If I never touch that, I never touch it. So I don't touch it. I don't touch it. I don't touch it. It's right now, yeah. I let the pretty ones take the button. Brandon is going to be looking for a place to shove here. This one severely crippled on that last hand. And he puts it all in with the Jack-10, some Broadway cards. Cody with ace-deuce. Got plenty to call here with 1.275. Does have a few people behind him. Cody's going to raise. So it'll be heads up. Brandon looked to get the double. Through Cody. Brandon does have a diamond in his hand. Needs some help and a, or a queen. There's the diamond. And Brandon's going to stay alive here with the check mark. Get the full double. More than a double. <laughs> Brandon does not want to go home as Cody singer or drum? So that's what I want to know. gives him the fist bump. Dude, I don't play instruments. Well, I mean, we got a band. We got to figure out. I'm the, I'm the front man. I'm the David Lee Roth. Okay. Just the face. Just the gigolo. And everywhere I go. Maybe the best front man of all time. Possibly. Probably. Most likely. Don't say Mick Jagger. Nerd. Euro, Euro, Euro dork. I like my guys from Jersey. Is that where he's from? I don't know. Makes sense. All in again for Brandon. David Lee Roth. Diamond uh, Dave. I don't know. Diamond Dave. Van Halen. Have you heard of a, a band called Van Halen? Yeah. They're not called Van Halen. I don't think they're from New Jersey. He was their first, first front man. Oh, okay. You know, there's Van Hagar, and then there's Van Halen. I'm from New Jersey, but I don't know. I really have no idea. But, uh, I would I guess know. David Lee Ross from New Jersey, but I agree. Boston. He's from Boston. I don't, yeah, I don't think he's from New Jersey. I'm going to keep guessing. I don't think Van Halen is from New Jersey. Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan? He's Canadian? He's, I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. I thought the I thought Van Halen they had the last name Van Halen. Yeah, the drummer and the guitar player. I see. Yin Cheng makes the call. Brandon looked to double up again. He just had a hundred and twenty five thousand chips a hand ago. Wins here, he's got eight hundred and forty. Actually nine ninety. Need some help here. Seven, eight, or queen. There's the eight. So Brandon's going to double up. 
And that's how you do it, folks. When you have 125,000 chips, win two hands in a row, and now you got close to a million. Oh, Malik now, the short stack with five big blinds. He'll be looking for a place to push. As every time around the table is 100,000 chips that you have to put in the middle for the blinds and annies. Malik with two good cards on the button. Look for him to push right here. All in. Yep, he pushes. All in. All in. Josh in the small blind. Brandon now with a chance to knock out a player. Thirty minute levels, Dan. I know that to ride the bull. I thought they ride the bull or the red bull eggs. I'm not bothering now. Whenever you decide you're going to get up and wander around, would you get me a red bull? Yes. Okay. Brandon lays it down in the big blind. Oh, girl. I know. You're the best in the business. I am not worthy of your presence or service. Just barely. The Ducks for Cody makes it 145,000. The DJT plus 100. Josh with the Snowman. Both players with about the same amount of chips, a little over 900,000. Josh calls, and we'll go heads up to the flop. Both players with a pocket pair. And there's the set for Josh. Let's see if Cody keeps firing. This may be one of the first missteps for Cody. Just flat call here, Josh. Let him keep firing if he wants.
taking a little too long here. I like the flat call here. I wish it was a little quicker though. Is Cody going to fire again? A duck would be disaster here. Boat now. Check that, you check? I'm gonna check that. Cody's prepared to shut down now. Good check there by Josh. I'm gonna check that one more time. Now he's going to have to put something in there as Cody checks the river. Three hundred thousand. I'll tell you this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it. And I think I'm going to win. I'll be honest with you. Makes the call, and Josh is going to get paid here. Thought Cody was going to be able to get away. I just ain't going to I want that to be you. Dude, I'm all good. I got a pair. Don't go trying to bluff me with any missed straight draws. I don't allow it. I don't stand for baloney, you know. <laughs> yes, thank you the best. <laughs> you do know that I don't stand for baloney, you know. Baloney? Baloney, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it cost me that. That would have been cool, though, the best thing. Oh, sorry, I'm... No, uh, you're good. You're good. I got, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I got to be honest with you. I thought I was making like a good call there. I was like really like, I, I, I got a pair and I'm going to win the calls. It made sense, right? You got to think of Queen Jizzle. <coughs> got a pair. Just me the show. Battle of the Blinds again, Brendan and Cody. I got me honest with you, I had a piece of shit, but I had to go in there and get a pod. I don't blame you. I had to do it. As I do. Especially over this guy. He's a model. He's drinking my white claw. <laughs> what a jerk. It's my turn to get the round, though. So. Dude, I don't, I don't care. I'm totally fucking around. I, I, I'm more upset with myself that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that hand. I, I, mean, I, was I wish I was good as the Polk man. Oh, hey, by the way, I never got done. Talk about how great of a man Doug Polk is. Great man. High moral fiber. Doesn't thank God for me. He doesn't stand for baloney, you know. I bet it. 165. Oh, no. <laughs> Cody with the aces. And no one wants to play. You fall two jacks? I had aces. I don't ever believe me. But I will, in time, you'll realize I am a, a pure man. Looks like there's 11 left. Remember, we will, the final table will consist of nine players. Once we get to nine, we're not going to see cards until we drop to eight, simply because... The stream table is designed with eight sensors. 
One, two. Last time we did a tournament, it took one hand to get down to eight. Who knows? It may take one hand. It may take 20 hands. But we'll get down to eight players eventually. And then you'll get to see cards again once we play the start the final table. Mean Mark Calloway. Does anyone know that is? Mean Mark Calloway? Dan, they were incorrect when they said it will happen when they play eight. So it's going to be nine players at the final table. Uh, yes. He used to play Kansas City Razzie Lowball. Razzie Lowball. I am. I believe we're down to 10 now. Oh, yeah, yeah. 165. My good friend Lang is in chat. How you doing, Lang? How's that recliner? Cody raises to 165. Josh. <clears throat> Jesus. I'll tell you this. I have good hands, I think. Do you want me to Do y'all want to test my honesty? I had aces and then 10 six of diamonds and then ace five all. Do y'all believe me? They're going to move a player out Who to the other these? table to even the tables at five and yeah. five. Well, then you'd be right. For those who were just oh, yeah, yeah. right on I the fact that so we had one table with four and another with six, you know, sometimes it takes one hand to make it happen. We made it happen. Both players, both tables now with five players. Next person eliminated, we will have our official final table. I am a party boy, Chris Pontius. Let's go. Do you know who Chris Pontius is? No. Raise to 400,000. You do the party boy in Jackass, where you go dancing. You know who he is now? I know with jackasses. Do you do you do you watch anything good? <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, sir. Seven I points. think I wrote a check that my Seven butt points. can't cash. Yeah. <laughs> I love him. I know you do. Yin Cheng three I bets Cody to four hundred thousand. Guff anymore. Cody will lay it down, uh, tossing his cards. Don't try that guff anymore. Well, in the middle, a little bit I only allow hard. Every now and again. I say we go. Chip values. Remember, red are 100k, light blue are 25k, orange are 5k. Is not done with you yet. They lost fans. Hmm? The lodge is not done with you yet. I watched Lost, but I didn't watch the last episode. It sucked. The last it sucked. Last one. Honestly, you think after like the last third or fourth season, it sucked. Yeah. Especially after I heard it was so bad. Yeah, it was, it was really, really bad. It sucked. They're in heaven or hell or purge. I who cares? <laughs> Oh, Daniel, I'll answer your question well, in a minute. Like, uh, couldn't walk and then could walk. That was a good. That was the first episode. Man. The show. Have you heard the term jump the shark? You've never heard that. Do you know anything? Josh makes the call with Ace so Jack. Happy days. I watched Happy Days. Do you remember they jumped the shark? You don't remember that. What is this one trying to Cody with 910 suited and 710,000. Uh, it's going to make the call here. Shitty. They jump 
the start. His initial better. You seem good. I, I was confused. I thought he was something wrong. I thought he jumped a shark or something. Yin Cheng hits his king. What check to these gentlemen of the future? Open enter for Cody. Pair of jacks now for Josh. Everybody with a little something, something. Do y'all, do y'all have any entertainment that y'all that's good that y'all enjoy? No, he ain't wins it. All three players make the call, and there's a 10. Yin Cheng's Kings hold up. That's going to leave Cody with just half a million chips. I thought about Papa Doodle and you, but I don't know. There was a comment about why would we build a stream room and not have the standard nine players with our sensors because we wanted to build a stream room with only eight sensors, and that's what we built. What's the boy to do? Much more comfortable. Makes for a better stream, in our opinion, to have eight you people, and that's Yang why we right? built the table. Ying Yang twins. It is free content, by the way. The Pocket twins. six is Malik all in for three hundred thousand. His five big blinds. Have you heard of LL Cool J? You never heard of LL Cool J? I, I picked one that like there's no way you can't have heard of. I still like it. I didn't know it was possible to not have heard of LL Cool J. Have you heard of the band Kiss? They they paint their uh, faces, they rock and roll all night. This is a fairly tough decision. It's probably not even. I don't even know. I don't know. Was it like four or something? Like three. Malik and Cody both short stack here with the. Big blind at 60,000. I, I really I really Cody's so under so 10 so big blind. He's a great man. I told you, Doug Polk is a great, great man, a great businessman, mm -hmm. and a great poker player. The, honestly, the best poker player in the world, in my opinion. He would have loved it. Oh, God damn it. Yin Sheng smells blood, a chance to eliminate another player. Has tons of chips. Could easily make this call. King four suited. But lays it down. Malik's going to pick up the blinds. I love you. Appreciate that, Nutbird. And Nightbird. <laughs> Nutbird. Nightbird Games. Appreciate that comment. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good one. Anna, you're the best. Well, Tide for Anastasia. We're all the best. Tide. Comes back. Yes. The dealers have been amazing today. Anastasia, Anna, and Miranda. I have a feeling I'm going to get 10. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Well, you can try to make that happen. I have a feeling I'll be 10. Dude, better things or worse things would have happened to better people when it happens, inevitably. 
totally. Thank you very much. Whew. Josh with some Broadway cards. Three suited for Yin. Got some players behind him. In the, he's in the small blind. He's going to lay it down. Let's see what Malik does with the Cowboys. He's going to push. Josh is probably going to make this call. <clears throat> And Malik has a chance to double. And there's Skull Mike in chat. Great run, Skull. Chatsville was cheering for you. There's the call. Good luck, gentlemen. Wow. And Josh sees the bad news. Needing a lot of help. Malik looking in good shape to double up. Need some running cards here. Back or ten, make it interesting at least. Like. It does make it a lot interesting. And that's over. Malik is going to get the full double. Cool. Thank you, Alfredo. Glad you're a first-time watcher. Hopefully you've subscribed to the channel. I can't wait to talk to a good player. I can't wait to talk to a good player. Mm -hmm. You know, I make a mistake or not. I called him with bases like a dong. Uh, Basically, like half my stack. But the night is not over. Inching has had hearts every hand. It's like hearts in his hand. This time, ace, queen of hearts, Malik, with some Broadway cards, just got two doubles. Let's see if he wants to get frisky here with King Jack. Hmm. Makes the call. Heads up. Yin Chang and Malik. Both players whiff on this flop. Let's see if Yin continues. He does not. Malik's got two overs here. But it's for a good amount of his chip stack. With just 730,000 chips in front of him. 
Hundred thousand, about fifteen percent of that. Lays it down. He's under ten big blinds at seven hundred and thirty thousand. Can you give me can you give me uh four four blues? Yeah. Thanks. So Skull Mike finished eleventh. Just got back from his two-week honeymoon with his lovely bride, Nina. Had a great trip, came back, and decided he wanted to play poker. Oh, yeah. All, all in for Cody, ace-nine offsuit, and Skull finish 11th in cash for a good amount. Helped pay for the honeymoon. I believe it's like a four fifty eight hours. Yeah. It's gonna get mad at me. It's gonna get mad at me. Whistle while you twerk. I cannot whistle, but I can <laughs> twerk. Do you want to see this? I will not do that. Can I get a count, please? It's, it's two twenty five, four twenty five, and a four forty five. Pocket fives for Brendan. A chance. To knock out Cody. I call. Makes the call. It's a fair fight, folks. Ace nine versus pocket fives. Good luck. Nina Simone, baby. See a lovely Nina Simone. What's that, Nina Simone? Cody smashes that flop. Trips. He will not die. Brendan looking for a five or a deuce does not come. And Cody all of a sudden has 1.1 million. The Condor. Is that right? Sorry, boy. No, so, no, we're no. in the point where we have to break up the band. I hate this part <laughs> of the I really do. So I like playing online. So I imagine those people are total nerds mm -hmm. and deserve punishment and pain. But then I get to, get to know y'all. They're pretty cool. cool. I have to do what I do. Cody is going to have a huge fan base after this stream for sure. All in. All in for Josh. Putting his 705,000 chips in play. Oh, my man. I'm not going to do it, but your funds is in the future. There you go. Cody has them covered. It's like 600 or something. I mainly want to know for future purposes. I'll be honest with you, I already know. I just want to know for future purposes. Seven, no, I fool. I just gotta, you know, get a litmus. That's awesome. You're the one that knows Nick Nettie, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, you know Nick Nettie too. Oh, you my do. goodness. Oh, yeah, you, you do. Oh, oh yeah, you do. I know you do. I, I, I got moles everywhere. <laughs> I got I'm moles like delirious at this point. everywhere. Uh, I can't even joke with that. It would be a dirty joke. Yeah. All in from Cody with 
Some Broadway cards. Oh, it's probably 1.1. <laughs> Anastasia is going to have to yeah. deal with Cody's yeah. mess of chips. I think it's 1.0 bucks. <laughs> he just threw them in there, and Anastasia's going to have to count them here for Yin. With Ace-9 offsuit, Yin, and plenty of chips. Whammy, and... You could see percentage-wise, equity-wise, he's in good shape here. With Ace-9 offsuit. But with Malik behind him. One by one. Ah, a little shy. What do I do? Yin doing some inv inventory. I've already told you all my favorite Matt Dillon stories, right? And Malik I with I did, I about eight Matt big blinds really just looked at his cards. Well, I did. I and with the blinds coming around, this may be his... Line in the sand with a couple Broadway cards. Wondering a bull too. Better ride the bull. Makes the call. Cody with a chance to get a bunch of chips here. And Malik. This is for Malik's tournament life. Please, lady, don't fail me now. I don't know why I'm so nervous the lady ain't going to show up. Malik needs some help here. Four, six, or jack Go. does not come. And Malik is going to be eliminated. And we are down nice, to our final yeah. table, folks. As Cody eliminates Malik. Dude. I came to play. I didn't come to place. Let's go. You believe me, right? All right. Do I look, look at that like wingspan of place. the condor? Call them a deuces. Put it. In Literally a fell place. on his ass earlier in the show. I, I, I play my best. Play my best. And there's the chip count. Cody has 1.8 million chips, 22 big blinds, and I believe. If I'm not mistaken, we might have had another player get knocked out, and we, if that's the case, we would be down to eight players. Let's see. We're down to if we're if we're at nine. Remember, we won't see cards for a little while until one gets knocked out. If we're at eight. What I'm hearing is another player might have been knocked out at the other table. Then we would have cards for the re remainder of the night. There's the Lodge Mahal. Look at all those players. It is coming up on 2 a.m. Central Time in Austin, Texas, and that's the Lodge Mahal. Come on, folks. Look at all those smiling faces. Those folks love this place. What's not to love? If you're a poker player, this is where it all happens. Looks like we're going to probably need a, a few minutes to get readjusted. As there you see Maestro Matt Sweeney stacking some chips. We are down to eight. Okay. Okay. So that's good news for those of you who are worried about our playing with nine players and not being able to see cards. We won't have to worry about that. I guess another player on the same hand got knocked out on the other table. So we are down to eight. Every player coming to this final table has locked up $2,361. There you see the pay jumps. 
Seventh place, 3,100. Fourth, sixth place, 4,100. And it goes all the way up to 21,600. This is the art of poker. A record-breaking turnout today on one of the hottest days of the year in our fair city. Tomorrow, today, is even going to be hotter. It's a heat wave, folks. Get in out of the heat. Come play poker. Fifteen hundred watching. We the clock is paused as we get every player situated to this final table. And now for all those folks who said we had clickbait showing that final table on our YouTube, there we go. We told you we were going to have a final table, and we have a final table. It just took what is that? Six hours? Yeah, six hours. Folks, I'm here. I'm here till we finish, and it might be sunrise by the time we're done, or it could be in 20 minutes. Who knows? Final tables are weird like that. Kaizen calls me a moron. Kaizen, thank you. Thank you so much for that great compliment. Give a guy like Kaizen six hours of free content, and he calls me a moron. No one forced you to hang around for six hours. Love you, though. Folks, if you're having fun, we ask that you give us a like. If you had at least amount of fun and enjoyed this stream, we appreciate each and every one of you, even those that call me a moron. How do you call me a moron? That's kind of funny. Folks, the Mega Monster around the corner, $400 buy-in August 3rd through the 14th. You're not going to want to miss this one. $1 million guarantee, two hundred fifty k for first place. Not too shabby on that tournament. Brad Owen, long finger right there. Uh, $400 buy-in. That's This is a great tournament. 24 uh, day one flights, August 3rd through the 14th. Don't miss this one. Just around the corner, a couple weeks away. If you can't make that one, or you can, and you want to play in another one, it's the Mayhem Series. It's back. Twice a year we do this. Fall Mayhem, September third through September 5th through the 18th, $1.5 million in guarantees, 16 different events, including the main event, $1,200 buy-in. There's even a tag team event. There's lots of events. Get here to the lodge. And if you don't play tournaments, what happens in big tournament series? Anywhere you go, just cash follows. People who bust out, they want to play cash. People who play cash love it because a lot of people are in town. Even more so than tonight. It's a packed house. So, anyways, get to the lodge. We'd love to see you. Keith says, got to go to bed. Rick, thanks for commentating. Your ability to keep so many entertained for so long. Thank you so much, Keith. Appreciate it. No, I, I hey, I, I love 99.9%. It's just one guy spends six hours and is worried about a clickbait, like we're pulling something over. We, we're pulling something over on somebody for six hours of free content. We, we're trying to just pull something over on somebody. I don't get it. There you see the blind levels where we're at. We still have 20 minutes left, 40, 80, 80. That means two, every orbit 
200K of your chips is going in. Average chip stack you see is 1.5 million coming into the final table. If you have to go, we understand. We'd love you to stick around. Because we will be here until we crown a winner, whether it's 20 minutes or another two, three hours. I agree, Byrne. You're right. And, and I'm good. I used to get so upset. Any little comment. And I, I've gotten a lot better. But, you know, there, there are some things that I just, I just have to say something. That's all. Profion wants me to bring the girls back in. <laughs> That's actually a good comment. I, I could appreciate that, Profion. <laughs> we had Liz and Safi in the bunker earlier. They did well. They get so they get we're so nervous. I don't want to go on. I don't want to go on. And then they get on and they just knock it right out of the ballpark. They're amazing. I uh very fortunate as we see all the players back. Eight players remain, folks. Somebody on this table is gonna walk out of here with twenty one thousand. We'll get everybody's name in a minute. We've seen some of these guys because they were on a Team, we did redraw for seats. Cody now in the eighth seat. Looks like Brendan is in seat one. Brandon in seat two. Yin still in seat four. We'll go around the table as soon as we know as players are getting rewanded. Final table, folks. We'll hear sound in a minute. Preston leading the way. You know Preston, he won a huge tournament just a, f a, a month or two ago here, right here in the Lodge live stream. Won several hundred thousand dollars as the sound comes back on. Preston, 36 big blinds. The small blind, Brendan, I mean the, the uh, short stack, Brendan, with just four big blinds. Well, like even numbers. He's going to be looking for a place to shove quick. Odd guy. There's the payouts. Mountain Billy wants us to replay Cody's fall. <laughs> I mean, I'm just glad no one was hurt, but it was because no one was hurt, it was actually pretty fun. I'm not going to confuse this on Tony wants to know if we can get Skull Mike in the booth. Skull was exhausted. He went home. Understandable. He just gotten back at 1 a.m. Here in tournament poker, is supposed to not and just spent the whole day playing poker. Maybe for the birds. All in. All in moment for Cody with Ace 10 offsuit. I hope I get that at least one white glove. Pocket eights, the snowman for Brent Brendan. Call. He has to make the call with just four big blinds. And a pocket pair for Brandon. Two things that will always rock. Who has a hair tie for me? I put my ponytail. Up. I let my hair down. So. It's a fair fight here. Lucky, good luck. Good luck. The snowman. Round two of the. Brandon looking to get the full double. 
in trouble here. Needs an eight, or else we're down to seven. We're down to seven. Brendan is eliminated, and Cody continues his assault. The Condor. Yeah, I know, but if you, I would be good. No, you were going to rip anyway, so. If you raise, I, I would have flipped the car. The way Doug Polk does it, I would have gone like this yeah. a bunch of times and randomized. And actually, while we're on the topic of Doug Polk, he is a lovely gentleman who runs a lovely establishment, the best poker player of all time, great hair, he's funny, and he doesn't take guff for anyone, no baloney, he doesn't allow it. <laughs> Am I right or am I right on that one? Right. Doug, Back. wherever you are, thank you. I, I'm sure somewhere. Thank you, my brother. You are a man among men. And uh, I'm not a fanboy of many people. I am a Doug Polk. Norm MacDonald, Doug Polk, and Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is a good one. I think I'm cute. I know I'm sexy. I got the looks. That drive, the girl's wild. Cody's finally his second wind here. <laughs> Shawn Michaels, Doug Polk, Norman Dollars, I don't want to give a shit about. People were bragging about, like, Paul McCartney sang to me when I was like, who do the Beatles suck? They suck. I'm glad I wasn't there. I would have been like, hey, Paul, your band of blues. And I might have gotten fired. I would, I would have done it. The Beatles suck. They're the British Beach Boys at very, very, very best. And uh, but anyway, so let's get back to Doug Polk. Great man. Great, great, great man. You can't say anything bad about him. Although he didn't wear uh, uh, tank tops anymore. I'm gonna start wearing tank tops. I'm gonna take Tam old stick. It's gonna go all in. We haven't seen him at all today. Preston. In with Jack Deuce. He's going to lay it down. And Tam is going to take down those blinds. I thought I was going to lose my first hand on the screen. <laughs> first just stinking thinking. Just stinking thinking. Why you think Make no was mistake. <laughs> Cody money, is a good tournament it. player. you got to be about it, baby. Am I right or am I right on that one? Rock and roll it. Don't talk about He's cashed a lot of tournaments Nemo. here at the Lodge. <laughs> He's won a I few. Talk about it, but back it up. Got but you're going to back it up. The big Conor McGregor fight. In fact, Conor McGregor was here tonight. Really? Yes, ma'am. Conor, you know Conor McGregor was here tonight playing the tournament? Didn't you? Some people call him Skull Mike, but I. The, <laughs> Pretty sure it's Conor McGregor. I think he's a liar. Cheers. Rock and roll with your bad self. All seven sins. Uh, let's go. Whammy. Final table of the Art of Poker. We're down to seven. Oh. 
<laughs> Anastasia said, what? Cody ra raises to 165. It, you Chang on the button. You can hear it easily. And I <laughs> doesn't want to tangle with Cody right now. Cody has 2 million chips. Preston with pocket tens. Here comes the raise. Are you being full of guff? You know what I might have to do, sir? I might have to allow you to be full of guff. Earlier tonight, Cody actually took the I shirt that he's wearing off someone's uh, back and bought uh, them a lot nine. shirt in exchange for that shirt. I said Little I did Cody before. know that the shirt was well, about two sizes too small for him, but he still looks yeah, good in it. Weird science. Uh -uh. Have you that seen the movie? That's not Braveheart? That sounds just like Braveheart. The Braveheart is, say mercy, we'll stop. Freedom! I want to yell it so loudly. But I might get in trouble, so I will not. All in for Sean. 770,000 chips. Preston with some Broadway cards here. Preston. Good luck, party people. It's going to make the call. <coughs> Sean, this is for his tournament life, needs to hold. Preston looking for a 10 queen or king. Now just a king or a 10. Does not come. And Sean is going to get the double through Preston. There's the trophy. Right now. Safi bringing the trophy. Smash that thing and carry it around a Ziploc baggie. Yes, and carry around a Ziploc baggie because trophies are for dorks. It's the first statement Cody has said that I disagree with am tonight. I right or am I right on it? Trophies are not for dorks. Trophies are for winners. Who did he win? But I got to win first, which probably won't happen. Don't go you were ahead on that one. After you flipped it over, I knew that. I didn't like the cost, though. I'm going to smash it up. And put it in like a mini aquarium that I wear on my necklace and have like the worst fish swim around it. Like, what about Bob? Have you seen the movie, What About Bob? I've not seen it. Oh, geez. dude, have y'all watched any good movies ever? <laughs> what, what was the one earlier that you didn't know? Cody's asked like cool 17 you questions. Cool have you seen this? Have you heard that? Nobody has heard or no seen possible. anything that Cody has talked about. Possible. I have, Cody. Yes, I do. They love cool I have. You got people nowadays, these kids don't even have DVDs or I do, I gotta be honest with you though. L, L is man. L O Cool J just seems like I still think you're cool. I, I think you're still uh C D C S. Cool dudes love Safira. Safira Safira. Oh, yes, ma'am. Whatever. 
How do you know who LL Cool J is? I don't, I don't get it. Where is it? Like, I don't... Never mind, that was a bad one. I was like, I don't have great hair, but I know Paul Mitchell is, but I do have great hair. Let's go. Sean with chips now, raises to 175. Preston this time gets rid of his Broadway cards. Crash, man. This <laughs> lady, Baby Ruth. Baby Ruthie. Some lady signed it. I don't know. Baby Ruthie. I would have. I would have leg locked that dog. Figure for a leg lock. Got the ball there. Right. We got rid of. One player very quickly. Now we're settling in to this final table. I would have just found 10 cents and bought another ball. That's how much they were. We oh, fair enough. No, but once you get yourself in the pickle, you get yourself out of the pickle. Fair, fair. And I would have gone over there and leg locked the dog. All in for Josh, 755000 do you figure for leg lock would be effective on a canine? Maybe. Who knows? I really don't uh, know yeah, the I don't want to know. I don't know the answer. I thought you knew the yeah, answers to these things. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> Not since you're uh, you know, amateur years. You're a cool dude. I haven't done that in a while. Do y'all hear a good story? And this is a true story. Sure. I didn't have any red, white, and blue on, so I went and literally fell on someone wearing one, bought him a lodge sweatshirt, and now I'm wearing his shirt. You see how well it fits? <laughs> only you, Cody, only you. <laughs> only a true American. I, dude, I was on stream with no red, white, and blue on. Can do that? Then I changed it. I solved the problem. If it was created by man, it can be solved by man or woman. Am I man. right or am I right? Man and woman. I personally think men and women are not equal. Hey, women are far superior. Let's go. But not in combat, sports, or uh, the laser shift. And dodgeball. No, I'd smash them all then. Yeah. <laughs> you can't, you can't dodge Sean raises to 165 Overall, with the pocket pair. Like, oh, oh. oh, yeah. Bye. But not in. Uh, in, in the big blind. German suplexing ability. Definitely not. So I already got money invested in this. <laughs> Battle of the blinds here. Men are typically better at German suplex. Some, some strong women out there. Though. I'll smash them all. I take no pride in that I would smash Holly Holly. She's a tonight. Ronda Rousey, you smash her. Destroy. Destroy. I'm being serious, and I take no pride in it. Fair enough. But they're lovely. There's the raise from Sean. You think you'd dick one, though, if someone was trying to fight you? You'd just knock her out? I'd have to be scared. I do not ball my fists in anger. So I'd have to be scared, so I don't know the answer to that. I'd have to literally be scared. I only use my violence in reverse. In your corner, a tiger. You know, 
That's true. I really don't know the answer to that. I'd probably have to. With Ronda Rousey, I'd probably have to punch her. I'd be like, I, mean, I, I don't want to break my arm. Sean was bluffing there with the I best hand. Have. Got it done. I'm not proud of it. Not one bit. You have to ask yourself how you got in that situation, though. You're like, how did I? Just a few minutes uh, ago, he was on the verge no reason. No, of no being reason. eliminated from the tournament. Now he's got a stack full of chips. <laughs> you make a good point. Why, why would I ever do that? I don't know. I got in this situation. <laughs> okay, but this is a serious, serious, serious question that we, we need to concentrate on. Who would win a fight between me and Billy Joe Armstrong? I am hogtied. The tennis player? No, the, the singer from Green Day that sings like, Asha, 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 Shoulders. I have no shot, 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 shot. Green Day's all. So you're uh, all tied. Yes. I can win by count out. He cannot. Basically, I'm hog tied. I can bite him and headbutt him. He cannot get in this. I have to chase him out of the circle for 10 seconds, and, and he has to be too scared to get back in. More or less. I think I'd win, honestly. Yin wakes up with a pocket pair as he and Sean are find themselves in a hand again together. Yin in the small blind. Going to make the call. So these two once again heads up. Good flop for sixes. Four check. Three check. Four check. Two hundred. Three check. And Yin takes it down, folks. You're so we ain't cool close to being over. Casually raising. Totally understand. Oh, wait, You've been with us all this time since 7:45. We are coming up on six and a half hours of this live stream. Doesn't look like it's going to be ending anytime soon. I spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool. Anyone know that is? Rocky. No, but it's Carlito Cologne or something. Carlito. Carlito boy? Carlito, a wrestler. Seven. And he would eat an, uh, an apple. And says he spits. You know what? I'm just going to go. Ace queen suited yeah, all know. in. So I'll just like outplay him. Close to two million. I think it's something along the lines of 2.1, if I were to guess. I'm a guy who likes to party oh. with the ladies. Hey, you, I'm not fond for that. I don't stand for it, you know. Do you want to see it? I always see party it. with the ladies. See you later. But always have a lady is the point. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I think you're similar. You look like a guy. We definitely need to get the. We got a timestamp if we can. So we can't go when he fell out of his chair about three hours ago, two three hours ago. Wait, we'll still go hang out. They'll come to you, and then I'll talk them up. Thank goodness. No one was hurt in the making of that fall. Oh. All in from Tam with Big Slick. Feels personal. Count. Josh with some Broadway cards. Asked for a count. The battle of the short stacks here. 620. With just eight big blinds. Under eight. Really Tam goes one. all in with his big slick, of course. That's too bad. Josh decides against it. 
That's and Tam is going to pick up the blinds. We're well, trying to do the best uh, Bone Thug Skull Collins take. Any Bone Thugs fans here? Bone Thugs, of course. Of course. Yeah, well. of course. I wish I would have borne my Bone Next thugs blinds will be 61 21 20. Means 300,000 of your chips every orbit going in the middle. Level 24. They've been playing all day long. Rap group. I guess an artist. I go, I go bone, ice cube, and vanilla ice. You think first of the month is better than Crossroads? I like uh, I like Notorious Slugs probably better, and I like T H U G W E B. That's thug mentality. We're thugging, thugging, thugging. That's the way I choose to live. Out. I messed that one up, but I got on there. Good Preston with some suited cards down. there. And crazy Queen bonds. nine suited raises the two fifty. Josh with a seven suited and just seven hundred forty five thousand in the small blind, and he's going to push it Good look. Okay. all in. I believe the tournament started at noon today. Yeah, I like so these that. players have been playing for 14 Ten hours. Good song. Seven clubs on I, uh, I don't. I don't I Ten crack commandments. Notorious. I need to look it up. Oh, and notorious club. Yeah. So I, I, I don't know. I thought it was called notorious club. Josh, for his tournament life, oh, looking to double up through Preston. See, I honestly, I didn't know the answer. I didn't know if it was one feature. It's, it's his ace. Now two pair and the check mark. Josh is going to get the double. 1.79 million. Party man survives, Are baby. Party go. Dude. Come on now. I mean, uh, and Preston has yeah. not had victory, much success uh, since moving to the final table here. I don't curse. Came to the table jealous. as the chip leader. I just fell language. Has lost two big hands. I wish they could play music in here. Straight up. <laughs> Call the booty says the fall was around the four minute fifty together. four hour fifty three uh, uh, minute uh, mark. <laughs> Thank you, Call of Booty. I love chat. Right. Coming through. No problem. That, that's Vans a real either. break in twenty six minutes. Yeah. Okay. Skull yes. wants to know I'm gonna smoke about at least two what, what were you asking, Skull? Cody's longest relationship. What does chat think? That's Skull's Roger, question. Yeah. Double edged sword, man. Fuck yeah. Are you kidding? How are you on, man? Nothing wrong with getting a little white call wasted. Yeah, this time he gets the A7 of clubs, raises the 220. Absolutely not. I got a bathroom. No, Cody with a six offsuit. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do at all. I really have no clue, actually. You know what I'm going to do? Feel a little uh, wussy chicken, baby. It's a little bit too much belly there for Cody. That shirt is way too small, Cody. Should have traded for a bigger shirt. Ten high board, Skittles. Brandon looking for a jack, queen, or king. Oh, yeah. I haven't pulled out my number one thing. This is my new thing. I am the Johnny Cage of poker. Let's go.
This is a, a very bad brush. I should buy a new one, I gotta be honest with you. I dance with the girl who brought me for now. Let's go. Gene Gray with the you know, 999 Super Chat. Sure Dang, I had no good idea you guys were still up late. Love when Poker on the Lodge has these live, late live streams. Hey, Night Talker with Slick Rick. I don't give your 8 a.m. hours. Lesser, far lesser chords. If I go home with the Every sun line, up. Every card club in the world I'm stopping is for pancakes. That's all there is to it. My right or my right? That's a tough one to beat. Hold on. All in moment with the ladies. Harker Hides is pretty good. Here you go, baby. Thank you. I'm a guy that likes to party with the ladies. Every time. Every time. Every time. Thank you, lovely lady. Is this one mine, too? Everything in your life that you desire is yours, including that. I love that. Fuck yeah. Maybe I should have milk arena you, but I should have <laughs> the whammy jammy and... Mm -hmm. Jammy. What do you do? Gene, appreciate it. Skull's at home sleeping, though. Actually, he's in bed under the covers. This is Slick Rick, but I understand. Thank you so much for the super chat, though. Look at that. The clown's out there just staring. So creepy. I would hate to have that shadow. Pretty sure we're the only poker live stream going on right now. You think? But I miss my Uncle Charles, yo. That guy's a turf tough to drown. Have y'all noticed that? Is it just me? After all we've been through together, I'm going to check that. Are you check? Yin hits his five, and Cody now with the nut flush draw. 275,000. Mm -hmm. 275,000. 275. You, you don't miss your Uncle Charles, y'all. Come on, man. All right, baby cakes. The fives are going to take it for yeah, Yin in yeah, this 1.1 1. 1 million chip pot. Oh, uh, well. Uh, you got stinking kidding me. I'm the worst in the world. I am, without a doubt, the worst in the world, and you might be the best in the world. Oh, I suck so much. God damn it. Watch the chair. Dougie Polks, I cannot bet that flop, right? Don't think Doug's watching right now. He may be. Hello, Doug, if you are. Skull <laughs> has confirmed. That, uh, hand. He is officially way, under I, the covers. I would have preferred. Paul Edwards. But I will continue in chat. My gosh darn darndest. From too. Perth, Western Australia. How you doing, Paul? Man, I played that pretty bad. I actually don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I need to talk to like a smart guy like Roberto Perangelo. Even better than the other guy. Josh with some Broadway cards. Can I switch that, Can I switch that out? Mm -hmm. All in from Sean. You play here at the lodge. You've probably seen Sean deal a few cards. 
Can't believe you've done this. What was, what did you count? 1.71. Are you doing this? 1.16. 1.16. 1.16. 1.16. 1.16. 1.16. 1.16. 1.16. 1.16. 1.16. 1.16. 1.16. 1.16. 1.16. 1.16. 1.16. 1.16. 1.16. 1.16. 1.
Mom. I'm going. You know what? I hope. You know who I hope wins the tournament? Miranda. Uh, yeah, Cody did not play for the Red Sox. Right, Cody's dad oh, played for the Red Sox. Ray Culp was his name. Check, check it out. Yeah, Is his name. <laughs> Tam did not want to give Cody a hug. Hey, when you bust a tournament, you're not you're not there to give high fives to the other players. You're ready to probably go home, get your cash, and head out. Oh, 12 minutes. <laughs> Mohit says hello from Vancouver, Canada. Yawning. That's no good, but a couple of cigarettes. The Gucci again. In with the pocket pair. Go back for Yin. Yin was his tournament life, a hand number 83 against Robert. Where his 7-5 beat pocket 10s on the river. The straight. That was the hand of the day for Yin. Me versus you. My best versus your best. I'm thinking about academic to Cajon. Cody, three bets with queen Me six of hearts. Versus you. Good joke tonight. Let's go, baby. Tell you this. Add one of them, of course. And that one. Let's go. No. I don't stand for baloney. But I told you all that. I'm still talking about academic to have one. No, you know the movie I'm doing, right? Whatever. Huh? Yes. I'm talking about academic decathlon. Well, if you think you can win, oh, I can. And I will. Paul, I did see that picture. Nice stack there. Congratulations. Looked like you had a good night at the table. That's a good one. Well, watch it again. Clearly. Josh, very deliberate. Does the same thing every hand. He'll put his cards back in and then separate them. A loser. Back in the box after he looks at them, puts them back in the box and then separates them. Valley Girl Cody rules. Valley Girl Cody is very deliberate. Pocket tens for Brandon. Seven. He's going to make it 700,000. Over to Sean with Queen 10. All the 10s are gone. Josh doing some inventory. Says, guess this is it, and then folds. Hey, come on, man. I have the same hand as when you had A6. I have A6 when I have yeah, a, a brand that Two was six? in the early 90s that was very average. I had a 10. Good. Clubs and diamonds, I think. <laughs> that was my worst one ever done. But y'all knew A6. Dude, I had 10s. Or I, I had a 10. Sorry. I had Jack 10. 
Good pull. I had Jackson Hart. Four. There you go, Beanie. Oh, my. Boy. Yeah. Jackson Hart. Hart. And one white cross. For you. Speak for yourself, moron. Billy Madison, I'm not calling you a moron. You remember? You remember Billy Madison? Speak for yourself, moron, the dog. Two seven. Two seven. Two seven. Two seven. Who can't understand that? Two seven. Sean with the hockey sticks. Hmm. Gonna lay him down. With da, Yin behind him. Six players remain. 483 yeah, entries in this tournament, all paying $250 to enter this tournament. It shattered a record. Previous record was 464 entries. This is once a month. Goes on the art of poker for the last five years. Dude, you can get right from the horse's mouth. A very important monthly tournament here at the lodge. First time we ever crossed over the 100,000 prize pool mark in this tournament. You will learn I never lie eventually. And the proof will be in the pudding. I can't wait for seven minutes. I'm going to take a boys' room break, a smoke. It's going to be the bee's knees. In three bets with his ace queen. Brandon. Ace ten suited. And now I have to actually do something else. Huh? Like an actual thing. Actually, Artie with 250 will lay it down. Support the tobacco. No one wants to tangle with Yen. <laughs> they gotta eat, right? So their kid, their, their dad's gotta make money in the tobacco business, and then they feed the kids. They gotta Paul, no, we started the stream around 7:45. Getting the kids to smoke cigarettes more because PM. they have to support the business. So, so we are dad nowhere near. The, the, fine the 12 hour the YouTube bathroom, limit. Uh, uh, industry. <laughs> it actually kind of makes sense, huh? Smoke. But we are coming or up to seven hours of streaming. Three high, no good. Charles Groth asked the amazing question is, who's Slick Rick? Just a guy. A poker enthusiast who loves the game. That's all. That's who Slick Rick. What time is it? I mean, it doesn't matter. But midnight or some shit? Like three, it's like three, three in the like, end? It's like 2.45, probably. No? no? Who? Three in the morning. What is it? UGK. Who is that? I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't think it was that late. It was like midnight or some shit. <laughs> I, I'll live with it. But I wish I could calm down, but you know I can't because I'm feeding on the something in the good old drink. Something like that. UGK, right? 
I, I, what am I, I'm not going to battle you. Why are you mad dogging me? I thought we were friends. <laughs> How dare anything. you? I didn't say anything. How dare you? <laughs> I'm halfway joking. But I looked up, he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had this same look on my face I for like we two playing. hours. So. I'm, you, I'm halfway joking. You look pretty upset. <laughs> upset? No, no, no. Serious. Stern and ready to go to bed. <laughs> I'm fucking, you know, man. You're cool. You're cool, I think. Why would I be upset? I didn't say that word. It's talk to this character. The big I'm final table right now, guys. I, I, did the, I just did the uh, Mad Dog. It's my favorite movie. Don't no Mad Dog me, dog. <laughs> I don't even Mad Dog by 2020. Uh, let's go. That was good. I was kidding, man. I hear it. We are too wrong, cut him down. Take it down. There is an all in button here. Do you, would you yeah, like me to grab it for you? Would you like me to grab it for you? We are coming down to another break here. Whammy. And in three minutes, you're going to smoke a cigarette. In three minutes. You breathe it in, you breathe it out, you look cool doing it. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> I'm looking for it. I'm like James Dean with the cigarette. He smokes. But if he smoked more, he'd be as cool as me. And let's go. What are you looking at over here? All in. All in for Cody with pocket sixes. There's the call. Brandon with the crabs. And Sean. With the snowman. I shall live with it. Wait, can I take it back? <laughs> I'm going to kick myself on this one. Sean lays it down. Sheesh. Cody shows the sixes. Brandon with the threes. And Sean jumps out of his chair. Good luck. Saying, why didn't I call? That would have been a huge pot. It's not over yet. I know it's not over yet. Nice hand, Cody. Put a six oh, hole yeah, back. God, I hit third word six, too. Come on, don't do it. Let's go slam, slam lineup. So. And there's the eight in the window. Jesus. Oh. Nice hand. Sean would have flopped a set. Brandon does flop a set. I mean, he just regions. I can't call after he does. So it's Cody needs a six oh, no. on the river. Let's go, baby. Party on. Very close. Show. Do I have anything left or not? I don't know. And Brandon is going to get the double up. <laughs> and Cody is going to be on fumes. Down to less than six big blinds. Uh, I mean, bro, like two shoves, eights. Can't call. No, I, I can't. Exactly. I mean, I, I can maybe if I... If, if he didn't just open rip, it's his open rip that just... And yeah, the, if snap, I, if I, the snap. And he I would have said, bro, so you so want to do it, it. Uh, rip, like, rip, I might have folded. Nice Actually, hand, right, I don't fold at six as we can. My height on a cheating day. Rock and roll, brother. Rock and roll. Cody, Cody unfazed. With now only having six big blinds worth of chips. All the seconds. <laughs> Five big blinds. I to play a big pot I smoked. That. Why did I do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be the last hand before a break. I'm going to stick to the thing. I'm probably supposed to rippity do it all, but I got to smoke. Get some spinach. Popeye needs a spinach, baby. Let's go. Brandon with newfound chips on the button and another pocket pair. As players are exiting to take a quick break. This will be a 15-minute break. I'm going to play a very famous clip here. As we take this break, you see the chip counts. Preston and Cody 
down under 10 big blinds in push mode. Paul Edwards with the super chat. Thanks for hanging in there, Slick Rick. Truly appreciate it. Paul, you are the man. Thank you so much. You are always so generous. Payouts, sixth place gets 4169 Up top, 21600 We're going to take a short break as they're going to count all the players. 13 minutes, players will be back. In the meantime, I want to play you a very famous hand that happened right here on the Lodge live stream. One more time, let's see what I think will get a nomination for hand of the year at the end of the year for the Poker Awards. Remember this one? He's taking the whole bet. I would have to honor it. I would have to honor it. What is it? What is it? What is it? Four. What time is it? This is my last hand, boys and girls. This is it. Last hand for Bill. They're like, oh, he was raising no matter what. We're going to owe you 2K, and then we'll Just settle it after this. Yeah. Left hand. Uh oh. We we might have a back. We, uh, someone will pay on our. Yeah, yeah. I'll, Just, I'll just, just leave the chips here. I'll take care of it. He'll take care of it. What's Doug up? is in charge of my. The Marine 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 hands with the pocket tents. I appreciate. In fact, there's only one person. <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen. Seventeen. Got the fucking neck game wrong. You didn't even ask for a discount. Back well, over to Alex, the British like Bulldog. Him. Oh, that's true, that's true, that's true, that's true. Oh, Jesus. That's true. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Lays it down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's obvious you're folding. You're never calling after. I was not, I was not gonna call, I was such. not gonna call, I was not gonna call. 20. 40. There's the raise from Bill. <laughs> Can we title this YouTube clip of Bill's hands? Bill's got a plane to catch. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to the turn. 117,000 in the pot. Okay. Check mark for hands. Forty thousand. <laughs> defense is just incredible. Dude, defensive player of the year. Oh, like, I, I, Bill goes it all in. Matter. I have a plane to catch, and that's more important because my wife will be fucking pissed. So whatever happens, happens. <laughs> what? All right, I'll take care of it. Okay, I got you. Thanks. Right. Bill is leaving <laughs> after going <laughs> all in. Okay, thank you. Should so so I give a discount or no? Can't do it three thirty. Whatever, whatever Doug says. Doug can do whatever. I don't know. Doug can do whatever. I'll get, uh, you, I'll get you a number I'm, from Doug. I'm gonna just let that stand. Okay, guys. All right. Thanks. I don't feel comfortable offering a discount on whatever the hell happened over here. So. <laughs> oh. Whole... But, uh, Bill left the building. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get you the contact. Has a plane to catch. Anyway, bet stands. I'm not offering a discount on whatever the hell happened. I think one k off. One k off. You, you want one k back? All right. I'll tell you what. You can get one k back on this. So it's one k off. That's a good point, Dan. <laughs> and Hans is left with a decision. This call will pass the However, however, <laughs> however, that one k has to be in five dollar chips. So we're gonna go get you two racks of red, and you gotta play with it for the rest of the session. One <laughs> K discount. Just good marketing. Are you kidding me? That was like, that was a hell of a performance. <laughs> like you leave on this note. I can't believe you resisted temptation not to have a look. This is I don't want to. This is gonna be a good thumbnail. This is scary. <laughs> well, like, what if he tries to counter negotiate? I know the cards. I don't want. I don't want that. Yeah, yeah, I don't for the no, best, no, yeah. we have to just leave it. Two okay. racks of red back. But regardless of outcome, I think we have to see. We have to see it. This is it. Well, Hans doesn't know what to think. Yeah. yeah. I will. I will turn it over regardless of action here because yeah. it's gonna eventually be. Yeah. Also, because it'd be funny. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's the main point. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. When you said, I mean, yeah, this is. It's hard to get a read on that guy, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He looks, he doesn't look nervous. What are you thinking? I mean, you don't have to worry about any tell here. <laughs> yeah, you can show everyone you, you, you have. Yeah, you can. 
right. Okay, that's Hand shows everybody what he has. Imagine if he was slow rolling. <laughs> <laughs> That would be the best slow roll of history. Bill is watching in chat right now on the delay. He does not know what happened. It's hard to think of that in the moment, though, but it'd be so good. You have to catch an airplane. Goes all in and leaves the building. I'm okay, thanks, Sam. Actually, okay, right? Yeah. You're allergic to Tina? Trina. Or the bathroom. Trina. Which ones are the Trina? Oh, everything but Tina. Oh, this hand. Oh, it's a big hand. It's a lagoon. It's a big right. hand. Big um, hand. <laughs> that small raise on the fluff did seem like maybe top hair or something. What was the turn action? And I do have 200K back. Check, check. Yeah. Turn was checked in. You're going to clear your case for a reload right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would change the negotiations. What's up? We have to renegotiate. Yeah. We want to pick that guy. Bill Perkins in chat says, so suspenseful. Wow. So worst case, you'll clear your case and $10. Never <laughs> seen anything like this, folks. Guess what guy's got? In red, in red. If he calls me wrong, he won't get back. In two, in two after one. And he'll live on for the rest of the three. I think I might go with it. I am not envious of the position that you're in right now. <laughs> Yeah, one more minute. You have, Doug, you haven't seen his hand, have you? No. Yeah. I'm actually really happy I didn't because this would be way more tense for me if I knew his hand. Yeah, it, it is be. really tense. <laughs> Dude, look at this moment right now. Yeah. This is like up there for, for like all time stream moments. He he jammed two hundred or a hundred whatever over a river bet and just left town. <laughs> <laughs> he's like in another well, city. Right he's like, I don't have time for this shit. I'll Hans is laughing at that I'm comment. Here. Then he asked us or before, are you gonna still be running it at three thirty AM? <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> I love playing poker with Bill. <laughs> Lays it down! Oh, yeah. And Bill oh, Perkins from the Austin oh, yeah. airport. No, that's not, that's oh, not a good thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Does don't. anyone want to take bets on this card? Holy shit. Ooh. I've got four. Four or five. Four or five. I got, four four or five. Five. I got four bluff, five. too. I got, I got bluff. I got it's, bluff. A, it's a four or five. You got value? Four or five. We can go small if you want. Who tenth? wants to bet it's a four or five, like even odds? No, I like four. All right, we got five hundred. Right? We got five hundred. Right? I'll bet against for two k. Anything except the four or five. Yeah, let's bet one k. One k. Yeah. All right, ready? Everyone knows. I ready? think it's a six of spades. I guess if it's a nine, it's a. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and Phil Perkins. <laughs> Something we've never seen before. I don't think we'll ever see again. <laughs> A man goes all in, leaves the building, and finds out from the Austin airport that he just won. he would say, I'm jacking off. And Hans is distraught at the bar. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my. That's, uh, that's some balls there. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Got okay, Doug got cannot beauty. believe it. Game's over, though. <laughs> Drop the mic. <laughs> Bill Perkins. <laughs> Truly one of the most remarkable memories that we've 
ever had on the live Lodge live stream coming up on 400 plus live streams and I don't remember a memory quite like that one. I mean, we've had some doozies, but when Bill Perkins went all in and, and, you know, people say, well, what do you mean he had to leave and catch a plane? The guy that rich, you know, he has his own plane. Yeah, it wasn't the plane. It was where he had to be. He was flying to Phoenix for a concert. And he, if, he, if they didn't take off by 5.30 or 6 o'clock, whatever time that was, he was going to miss the concert. Uh, so that's why people were saying, well, he has his own plane. Why is he doing that, you know? That's why he had uh, he had to be in Phoenix at a certain time. What a hand. As Missile Stick says, Bill Perkins is an absolute legend. We love every time he gets to play here, and that one put hands in the ringer. Funny part about that whole hand is <laughs> hands just lost, and you got all the other players betting on what Bill had. <laughs> oh, it was it was it was very funny. And Bill in chat the whole way typing in just in Chatsville typing in what happened? It's so suspenseful. <laughs> that was fun. Hey folks, we are down just two minutes away from having the players come back. Six players remain. Got a couple short stacks, so I imagine we're gonna see some shoves pretty quickly. The players will coming, be coming back to blinds of 60,000, 120, 120. So every orbit, 300K is coming out of your chip stack for blinds and annies. Yeah, a lot of people had said that, Aaron. You know, in a casino, you can't abandon your hand. Lodge isn't a casino. Lodge is a card club, and the stream is a private game. So it's it's a little different. In a casino, obviously, different different rules. Private games, different rules. Uh, Rara McGee, only 400 total streams. That seems low. Thought y'all been open for like four years. We've been open five years, but the stream is only um, coming up on three years old. And we used to stream twice a week, then went to three times a week. Now we're at four times a week, so... I haven't counted lately. I, I want to guess it's close to 400 live streams we've done. Rojo Loco. No, this is not Skull Mike. This is Slick Rick. Skull Mike is at home sleeping. He finished 11th in this tournament. Yeah, I think we started streaming uh, November uh, of... Uh, 2020, <clears throat> and then we got our first thousand subscribers in March of 2021. Thousand subscribers, and then we were averaging like 500 subscribers a week for almost a year. I promise that, okay, go. Now, 134,000 and counting. We can't thank you enough. Cards are back in the air. Miranda is in the box. Six players remain. Let's see who wins this thing. They said there were seven seconds left, but are you all familiar with the punk rock band? Is that a breath? Seven <laughs> seconds. <laughs> and there's one thing that's between us. That's a must. Trust. Well, let's go. I am out of breath. I'll tell you this. I look good. I know. I know. I'm not in very good shape. It's a true story. No one's hurt, Rojo. 
At this moment, I'm more built for show than go. Love, we appreciate that comment. In the small blind, Yin with Jack Six offsuit. Makes the call. Preston with tens and a very short stack. He's going to put it all in, of course. For 740,000. Oh, Yin's yeah, going to ask for a count. Got tons of chips. Yin could make this call very easily. Preston would be at his tournament life. You're blocking the camera. That's right. Paul Cody says he's six six. Very tall dude. Good luck. Yin makes the call with Jack six. Preston looking for the much needed double up. He has not had much to work with since he came to this final table. Came to the table as the chip leader, did Preston. Just hadn't been able to make anything work for him. In looking for a jack. Preston gets the much-needed double up. 1.6 million together, baby. is his stack now. Yes, sir. Two o'clock. Two two a.m. Absolutely. I apologize. The time slipped away from me, and I apologize. It's actually 3 a.m., so this is the delay. Thank you. Thank you. And no more alcohol. State law, not a lodge law. Such a fucking pleasure, I'll tell you that much. Preston starting to chip up. Got the double up through Ying. Just picked up a few hundred thousand more chips. Or hey, it's uh, we, we're in Austin, but 2 a.m. 2 a.m. is the time uh, where. I see all uh, uh, I in it. Know, Last call. Last that. beverage to be drunk. Mm. Sorry. 
Take care, Daniel. Appreciate you joining us for the hours you did. As Yen wakes up with Ace Queen, raises to a quarter million, and Preston with suited Broadway cards. Oh. All in for Preston. And Yen's going to call this. Let's see what the others have. Josh will fold. Cody will lay it down. Yen's going to ask for a count. Preston just doubled up through Yen. Can he do it again? Yen now with just 1.6 million chips. This is going to put Yen. Well, it's going to be close because he, he bet the 250. He'd definitely be crippled. Look, Makes the call. <laughs> Yin dominating Preston here. With the ace. Miranda will give us three. There's the ace right in the window. And Preston. For his tournament life. A three would give him a chop. That's his hope. Does not come. And Preston, I believe, has been eliminated. The man from Waco, who's done very well this year in large tournaments. Hell of a game. A rock and roll, my brother. Very good player. Good run, man. He's going to finish sixth and cash a nice day's work. Nice day's pay, 41.69, and we're down to five. I'm coming for everything. Let's go. I care about that. I, all I play for is to win that trophy and smash it and carry it on a Ziploc bag. No problem. That's all I care about. I'll be honest with you. It's, I mean, I, I, I enjoy spending the money. I don't give a shit about that. Yin starting to heat up here with the ladies. Three bets to 800,000. This is for you, cute pappy. Let's go. Cody all Let's in go. for his last 350,000. Let's do this thing. This is for the Q Pappy, the Q Popular, my best friend, and the entire whole world, except maybe family. He's actually better than some family. This is for you, Q Pap. Hey, just just go ahead and put the money here. The Yin with the queens. Hey, no, that's my hand. That's my head. It's going to be reverse the queen. I usually say I don't like to be king the queens, but Q Pappy is going to beat the two lovely ladies in the other way. Good luck, but your toast. Whammy. I do not enjoy that flop. <laughs> You're dead. What? 9-9. Nine, nine. Six, six, three, three, nine, nine. What are you talking about? The world is my oyster shell. I am now. It's over. Cody, I gotta tell you all, it's been a great run for Cody. Some of you have loved him.
Others of you have not loved him. But one thing's for sure. It was a tremendous memory today with Cody at the table. And uh, you're all cool. And we all made a, a bunch of cheese. Good job, Cody. You did it well today. Thank you. I appreciate it. I did my darndest. And, uh, Cody is going to leave with $5,576. <laughs> Except her. Oh yeah. I, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. And this is why you skip dinner. I never took one bite of dinner. Thank you. Sorry, I knew that. You know and we're down happy. to four. You know what I mean? Gentlemen. Thank you. You're the best. <laughs> the comments are. Are probably 80% positive for Cody. He actually was on pretty good behavior tonight. Really good behavior tonight, I must say. And he did fall out of his chair. So there's that. in starting to go quick folks knock on wood I got count. Mm -hmm. Sean asking for a count with the aces I think this is more for yin's benefit because you know Sean Gonna check again. Yes, in fact, you do have aces. Goes all in. Yin now with some Broadway cards. John will show his aces to Josh. Josh is going to see the bad news. Good luck, man. For his tournament life, Josh is in trouble here. Needs some help. Always a sweat. It has to be, for, t for the TV, you know? There it is. Pink. Nice hand, guys. Nice hand. Nice for those. Good luck, everybody. And Josh is eliminated. And we're down to three. They're dropping like flies. Josh is going to collect seventy three thirty four. Coming up on three fifteen AM. Central Time here in Austin. Paul, there's flies, what you call gnats in the bunker. No, gnats are different than flies. Gnats are just 
tinier. They're just pesky. Haven't seen, knock on wood, the bunker has been nat free today. A no fly zone in the bunker. Only heads up. Okay, thank you. So come down to Brandon with 2.6 million, Yin with 4.2 million. And Sean counting up his stack. Elijah, the buy-in was two hundred fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. It's called the Art of Poker. We do this every single month, but this month we set a record for first time ever. We went over one hundred thousand in this particular tournament. Four hundred eighty-three entries. Both players with an ace here. Sean with ace nine. Yin hits his seven. How much are we pausing it for? Uh, like 30 seconds. All right. Like it's, it's not a break. We're just going to yeah, move chips. Yeah, I was just asking. Chips. <clears throat> We're going to rearrange the players. We are not taking a break. Just going to rearrange the players so we can get the best possible camera angles. Going to put Yin at one end, Brandon at the other end. Yeah, at some point, all the, these three remaining players, at some point tonight, I think each had a tournament life moment that they overcame. I'm going to give you a walk. Oh, I didn't really do this for first, so. Yeah. Mine has seven deuce. Folks, have you hit the thumbs up? I haven't even checked where we are. Let me check real quick. 635 likes. If you're here this early in the morning, it doesn't cost you anything. Hit that like button. Do us a favor. It doesn't cost you anything. Appreciate it. Big slick for Brandon. Million. Some Broadway cards for Sean. Million. million. Okay. One million. One million is the raise. Mm -hmm. 
everybody's saying, we want Cody. <laughs> Christina wants Cody to come to the bunker. I don't know if we can make that happen. Dennis McNaughton, still here from Louisville, Kentucky. We appreciate it, Dennis. If you have been with us since the beginning, or even if you've been with us for more than four hours, let us know in chat. We appreciate it. Anybody been with us since the beginning? 7.45 yesterday, p.m.? Ace Queen suited for Brandon. Appreciate all those folks. A couple of you have been with us since we started. Not too shabby. Jackson Lights has mo just moved into Cedar Park today. Been watching since 11 p.m. Fantastic. Welcome to the area. Hope you can get to the lodge. Not too far from Cedar Park. I live near Cedar Park, so I know exactly how close it is. Mm -hmm. Yin and Brandon once again heads up. Six high flop. See all the reds out front. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's three sexy yellows, one in the back. Or oranges. All in moment here. For Sean with the Jiggities. Yin with Ace Jack. 
which is a monster three-handed. Makes the call. Huge pot. 6.1 million. The biggest pot of the day. A set for Sean. Sorry. And the check mark. Sean, a huge pot. On hand number 201. You see the big blinds. Sean with 50 big blinds, 6.1 million. Brandon, about 31. And Yin now, still with a ton of chips. But the biggest pot of the day so far, 6.1 million. And Anna looks like she is going to be ready to come in for Miranda. We've had three great dealers we just spent an hour on Brady, okay? tonight. Anastasia, Anna, and Miranda. Jay Taco, thanks for coming back to us. Pair for Yin. Pair for Sean. Yin's all in. For about two million chips. Sean says, I don't want to give you them back. I just got them. All right, everybody. Hand number 202. <clears throat> Joe Strazera, hours and hours ago, said 225 would be the hand this would all end in. I don't think we're going to make it there. I mean, I think we're going to go over that. The way it's going. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, I already knew it was going to be completely silent. I really want to watch the stream, though, with, <laughs> with him. Yeah, yeah. it's nutty. <laughs> made for a good one, though, today. The yeah. biggest one. Yeah, made for a good one. Because he, he came to the stream with 200K, and then he ran up to, like, 1.2. While we still had four tables, he did really, really well, yeah. I think, I mean, I didn't see the stream, but that's what... Sort of kind of gathered by him chipping up. So. Yeah. Were you on the same table for a long time? I was at the. I was. Yeah. I sat at the same table the whole day. The whole day. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I was here all day. And I was on S one all day. I, we spilt a drink, and we moved to the main room, and really? then they broke my table instantly and moved me right back to the the Is next table over. No, the next table over, and then oh. I stayed there all day. So I was yeah. like, okay, thanks. That's cool though. When you get to stay. Yeah. Mm. 
Three players. You showed that one earlier, so. <laughs> I had eight three that time. Yeah. Man, you still have a lot of chips. You had a lot of chips earlier, bud. Not this one. Lines are eight eighty one sixty. All in. All in with Ace Five suited for Brandon. In with some Broadway cards. No, I'm small blind. You're small blind. This is one. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Hey, good luck, guys. Makes the call. This is for Yin's tournament life here. Diamond draw for Brandon. Yin hit his jack. And Yin is going to get the double up. And he's going to have back to over $4 million in chips. And now Brandon will be the short stack. Brandon now with 13 big blinds. <laughs> Paul Edwards with the super chat. Australian $50. Thank you so much. It says, take my 18 bucks, U.S., after uh, YouTube gets their cut. But we appreciate it, Paul Edwards. You are a, you're so generous, man. A big fan of the show. Buy yourself some breakfast on the way home. You know what? I may take you up on that. Who knows when this will end? Uh, VR4 Network. Uh, this was not a guarantee of 100K. I think the guarantee was 40,000. We shattered it. Set a new record. That's what the Lodge does. So this was not a 100K tournament. It just happens to be. Jorge says, are y'all associated with TCH? No. The Lodge is the largest poker club in Texas, the fifth largest poker room in the world. We are the Lodge Mahal. Can I just see your stack, sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just... Point four. Yin with Ace Jack goes all in. He's going to take down the big blind. Down to three. These players have been playing for what amounts to coming up on 16 hours. Thanks, Skip. Sean with Queen Deuce suited. And a ton of chips. Okay. 
Jackson Light. Do I have any suggestions for things to do in the Austin area? Lots to do in the Austin area. Depends on what kind of things you like. Obviously, there's great restaurants. We're known for barbecue, Mexican food, and tons of other great places around the area. Really have picked that up in the last 10, 15 years with the restaurants. Live music. It used to be known as the live musical capital of the world. A lot of nightlife in Austin on several different parts of town for the clubs and night atmosphere and of course the lodge all in for Brandon with Jack 10 suited Austin also is has lakes around us so a lot of boating Skiing and fishing, a lot of that. <laughs> Paul wants me to buy the whole staff. Some breakfast. I will ask them. Thank you, Paul. All in from Yin. Starting to push. Brandon getting squeezed a little bit. Thanks again, Paul. Yeah, so there's lots to do in Austin. I would check it out. Just get on YouTube. Type in things to do in Austin. You'll see a bunch. Austin does have the largest urban bat colony, interestingly enough, underneath Congress Avenue Bridge in downtown Austin during the spring and summer months. At dusk, millions of Mexican free tail bats go out from underneath the bridge and search for food. Actually can be seen on radar when they leave. There's that many of them. Actually, right near the lodge, literally half a mile up on I-35, another large bat colony under the bridge. And at dusk, you can often see them from the lodge. So lots to do. But mainly, stay at the lodge. BJ asks more bats than Carlsbad. Don't know. I, I, I said the largest urban bat colony. Li meaning living in a city. <laughs> that I know is true. in. Brandon with Ace King is going to make the call. Brandon's got a good chance. For doubling up here. Dominating Yins, King 6. They can chop here with the jack. Doesn't happen. Trips for Brandon. Thank you. 
Brandon now back with about two and a half million chips. Sees a couple suited cards in the small blind. I'm going to raise to 480, and Sean will lay it down. Brandon getting aggressive. All in from Yin with ace 10. Gotten much quieter since it got down to three here. As the blinds keep going up, the next blind level will be 100, 200, 200. Jerome Teal. It is still going on, buddy. All in. The snowman for Sean. Yes, the lodge is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Rarely closed, if ever. We closed on July 4th. Employees had a great party. Really fantastic party. And closed on Christmas. I think those are the two days we closed. Other than that, open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you've never been here, I promise you'll have a good time. It's Brandon with the crabs. Going to make it 400,000. Sean with suited Broadway cards. He's going to have to play these. My goodness. Three-handed, John. King-10 suited? Ah, that's why they're at the final table, and I'm commentating. I probably would have played that. I'll have to ask Sean his thinking. Fewer the players, the bigger your range expands. More cards that you could play.
I'm sorry. CP bets three hundred and fifty. Basically, you made up two hundred and fifty. You got that? Hello? It was that was three fifty. It was C two. Oh, okay. Just making sure. <laughs> Hand number 218. Got some new pictures in the studio. You see them right behind Brandon. That's Congress Avenue right downtown Austin with the state capitol. But it wasn't from this year. Notice the cars. Love that picture. Love to know when that picture was taken. Had to have been in the 50s. My guess. Judging from the cars. Maybe late 50s. <laughs> Stevie B, I'll answer that question after this hand. As Sean, with Jack 10 offsuit this time, raises to 760. And takes it down. Stevie B says, Rick, you mentioned earlier Cody was quite reserved today. What's he like in top gear? Let's just say he's a very energetic guy. He loves to play poker. And he just gets excited. So if you saw him today, picture him maybe two or three times more excited than that when he's at peak Cody. And, and he has been told, truth be told, he has been told if it gets too much that he needs to dial it down a notch or two, and he does. All in from Yin with ace-4 offsuit. Going to take it down. Eric Peterson says late 40s, early 50s. Yeah, if I would know, if I would known, you know, some of those cars in those pictures a little bit better, I would have a better idea. I believe Cody finished in fifth place. Fifth or sixth. Leon said that picture was taken last week. Actually, you can go down there right now, and it will look very similar. At least the Capitol looks the same. Everything else, some of the buildings, obviously, have changed. The street and the Capitol look the same. Exactly.
Everything beat me right there. Yeah, up until uh, 10 or 15 years ago, they used to have a an ordinance here in Austin that you could not build buildings that would block the capital from being seen in all directions. Judging by some of the high rises that have gone up the last 10, 15 years, that ordinance no longer the case. The capital is the largest capital in the U.S. It is bigger than the U.S. capital. Sell boats for Sean. He's going to make it 600,000. Take it down. And 224. These none of these players want to give up an inch here. Chopping's not been discussed. The way the rules here at the lodge is players can discuss the chop and take time to discuss it. But once the discussion is over, they cannot rediscuss a chop until another player has been eliminated. Brandon with King Six offsuit. Yin asking for a count with Queen Seven suited. Makes the call here. Brandon at risk here for his tournament life. 4.3 million. In the pot. Couple diamonds for Yin. Always a sweat. Mm. And Yin with the boat. And Brandon has been eliminated in third place. Can we talk about something outside? Can we, like, conversate? Can we pause the clock? Can we talk? I mean, can we talk about it? Can yeah. we pause the clock and talk about it? So the yeah, yeah, players, yeah, we, we go Brandon is going to yeah. walk out with 96-95. The players five. are going to I mean, discuss like like a chop here. Something like that. And we'll pause until they get back. Still 422 in this blind level. As Maestro Matt Sweeney is going to readjust the table, so they are facing each other. There's the blind levels. Richard Weeks says, how did 
People take this seriously. It's just a coin flip. Well, when the blinds get up to a certain level and you're down to just three players, your hand values increase dramatically. You don't have to have the pocket pairs or the ace-king, ace-queens of the world to proceed in the pot when there's just three players or even heads up. Players have been playing all night long. See a big card, may want to go with it. I don't, you know, it's, it's, uh, they've, they've been playing for a while, these three. Let's see what they come up with. So right now, folks, we are just waiting. The players are talking the final two. Yin and Sean are deciding what they want to do, whether they want to chop or play it out or a combination of the two. If it were my guess, they'll probably chop for most of it and play for the trophy and whatever else they leave between the there's 34,000 35,300 to play for between first and second place Rick James says I should start planning what I'm going to eat for breakfast it is 4 a.m. The sun is about to rise. While we're waiting, uh, Popeye, they will play for the trophy. Regardless of, chances are, I mean, I can't imagine with both players with similar chip stacks that they are going to agree that one player gets the trophy. So my guess is they'll come back and with an amount that they've agreed to each take out of the prize pool, and then they'll play for the rest plus the trophy. That would be my guess as to what they are talking about right now. Could be dead wrong. Dirty Dan says, heads up, incoming Cody is the new dealer. That would be funny. Stevie B says, breakfast burritos. We call them breakfast tacos here in, in Texas. Breakfast tacos. Anybody else call some burritos, you know you're not in Texas. The breakfast tacos. Dirty knows that, right, Dirty? We take our breakfast tacos very seriously in Texas. Don't mess around. Players taking a rather long time here.
And they are back. Yeah. Okay. I want to play it out, though. Like, yeah, I'd rather play it. We don't get this chance very often. So. Correct. Play it out. <laughs> okay. yeah. So here it is. They... All right, so they just decided chop 16,000 each, which would leave 3,000 and the trophy for what they're going to play for. So each player getting better than second place money. We look together. 16,000 each, <clears throat> leaving 3,000 plus the trophy to play for. There we go. There we see some cards. You see both players. Yin has 400,000 more chips than Sean. And this was the hand that Joe Strazera, Pooba, I believe he said hand number 225 is where it ends. Very close we, to that. Good guess. And that's why he He's the general manager of the lodge. Well, I'll have to tell him if he's when he wakes up in the morning. But he had a great guess. No Annie heads up. Weird. No Annie. No big blind Annie when it's heads up. I see what you mean. That's what they were telling me. That's fine. I just I I know the first one we we had it, so yeah, it's okay. So the blinds are eighty. 160. No, there's, there's, there's no Annie, no Annie oh, heads up. see a flop right there. Players playing for a each guaranteed 16,000 as the blinds are about to go up and leaves 3,000 plus the trophy. So the winner's going to make a little over 19,000 and a trophy.
Both players hit a pair here. Both players with clubs in their hand, too. A club on the turn would be kind of exciting. Doesn't come, but two pair now for Sean. Up, coming up on eight and a half hours of live stream. If you have had fun at any point tonight, enjoyed the coverage, please hit that like button. Subscribe and tell a friend about us. We're trying to get to 150,000. That's our next milestone. We're at 134,000 and growing subscribers. Next goal up ahead, 150,000. All clubs on this flop. Sean with the three of clubs in his hand. Hand number 229. How about a little chop pot here? Unless Sean fires out. Yeah, if we get to 150,000, I'm going to be jumping out of an airplane. That's the promise I made to Chatsville. My wife didn't like that idea. Kind of always wanted to. Skydive. Thank you, love, for that comment. Elsa, thank you. You think I'm crazy for wanting to skydive? I don't know. Christina, tell your wife to join you. <laughs> she ain't doing that. <laughs> I do have life insurance, Profian. Thank you for that. Looking out for me. All right, here we go. To hand number 231. Sean with ace-10 offsuit. A monster heads up. Top, top for Sean. All in. Quick call. This could be it, folks. Hand number 231. Yin needs some help. Looking for a jack or running straight cards, running diamonds. Actually, now he's looking for a jack. Does not come. I think I have it all. And that. I think I'm over, I'm over six, so. Should do it. Fuck 
We're going to count up Yin's final numbers. And Sean is pretty excited. They shake hands, and that'll do it. Sean will take home the trophy. And after the chop, about 19,000. Yin will go home with 16,000. And, folks, I want to thank everybody for joining us today. I want to thank our production team. What an amazing staff they are. They do such amazing work. I want to thank everyone here at the lodge, from the front counter people, the cage, the supervisors, the dealers, everyone here at the lodge. I want to thank the ownership group for building this great studio. They've seen what the power of this studio does. It brings people from all over the world a chance to visit with us right here at the lodge four times a week. And, of course, thank you who's been with us and all of our subscribers. We will see you on Thursday. Take care, everybody.